And we are live. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. It is another another Wednesday. What to say? It's Wednesday, April 10th. This is no, not the last stream before Rocky Mountain. I will be streaming next Wednesday because I don't fly out till Thursday. But it's almost Rocky Mountain time, which is oh, going to be so much fun. I can't believe it's oh. already here. <laughs> it's yeah. It seems like there's every every couple days I've seen someone post about like, hey, I'm going. I'm like, wow, there's a lot of people flying in internationally for this yeah. event so it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome but um yeah welcome everybody let's see who's all here really quickly let's see midlife chaos welcome lisa rs aaron ryan robert hobo banana hello hello simon void phoenix gps is in the house uh 1060 and dark third dimension how's it going woke up from my nap just in time sounds like you were having a fantastic wednesday if you were getting a nap in so it's your nap uh, Cool, Alan, you're going awesome. Yeah, I will be there. So I'm flying in Thursday, and then I think we're taking a shuttle. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be working the event with Lightburn, but I also have been told I, I can venture off and do all sorts of things. So I will be, you'll see me in conversation somewhere. So just grab me and say, hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I will be there basically Thursday, uh, Friday setting up. The event's what, uh, Pooch? Set Saturday and Sunday, or is it, what is? It's Saturday and Sunday, but you know, you know it always trickles into Friday, because people yeah. are doing Friday set up, and, uh, yeah. and you know, everybody's gonna wanna be partying, and all that stuff, so are <laughs> yeah. you coming out on Friday? I'm coming out Thursday, actually. Oh. So yeah, I, I land, I think, at 1.50 on Thursday in Denver, and then I believe we have a shuttle that's taken off around three. I have no idea how long that shuttle is gonna take, but yeah, so I'll be there Thursday. I think Friday morning, I'm hanging out with a few people, and then, uh, I'll be at the event by the time the doors open. I believe we shipped a pallet out there, so I don't know how you guys. How how is? Because you're are you gonna be working at the Prusa? Yeah, I'll be booth at the Prusa. I'll be at the Prusa booth. Uh, we got a lot of cool stuff we're gonna show off. We got uh, my homeboy Shane's gonna be there. We got a couple of uh, other people coming out from uh, Czech Republic, so we'll have all the latest greatest there, cool. and uh, it should be a blast, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. I've, I've only been to Murph and I heard last year, I, I had so much FOMO watching the videos and clips of everybody last year. So I'm very excited uh, to uh, go and hang out. So we are gonna be continuing today. Last week, last Wednesday, I feel like it was longer than that, but only a week ago, we started building the Prusa Mark IV. Uh, we had mother nature interfere with the- <laughs> That was exciting. Stream, yeah, that was the first for me. Uh, then we continued, I think we continued third, no, no, no. We didn't continue Thursday night. I came back Thursday night and did a bit more. Then we yeah. streamed again Friday for a couple of hours. I was working on the next shooter. Um, and then, yeah, so I finished up, I finished up the next shooter. Let's see, let me go side camera really quick. So I feel like we kicked some serious butt. I had to, um, I had to make Pooch proud. So I was like, all right, guys, we gotta, we gotta stop always, this. Uh, you always make me proud, dude. Chit chat. No. I appreciate that. Yeah, so next yeah. shooter is fully done. Um, and as far as, sorry, my stomach. I this morning I had to go to the car dealership, and we just got in and out in Idaho, and it's always insane. Like you think it's crazy in California, but. I, I happened to see that they opened half an hour before they were supposed to open, so I got in and out for breakfast. So I'm feeling all sorts of uncomfortable right now. <laughs> so, anyways, I apologize for for. That. You know what? If you if you need to like uh, you know take a five, uh, you know. Yeah. I'll, I'll if carry I start the <laughs> if I start heavy breathing, it's it's the it's the shake that I had for breakfast, <laughs> which I would not normally do, man. But I've had it like once in the in the two years that I've been out of California. So like. You know, I had to, I had, anyways. You had to get it. Where'd <laughs> I you had go to get with? it. Did you go with chocolate? Or you go with vanilla I, I or went, strawberry? I want vanilla, I want vanilla. The reason Vanilla's, I go vanilla, I usually uh, dip a couple of fries in it, man. I, I started doing that some years ago and it, it, it tastes a lot like a waffle cone with ice cream. Like it's oh, really freaking good, man. So that is yeah. the good, good right there, man. <laughs> You're doing delicious. it right, my friend. Thank you, <laughs> thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're picking up, uh, I think Pooch has got, did you, you're up to same roughly- I did, uh, I made sure, there? and let me just double check me here, but yep, I yep. made sure that I'm caught up, uh, caught up with you. So here's what, here's what I've yeah. got. I don't know if you can see I mean, yeah, yeah. my screen here, but uh, the only thing you'll notice is because I'm, I'm doing this from a uh, kit, you, I don't have that nice UV print that you've got from that That's factory right. part, but That's I right. do have some, uh, <laughs> I do have some uh, emblem. So they give you some vinyl so you don't feel oh, left sick. out. Slap it on. Yeah. And it, looks, it looks sick. It looks sick. So we'll, we'll give that okay. all tricked out at, at the end and stuff too. But I got my next shooter up. 
So we, we should be on, uh, I think, Y Same axis. Pace. All right. Yeah, I think, well, it depends on, if we're going based off of the manual, I think it has us doing LCD screen and then Y axis. Right. Um, do you do recommend, that. okay, cool. Yeah, no, so we, it looks like. Follow the follow the instructions or Shane will come <laughs> Do I follow in. the pooch or do I follow the guide? I don't know. Um, so we've got LCD screen today, we've got Y axis, and then game plan is we're wrapping things up today. So I plan on kicking some serious butt and not leaving this without some plastic shooting out of this hot end. So I think with uh, you know with that with that kind of being said, let's let's dive right into it. Let's see. Excellent, uh, excellent. Trigger, too many clouds. Pull out here. Hey, Nick, Nick. Nick. Uh, <laughs> feeling feeling punchy with Modbot. What do you mean? Who do you feeling punchy? Uh, Phil, how's Maybe it going? Good morning. You had a shake today too. You have you a have shake Dennis? today too. Phil? <laughs> anyone? Anyone? Skibbity, I don't know what that means. Skibbity, they, they, skibbity. I don't know I mean. Oh man, what you gotta that? get with the the Gen Z speak, man. You gotta what, get with skibbity. What does that mean? Uh, skibbity is not a it's not a good thing. You know, it's skibbity the toilet, dude. What does that mean, yeah, man? I mean, you, get, you get you get the idea, <laughs> I think, from that context. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard that. Word to, I don't think we life. need to go further than that. Yeah, let's leave. Let's leave some conversations. Let's, anyways. Just best. So let's had. Yeah. Let's pull up the. Uh, let's pull up the guide here. So LCD assembly distinguished version. So it looks like before starting, check what version of the LCD screen we've got. So let's let's find that. Oh, yeah, yeah, we gotta do that. I got my LCD right here. Mm -hmm. uh, where are there we go? Oh, nope, that's there we go. This dude, I'm level. I'm leveling up. I got my close up view now. What do you think of Ooh, this? That's really close. Ooh, I like that. So yeah, and then I can angle. I'll go quick, like you know, boom, right here. Oh, I'm angle, boom. I'm right, <laughs> like, and I, I even taped it out so I can see. Yeah. Where, where oh, going. nice. I see that. You got the exact area, so you yeah. know what's in focus and what's not. But I've got a. You, you're you're you've surpassed. Uh, what is it when the uh, the apprentice has surpassed the? the, 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 the <laughs> Jeez, I'm, living, I'm living in uh, in 3030 here, man. Yeah, I'm, man. I'm, I've really got to up my game. All right, game, so this so. is what I got. What do you got? Show me, okay, show me so what I'm looking at, it looks like we're looking at the grounding. So version A has a fastened symbol in the top left hole. Okay, uh, so that's what I've got. That's what I've that's got. That's me, I'm version A too. Of the so, top left ground, the, your earth is like right up, right up here, boom, boom. Yeah, so it looks like one of them's in the very corner while the other one you can see this big uh, pad exposed right here on the top. So also mm -hmm. I haven't seen these in person, but pretty cool, I know that they have um, LEDs, which is kind of funny. This Saturday's video is all about an LED RGB uh, NeoPixel mod, but we've got three NeoPixels right here. So yeah, pretty, pretty excited for a little bit of, well, I think it's it's a little bit of flash, but it's also used for some level of status, right? Like if- uh, Yeah, some, yeah. Let, me, let me tell you a funny story about that. I, sure. I was probably six months in on the beta before I even knew that existed because, so what it is, so what he's talking about here, if you get in close, so we, got, we got our NeoPixels here, our RGB LEDs. And there's a, you're gonna see when we do this, it reflects the light down onto the surface that you're on and it'll be like green if it's going, red if there's an error, blue if it's like idle, you know, so you just get a little machine status, which is kind of cool. cool. But because I was like hanging it off the edge of the desk, I never saw it. Oh. And so I didn't even know. And then one day I put it on the desk and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a status <laughs> LED there. Does your rack give you enough depth where that won't no. be an issue? Like you, where you'll be able to see it or no? Does your racks have it where the screen's sort of hanging off the front lip of it in your farm? It's it's hanging off the front lip. And okay. uh, and and so what I did is there's a mod on printables where it's just a little like clear pet G, uh, you know, status clip and it goes on there and then it reflects the whole thing. So it doesn't have to bounce it off the surface underneath it. It just shows it right on that little bar, you know? Cool. So that's a okay. cool little upgrade mod you can do too. Uh, let's see. You do realize you just set us a challenge of distracting you, so you can't get to push plastic today. That that's not. No, no, we're gonna happen. Yeah, we'll do what it takes. plastic. Okay, so we've got again the top left, which is version A. So um, version A la parts preparation. Sweet. So we need a few things here. It looks like we've got a couple of clips, and let's see if things are labeled. So this says "Why carriage in bed." This says spare parts. This looks like a filament holder. This looks like white carriage and hot bed. Where are white carriage? XLCD. Uh, so this looks like this looks like wires. This doesn't look like the printed parts. So there must be white carriage and heated bed. 
printed parts. Oh, I'm gonna show off. Uh, so the, I mean, it should be the largest printed part you've got is gonna. Oh, be dirt. <laughs> yeah, dude. That. It is. Yeah, man. It's uh, it's hidden in plain sight. So cool. We've got yeah. our yeah. printed parts right here. It's go. been like that. Like things are labeled really nicely and clearly, but for some reason, it's always the last bag for me that I grab. <laughs> I go through all of them, and I'm like, right. It's yeah, Murphy's law. Heck? Yeah. Okay. So what is the um, reflector sticker set? Is that something new or all it is? is a little piece of. Uh, oh, I see. It's it. I see in. It. It's in that bag, the X mm -hmm. LCD bag, and it just looks like a sticker. Yeah, sort of a metallic yeah. sticker, it looks like. Yeah, here we go. It's right here. Yeah, it's good. I'm going to my... I don't know if you can't, if people can't see that. My nice little drawer organizer, Oprusa Mark IV parts. There we go. It's this little, little dude right there. Cool. Yep. Got that. Alrighty, and then we need M38s, which I think those were... Were those the most common ones, or were those M310s that we Tens were Tens are the most common. Eights are okay. actually kind of uncommon. So I don't actually even have, um, I don't even have M38 out. It doesn't look like yet. So bust them out. Um, dude. Let's see the K2 plus. Uh, what do you print first? What do you print first? I don't know. Probably something precise. I, I am a, I am a Benchy M36. Right? Is what I said? No, I said M38. Eight, 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 eight. Uh. uh Benchy, you know, I mean, Benchy's there. You know, that's always an option. Um, okay. In Prusa land, you know, the whistle is always a good traditional because then you can get be, you know, go be obnoxious to whoever you live with, which <laughs> is what we're really all about here. I think I saw Shane you... mention that that's what he was giving out for like Easter was freaking whistles to people. Oh, I'm pretty sure people love him. the whistles. I don't know why they're, but there you know, that's it's, who am I to yuck someone else's yum, as I like to say. Lisa, thank you for the 21 months. Uh, cheers, Jack Jack. So say, no, Erin is still in Arizona. Uh, the her sister's been due for gosh, I think a week and a half now, and so they're now going through the process of inducing and all that. So she just pushed her flight back. I won't see them till I think Saturday now. So it's two weeks without my Jack Jack or Erin. It's in this baby. It's come really on. quiet, man. Yeah. Wow. Um, you know what? Just enjoy it while you can. It's 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 it's, a, it's all good. Yeah. So also a couple people are asking about the K2 Plus. So I did see I did see the announcement. Um, I saw I got to watch Sam's video and I'm curious to see. So my initial thoughts is this as someone that's tested out both the K1 and the K1 Max is uh, specs only mean so much. I, I always want to want to have high hopes when a machine comes out in feature set. But until like I've tested it myself for a lot of people that I trust have tested it and given feedback, I'm I'm What's the word? I'm not, I'm in the, um, not I have doubts, but I'm going to sort of reserve my feedback on it. On yeah. paper, it looks, it looks sweet. On paper, it looks sweet. There's a lot of things about it that I like, but like I've said that so many times and right, specs right. are only a portion of the battle and how they've executed it via firmware and stuff like that's going to depend. So uh, again, optimistic, but cautiously optimistic Caut yeah ca yeah there we go that's that's exactly how i feel cautiously optimistic so there you go we will see uh enjoy the sweet sweet sleep <laughs> it's funny i've been actually up a bit later since they've been gone <laughs> i was watching last night at uh because we have a huge slope in our backyard i'm trying to figure out how to do some kind of um uh gardening system and i was watching a guy that basically built like a tiered deck uh gardening thing i mean he was almost on a cliff this guy but i was up to like one in the morning just watching people build custom gardens in their freaking backyard so that was you, you go you go deep down those rabbit holes don't you i i do i mean well it's because it's something yeah. i'm really i'm really interested in and yeah I, I want to gather as many data points originally the plan was to put in some serious retaining walls in the backyard but dude retaining walls are expensive and it's like there's a lot of tasks oh, I'm fine with it. doing myself, but it, this feels like one where someone would have to come and like really move soil and, and bring in a ton of concrete and stuff. So yeah, I, I am, I'm not sure. Building a well, deck I don't on know top about of this. But here, if uh -huh. you go over like four feet tall, you have to have it engineered. And I mean, it gets, it gets pretty hardcore. Yeah, I got a, I got a rough quote from the landscaper that was doing this community's stuff. And I, I want to say he said, 
I want to say he said about six thousand dollars and that wasn't for like a full like that was a small like kind of half retaining wall thing so I'm, the idea of building a deck on top of the slope and, and sort of using a wood structure instead of moving the earth is an interesting concept to me. Ah, uh, oh, I like that. So, like, is yeah. it, does he use like pier blocks? So you're gonna set some pier blocks at, at strategic points and then build he a deck off of that? So he pretty much used uh, four by fours that were concreted in. So he dug out like, you know, basically with a uh, uh, hole digger holder. Yeah, and then and he concrete those. And the rest of it, I think, was two by sixes. So it almost looked like he built bleachers out of wood, but sort of, sort of different than bleachers. And they had, they had. Um, it's so hard to describe this, dude. I gotta send a photo later. Mm. <laughs> it's yeah, one of those things where I try cool. to explain it. It just sounds, it sounds silly. Uh, that's an art. It's an art explaining stuff like that, man. Yeah. For sure. Twelve hundred watt power draw is what Aaron's saying for the printer. That's a, so. That's something I'm curious about. Uh, do you know what? I, I assume it's not, not too crazy because I haven't heard anyone talk about it. But do you know what the Prusa XL's maximum power draw is? Or Ooh, like what maximum? So well, okay. So it's it's got like in its five tool head configuration, it actually has three two hundred and. 40 or 250 watts, so something like 700, 750 watts, like peak power, but it doesn't come close to using all of that capacity. That's just uh, to have a healthy uh, over, over. Like plenty of power. Compensation. Yeah. Um, is the bed DC? I, the bed is still, it's a series of bedlets, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Little guys. And then it cycles. So the, the heating pattern, if you throw a flare on it, is actually cool to watch because it'll like kind of cycle through all of them. So it's not uh -huh. just doing massive inrush current to feed the whole thing. Um, I don't know the specs, but you know, I could very easily just throw a little power meter on that. Somebody has to have done that. So I don't know if anybody in the chat you know, wants to Google that. I guarantee you somebody has done that research. But I, I would, if I were a betting man, I would say it's probably peak draw. If you had all hot ends going and the bed, maybe 500 watts 600 okay. watts so it's maybe. not it's you're not you're not definitely not worried about tripping but a breaker really with that when thing. are you it's, ever no not really i mean when are you ever doing that either too it's like it, there will be moments where it will it's pretty intelligent it'll uh -huh. heat only what it needs so if you, it knows a tool change is coming it'll it'll kind of start the preheat for the next tool you know so that it's not they're not just all sitting on all the time yeah i like I like, huh, this sticker. Okay, so before I press down on this sticker, Pooch, I've got it in here, but it sort of goes over the slip a little bit. Like I can feel a little yeah. bit of stick here. Is that okay? Yeah, don't worry about that. That's fine. Okay, okay. Yeah, that, because the the flange, I mean, if you want, you can kind of tuck it around the top. Okay. But the, the, the screen actually sits well forward of that anyway, so. Okay, cool. Good. I just wanna make sure that I'm not, before I hear it. Yeah, the, the it's interesting. So like with some big printers, I know for example, like, I mean, the Elegoo Giga is a, is a very, oh, ex, you know, exaggerated one, but like even the, the like I've been playing around with the Magneto for a while here and that thing has quite a lot of power draw on the bed. And it's interesting. I feel like the idea of a segmented bed, like what Prusa has done is sort of going to be the, like that to me seems like the far superior way of doing it. Because even if you've got a large printer, I can guarantee that unless you're just someone printing out cosplay props or just big things all the time, you're not always printing that big. So what's the, like, why would you want to be heating up this monster of a, in a no, lot of cases, don't. AC bed when, you know, you're wasting power, you're potentially, you're potentially going to trip a, a, you know, your circuit. So it's, it's an interesting thing. And it's, it wasn't really a big deal when beds were 200 by 200 millimeter DC beds. But now that we've got these monsters, it, it's, yeah. it's much more of a conversation that I think is, is, um, like we're, you know, worth having or something that needs to be addressed or should be addressed. It's an interesting trade-off because, um, you know, obviously there's a cost associated, like the bed has to have a separate controller to control all of those little bedlets. And so, yeah, you know, the brute force approach is gonna be the cheapest approach, right? Which is what mm -hmm. you see, you know, where you just like, oh, well, we can do four quadrants or whatever. And then, yeah, you have to start creating, um, you know, little, little macros or scripts to basically, um, handle how the, the, the power, you know, cycles through so you don't, you know, trip a breaker when you're turning the whole thing on. But, um, but yeah, you know, the, the, these are the things, you know, that's why there's a lot of people that complain about like, oh, why would you pay so much for the XL when you can get other stuff for cheaper? And it's like, well, because there's a lot more engineering that goes into that. And it's because you're really in the case of the XL, you're paying for an upgradable platform. Like it's a modular platform. Like it's not sure. just 
meant to be a large format printer. Yeah, you can get you know five hundred dollar massive printer or whatever else. There's there's all, all kinds of large gigantic format machines. Options. Yeah, but but one that you can you know upgrade tool heads on and and is supported by a company and stuff and not just you know so there obviously there's nuance to it. Yeah, yeah. I thought that it was. I thought it was really interesting when the videos first came out on it and it showed sort of like this PCI type card that you can install for adding, you know, adding additional tool heads and stuff like that. I thought that was cool because for me initially, yeah. I, I had pre-ordered it and I, I didn't hold on to my pre-order. A lot of time passed and I just, things have changed, right? Like I moved, there's a lot of expenses and I was like, ah, I need to, oh, yeah. I need that. But I liked the idea of being able to just purchase the two tool head, which would do a lot of what I wanted, but knowing that like, I'm not stuck with that. If I decide later on down the road, I want more so that way I can do some either more multicolor or further experimentation and stuff like that. Totally. I mean, the that's that's always kind of been the the mantra with Prusa. It's like they, you know, want there to be an upgrade path. We don't like the idea of like waste, you know. And um, you know, even the Mark II variant of this is still getting firmware updates and uh, is improved. So there's just kind of a different ethos behind stuff. I know, you know, we take a lot of flack for not innovating as quickly and all that stuff, but. Uh, but when it comes to sustainability, reusability, stuff like that, you know, that's that's kind of the bread and butter. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Was that? That was Steve. Steve's here. Hi, Steve. Thank you for Steve. the ten gifted memberships. We're excited to see you, Steve. And T minus, you know, what is it? Eight, eight, eight days, eight and a half days, nine days, something like that. Steve's my my local homie, and I don't feel like we get together nearly enough. You know, it's just. Life happens fast, and we're just zipping a bit. He he was up a couple weeks ago, and I always appreciate spending some good time with my buddy Steve. Yeah, I uh, Pedro Lama says, or Lama said, I do wonder if partial heating of the bed might make it bend more. It's possible. I mean, I know that heat does. I mean, the expansion and contraction, so it's possible. I don't know how it's. I don't know how the bed's bolted. I know that. Um, well, you're gonna yeah, get to I, see some of that very shortly on on the Mark IV, and there's similar expansion joints and stuff. Like, he's he's spot on. I mean, I I think early on, you know, a lot of attention really wasn't paid to that. It was like we got ah, oh, it's good enough. But now that we're moving at high speed and all that stuff, like every little bit of warp, you know, we everybody looks at their bed mesh and you know wants to get everything as as flat as possible and. Obviously, the heat applied at the corners and the way the thermals are going to work at the center of the bed, where there's just like a lot of mass versus the edges, you know. So that's that's the idea behind the bedlets on the XL is that you can apply more energy to the outside because like that's where a lot of the the heat's dissipating from. So sure. you don't need as power in the middle as you do on the outside. And there's Usually, all kinds that's of... where the warping is going to happen is towards towards yeah. those edges. I mean, on a, on a bigger part, that's usually where it starts to pull away. Right. So you know. We, we see things like doing, um, you know, auto bed leveling is really just compensating in the Z axis for that warp. But obviously the less you have to compensate, like ideally the flat, you know, as flat as you can get it as a starting point is, is better. Yeah. So that I there's mean, less for that mesh to have to compensate To me, for. compensation is, is a, like a, a band-aid band really. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. And, and I mean, it's, I'm think I'm super, Super thankful we have that band-aid because it's it's incredible what it can do to a plane yeah. that is not flat. However, you know that does mean that it's it can be having an effect on your parts geometry. And I know that we have things in firmware now like um, fade, fade, which is pretty cool that allows you to sort of uh, apply less and less compensation the further away you get. But mm -hmm. it's still one of those things where I, I would rather have a flat, you know, a flat plane as a as a starting point. Absolutely. Absolutely. One week, zombie. Uh, bed mesh should compensate for the. Yeah. Man, I don't know. I've been. I'm printing. I'm like. I got the 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 home farm. I got four machines going right now, humming away. Another room, and just makes that. My uh, my girlfriend likes to say it's the sounds of nerdy productivity happening. <laughs> I remember when I lived with my buddy years and years ago, um, I, this was back when, you know, before Trinamic drivers were a thing and it was like, 
the ANET days, the I had the G E E E E tech, you know, DIY printers and stuff. Yee tech, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I remember my buddy and his wife always like giggling, like, what's so funny? Like, like it just sounds like a robot orgy in your room. Because <laughs> it was just, it was basically like I rented out a bedroom, it was bed, desk, and a printer rack with these printers. Just, you know, the free like a very like aggressive motion and, and like I, I just I'll never forget that because like I've never heard anyone say that but I'm like I can see I can see it now like now that's what I think about every time I hear a bunch of these things the so. robo orky dude that's yeah. so funny. <laughs> oh, I got that's my what's going on yeah I got my so I got the one I got the first thing mounted now I'm putting in the little um this is a is it copper I think it's the Brass? copper the little or brass, the brass so, little metal, or yeah, the metal yeah, the, the piece. Earthing, earthy yes. clips. Earthy yep. clips, that's what I'm putting in now. I don't, that's the technical term for it, the earthy clip. It was Let's a robot see. running in your room. Yeah, they weren't far off, I suppose. <laughs> exactly, yeah, okay. Just use a 30 millimeter thick slab of copper titanium steel alloy with heating rods riddled through it and it might work. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, those are just, I got a couple of those lying around. About yeah, how about I do. you, you know? I, I do, I do. Yeah, yeah. cool. <laughs> So those copper, the copper, uh, was it copper zinc? Is how they said. Yeah, titanium steel. Yeah, the, I don't know. There's like these big old grounding rods you can get down at you know your local home store for when you're grounding like a like your mains, right? Like, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. And I mean, there's, it's just like a big old stake. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm sure like, you could do some good, good with that as well. I forgot to put my square nuts in the in the little oh, nut no. trap. Got a preload, man. Got a preload. I know. I know. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm. I'm knock on. You know, knock on wood. The only square oh. nut I had issue That's with was that initial one, which was like early on. So I'm glad I got it out of the way before. I know. That's before we yeah. got in the, pay your of the dues. build. You pay yeah. your dues. <laughs> Let's see. So M38s on the other side now. Cool. So we're attaching these guys right here. Hey, I'm uh, I'm a grounding engineer. <laughs> nice, dude is is grounded. Um, grounded in reality, I hope. Uh, I'm going to uh, make a fair prog next month, and I gotta say, I'm excited. I I want to go talk to some of the the design team because uh, I would love to pick their brain around like the you know the guys that make the decisions about like mm -hmm. okay, we're gonna. Like we're gonna we're gonna use these screws here and we're gonna fasten it this way and stuff because I imagine like I, I have no idea but I imagine like there's a team that focuses on different components you know because sure. there's, there's a there's a lot of people that work you know there and um, and it'd be really fascinating to me but this is a great example of like why did you decide you know use eights here instead of just like make it two millimeters thicker so you could just use tens again and you know <laughs> it's just like one of these things where somebody was like well. That's just what we decided, or maybe there's like some rationale I haven't even thought of. Mark IV is gonna have uh, only heat inserts and one screw size, <laughs> thanks to Pooch. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely uh, slide you a high Never. five. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. So I don't know any if anybody saw my post on Twitter or on uh, Insta, like I spent like a couple hours over the weekend here i'll pull this forward so you guys can see um spent a couple hours over the weekend like nerding out on my little sorting you know like getting out we were talking ahead of stream that it's like sometimes um you know spending the time to kind of get organized let's get a shot of that because i'm 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 proud of this because i'm a yeah geek, let me let me you get know? you a full size here let's see let me give you a guest uh there you go show Hold it on. off here we'll show go here off. I mean, you, you guys have seen these, right? I mean, they're the Acro Mills, like, sort trays that have been around for, like, forever that, mm -hmm. you know, everyone and their, their grandfather has. But, like, you know, went through and I don't, I don't feel like I'm in focus here, am I? No. We'll let's get a little, let's get a little focus. Let's, that that autofocus doesn't do well with, like, not, not faces. Yeah. Uh, hey, Ballista, hey, Matt. Yeah, it's, uh, it, well, at least off. it does good with faces, though, because I've, I've had the opposite where it, like, <laughs> focuses on everything right. but the there face and that's frustrating as well there we go yeah yeah i i don't know if it's a, i think they've got to do some firmware tweak, tweaking on this because i turn off the auto exposure and some of the other things and i think that messes with the autofocus as well but anyway i did this 
So I've got not only all my screws and bits, but then like I got, okay, so like here's my power terminals right here, which I need right now. And you wouldn't spend time doing this normally because not everybody's like putting together 30 of these at once, but this is one of those times where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna spend the time and it yeah. makes life so much easier because you've seen like I'm kind of doing like a serial assembly line on a lot of these. Um, you're building, you said seven at a time, right? Is what well, so so right now I'm doing seven at a time, but like that that was like the limit to the space, like it's more of a spatial limit. Sure, okay. Uh, um, but I've also done it where it's like I do, you know, all 20 or all, th I've got 30 ultimately that I'm trying to do. So it's like do all 30 X gantries and then go back. And so it just takes up so much. I have to have like a bin for each of them. And uh -huh. um, so... You know, I think seven seems right at the time, but like it's it's definitely way more efficient when you're doing each of these steps uh, as sub assemblies along the way. Yeah, no, it's it's nice. We were talking about the organization stuff, and then I mentioned that I have been slowly, very very slowly, making progress on Goodfinity. I, I talked about it for quite a long time, and this is this is. Uh, it's not a lot, but I'm still proud of, let me see, I don't even know if I can get the camera exactly to where I need it to be, let's see. You can kind of see what's going on over here. Let me see how I focus in. Yeah, oh man, that makes me happy. Just yeah, looking at that, so like that. That, is, I that. that is M3, M2, M2 and a half. So I've got it set up right now where um, if, if the bins are stacked, that means that it's the same screw size, but a different head, so socket versus button. Or if it's stacked, that means it's it's just, I've got too much, so I, I you know have a second, um, container of it and I, right. I will need to use bigger bins like I think this the max I, I can fit I think is like 20 oops sorry I, I think the biggest I can fit is 20 25 millimeters so every screw that's 30 millimeters or bigger will actually need a bigger uh, like two a two segmented drawer but man it just feels so good every time I was telling Pooch like uh, I've got a bunch of these little plastic container things that I've you know, you buy the hardware and it comes in these just scattered everywhere. And so being able to put all the parts in here and get rid of these containers and have everything in one place has been such a like Zen, very like Zen, oh. zen thing for me, you know? <laughs> Which I think so is I like you say, described, right? Isn't that what you said? <laughs> yeah, it's it's super Zen. And it's also like, I like to say it's like a great massage for your prefrontal cortex, right? It's just yep. like one of those things, like sometimes you just need to chill out, you know, have a little tasty beverage of your choice and then yep. just sit down. And, and, and it's great because you feel like, I don't know about you, but I've got like bags and bags of like unsorted things. And if I just need like a little chill moment, sometimes I'll just grab one of the random bags. And the, the nice thing is once you've gone to the trouble of doing that, now every time I build a new one, it's like I already got, so I open up a kit and I just immediately fill them up. You yeah. know, that was part of my workflow and it's all, yeah. it's all done. But um, I understand that this isn't like, that's not the kind of time that a lot of people feel like they have. So sometimes it's just kind of like a little, a little self care thing. Sure, sure, yeah, a little, little by little. Uh, Aaron says, I only labeled half the trays and gave up on the rest. Yeah, I, I actually upgraded my label making game. So I had uh, a brother P-Touch one, but I got the new brother oh, P-Touch one. Dude, so it's like, -touch. it's the, this one's nice because it's wireless and you can type on your phone instead of their little keyboard and it's battery powered as well. So you can oh, take it with I like you that. and it's sick, like dude. That. Like I'm a, it, I'm a big fan, show. so I, I bought a bunch of labels. Is that your? Is that yours? Let me show uh, you. Let me show you mine. Look at okay, that, baby. Oh, this guy. I this is I. I really should keep like make a holster for this thing. Like I'm that <laughs> no. nerdy. Like on dude, your belt, you mean? That, like on your belt? <laughs> I would just keep that right. I would just keep that right there, slung up there. Boom. Your oh, label, right? Here, that makes here, me here, happy. Here. I, I kind of want to yeah. see you at like a rep rap fest with like a, a leather like pouch that you've got that in and you like walk up to right. someone and sort of like si like cite them. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't know what No, no, it's, I label it. What it is is like, just so I don't forget <laughs> names. I'm just like, you know, Daniel. Oh, right? that's perfect. Yeah, perfect. You're good. And I'm like, yeah. I'm now in a name and it's there and I'm, don't take that off. Yeah, yeah. no, it's a great, it's a great, I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, hey Dutch, let's see how many wide uh, how many many deep wide fit in that IKEA jar? I have the same one and want to put Griffin in it. So it depends. I haven't done the bigger drawers yet. So the top two drawers are smaller. The bottom three are all the same size and bigger. So for the top drawer, it fits three. I'm sorry, two high, perfectly. And depth wise, it's uh, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve deep, and one, two, three, four, five, seven wide. But there, this is a specific model I found on printables that is made for this drawer. So they are the chopped 84? up, and the, ed the yeah, the edges are skinnier than the normal Goodfinity grid, so that way it's able to fit into this drawer correctly. So um, and you should be able to do the exact same 
uh, length and width on the bigger Jords, but you should stack, you should be able to stack them at least three high. Yeah, three high on that one. So two on the top and three on the bottom. Aaron had a good point though. He said, don't stack them too heavy or they'll start to sag. These aren't exactly mm -hmm, the mm -hmm, highest mm -hmm. quality of drawers, but I, I don't think for this, I think we're gonna be okay um, with this hardware. And if I have to, I can sort of spread things out a bit more. Like a lot of this stuff, like, um, like crimping, you know, like the little connector drawers. I mean, that's in a way like next to nothing. So, but yeah, if you've, if you've got a collection of marbles, probably don't use Goodfinity in these Ikea drawers because it's gonna, it's gonna weigh, you know, weigh a lot, so. Yeah, that'll add up quick on you for sure. I gotta say, man, I've been, I've been having my, it, uh, Zach's design with Gridfinity, first of all, anybody that knows me knows like, I'm a huge fan of modular design stuff. So anything where you can just keep going back to that well and just like add a little thing to it or whatever. Um, it, it just, like I said, like, I love that stuff. And everybody, when they say like, that I've been doing this, it's like, you gotta do Gridfinity, you gotta do Gridfinity. I'm like, yes, I know, I do. I've got plenty of drawers that could take advantage of that. One of the reasons I like these guys for this is like I'm moving it around in my workspace and I guess I could take an entire drawer out, but I like being able to take this thing with me. So it's just like different strokes for different folks, different sure. applications, different tools for different jobs. There's portable, I've, I have seen um, people that have like made tackle sort of box like containers. Style. Yeah, 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 which is yeah, yeah. Cool, dude. Cool. I, I, yeah, so, but no, I, I get, it's not, I mean, organization is one of those things where you have to do what works best for you. And for me, if a system is too complicated or, or whatever, I just simply won't use it. So it has to be something that, that really works, you know, works for you. Uh, let me see here. For so, sure. uh, hey, hey Dutch, uh, I don't know if I said that already. Um, does that work with heat shrink labels? Yes. So I haven't actually tried it yet, but it, I, that was one of my requirements was that it must work with heat shrink. Uh, and I need to figure out where the heat shrink labels are that I purchased like two years ago. But yes, uh, it should. It should work with, <laughs> I know it's a little ironic. It should work yeah, with heat shrink labels. So I do plan yeah. on labeling my wires moving forward. Once I confirm it, uh, I will let I will let you know. Uh, Steve asked and looks like Phil asked as well. So I, I will show me, uh, don't show me these things. <laughs> I have a Rhino 4200 mostly for heat shrink. The Rhino is just pretty make it feel bad. expensive, isn't it Aaron? I think I saw that one. It's Isn't it yellow? I, I'm pretty sure I saw that one. It was like, uh, this one they had a they had a more expensive tier as well for from the P Touch brand, but this one was like a hundred bucks, and I'm like, mm, that's like that's as much as I want to spend on the label right now for my Goodfinity uh, yeah. drawers. But yeah, they've got some really fancy, more like industrial. Uh, what this is the so this is the brother P Touch Cube Plus. So the Plus Ooh. version, I can't remember what the difference was between the main and the Plus. It has a built-in cutter, um, built-in battery I, I can't remember there was some pretty big differences between the cube and the cube plus which is why i opted for the cube plus so the cube so you <laughs> but you said you can attach you can attach that to your your computer right so you're not you're not typing directly on that thing yeah so i haven't done it sending, yet I, I've, I've, so it. so far i've only used the mobile app uh but from what i saw yeah you, they have a they have a desktop app as well. And the cool thing is if, if for some reason that just doesn't work, I've got, because my primary PC is Apple Silicone, it can install, it can install apps as well, like all of the iPhone apps. So I can install the app for the computer if I want to type on my keyboard instead of, but I'm pretty sure when I read it, it said they had a standalone desktop app as well. I just didn't like nice. the mesh. The, I think yours has the mesh buttons. I didn't find myself to be as quick typing with that as I am just knocking it out on my phone. Yeah, it's uh, it's fine. It's it's more it's a different experience, but I, I like the standalone because you know it's like one less thing you have sure, to worry. Sure, sure. Yeah, you're not like tethered. Regular totally. batteries, you know, just throw it and go, and yeah. So it's, you know, but it would be cool to be able to do some because I think some of those like you can do graphics, you can do better graphics stuff uh, mm -hmm. with, you know. So if you want, because that's that that's the next level thing. So for my printed parts bins that I got over here, so I'll get in like on. You know, like on this, for example. Um, you know, what I really want to print out the, uh, you know, the image of like what the part is, because like sure. telling, uh, writing out like y-axis, whatever, it's not as like clear and sure. like, the use sure. case. Sure, image is cool. But uh, what, but what I, for that, I'll are just... you planning on using for that? Just a regular, regular printer on like the sticker paper. Yeah, so I've got a uh, I've got thermal printers that I print like all my shipping labels and stuff. I know with, you do. Like, I bought. Uh, I, I have yeah, your yeah, zebra yeah, label. Yeah, <laughs> it's sitting on my yeah. desk right now. <laughs> Are you using that thing or what, man? Those things are great. Yeah, no, I love it. It's uh, 
I noticed that some, it seems, I, I might need to do some maintenance on it because I feel like it's a, getting a little bit lighter, but so far I still haven't had any issue with, like, I mean, oh, everything I've tweak, shipped out. You can tweak the darkness and stuff. Cool, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah everything yeah. I've shipped out, I mean, I've probably shipped out a few thousand packages since uh, I bought that thing off of you, man. With my, my Pokemon card hustle that I was doing a couple of years ago. <laughs> hey, man, but yeah, that, that no shame in your game. Man. No, not at all. So, well, okay, anyways, anyways, you're, you're saying you're, you're going to use your label, your thermal labels for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so for that, uh, I'll, just, I'll just print them on some like 4x3s or 4x6 thermals, and then they're already sticker paper, and then I'll just grab some scissors and I'll snip them out. And cool, okay, right yeah, yeah. There. Easy peasy. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Bing, bang, boom. Bob's hey, your uh, uncle is. AWS, how much label waste on it? So it's quite a lot of waste if you have the auto cut set up. So... Uh, I've been, it's been a mixed bag for me of having an auto cut versus just having it chain print out things and then using my scissors and cutting them out. I would say that's probably, if you're trying to be less wasteful, that's the way to go is to, is to, um, is to, to do a bunch of them. Yeah. We yeah. look like a bunch of super geeky fishermen. Wait, what did I miss? What is, what is uh, we, okay, talking we about tackle, tackle, tackle boxes. boxes. Oh, yeah, and yeah. electric computer engineering. That's hilarious. That's amazing. Uh, oh, cool! It's on sale for eighty-five dollars right now. Yeah, I think I paid or eighty-nine. I think I paid a hundred for it. So Dynamo are moving to DRM on their machines. No knockoff labels anymore. That sucks. Uh, that's lame. You manually type in multiple on mine because if I tell it to be multiple copies, it wastes a ton. That keeps it eighty-nine bucks on Amazon right now. The nice thing about the apps is that you can save layouts. Yeah, that's true. It does. It saves layouts. So, yeah, I also <laughs> the dog food we have them in the containers, and our dogs are. Delilah, we call her Delilah Bear. So there's a picture. It does pictures too, but like not, they're like kind of emoji style pictures. And yeah. so her, her food now has the label of a, it says Delilah with a bear. And then our other dog's name is Monkey. So I found an image of a, like a monkey, like your typical monkey in the barrel that I printed out with this label maker that's on his, <laughs> his food now. Hey Jack. $889 and having to do all that is wild. Wait, what's, what's $889? It's $89. Okay, knob is going on. I, I'm also happy that the screen, I thought the screen instruction page was crazy long. I didn't realize that it was divided into the two parts. It's way less long than I initially thought that the instructions oh, yeah, were yeah. for it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I've got my screen in. I've got the cables on the back, grounding cable, and then the data, um, you know, I think data and touch, all I'm gonna that. Do my, I'm going to do my vinyl now. Because, like, you, you're looking good. I'm jealous. Yeah, yeah. Like, get my, get my <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, right but it was looking a little barren. So. Thinking right here, maybe, boom, like that. Just, you guys want to see that process. I mean, it's the traditional. This this surprised me because have you ever you, you've done, like, those vinyl stickers before, right? Where you got to, like, weed and pull them out. Uh, yeah, like from, from, like, a Cricut or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. And with something that's, like, that tiny and, uh, um, you know, the, like the text on this, like original, like the little eye and stuff, like, I'm like, there's no way that's going to work and stick well, but man, was I wrong. <laughs> but wh whoever's doing their little, uh, little, little labels is, stuff doing is kicking butt. Yeah. I really, all, I think it all comes down to the quality of adhesive that they're using on the backing, you know? Um, right. But it's like when you peel the backing, right. It's like, it can't stick too much to that side, but then you still want it to stick to the part and so, okay. So here. <laughs> Final magic is what you're saying then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a little art. There's a little art to it, and I'm sure you, you know you guys probably. There's always people that have done this better than I have. There we go. I did a okay. lot of it. I 3D printed out a desktop like arcade cabinet, and I didn't want to do any painting. And I was living with my buddy, that that buddy that said that my printer sounded like you know robot. Wait, let me see yours and, again real quick. Sorry, okay. can interrupt. I, I yeah, need yeah, a reference yeah. here because I don't want to put it on the wrong way. Uh, Let's sorry, see. So we're sorry, like yeah. uh, original is on the outside. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Here, yeah, I'll hold you it. think I right. know that by now? But I... Yeah, it's okay. No judgment here. I'll be, I'll be, a, be a screen slash hand model for you. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. Okay, go ahead. Keep, keep with your story. Sorry to interrupt okay. there. Uh, yeah, but they, they, when I made my little mini arcade cabinet, I didn't want to do any painting, <clears throat> and my buddy's wife had uh, either a cricket or, or silhouette or whatever one, and so mm -hmm. I, I did a bunch of uh, video game uh, characters like Pac-Man and Mario and stuff and. Man, one yeah, of them, yeah. I think it was the Mario, Yoshi, Luigi one, had so much, what's it called? We weedling? Weeding? Weeding? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where you gotta like Dude, pick all the little bits tedious, out. It was tedious, man. I was there with this little oh, pointy yeah. thing and just scrape, and there were so many little pockets. So yeah. I learned yeah. quickly that uh, to be, Not to be pickier, <laughs> to, yeah, yeah, to be pickier about the, um, 
you know, the, the graphics I was choosing to make sure it had yeah. a minimal amount of weeding that had to get done. I like that it's called I, weeding because it's like nobody really likes weeding and it's a great name for it. It, really it is. To, it is. I mean, that. and that's what you're doing. You're like, you're like weeding the little, you know, bits out that are, yeah. Um, I got, I got to say like, you know, in the, in the business podcast I do, the maker that money thing, like, yeah, I feel like that's the common path. Everybody like learns like the things that are going to like your time being the most precious thing that yeah. you have. Scarcest resource. And, and learning like what, you know, what juice is worth the squeeze, as I like to say too, you know, like yeah. sometimes like, yeah, people might be really excited about the graphic or it might be in high demand, but if, it, if you're going to have to take two hours, like weeding the thing, it's not, you're not going to be able to charge enough to be worth your time. Yeah, no, totally. I, I, I like it. If the juice is worth the squeeze, I got to push in these nuts a little bit more. I'm realizing they're, they're, uh, I don't want to run into, <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself. You know, I'm, you'll know right that looks just like yours right so you're yeah. if you if you're just with us like the one that daniel's got came straight from the factory and they do a uh, uv printing which is rad man if you ever have a chance to get like a uv printer or like look at that stuff like that's just next level marking yeah uh, tech. it's not i but, think that's what um Ty, uh, no travis uh was using mm -hmm. right for his yeah, yeah for his spinners yeah yep yep and it's uh it's good stuff for sure Definitely They're expensive, magic. and but it's uh -huh. a, it's using a UV resin just like similar to you know the resin we print with, and in it like you know creates a nice hard. And interestingly enough, it's way better for graphics like outdoors and stuff. Like it doesn't sun fade hmm. as well as much as like if you were to do a, you know some of the the transfers that they traditionally do. And so yeah, it's interesting. It's like stuff. a big sign shop uh, type you know piece it of is. equipment. Yeah. That's usually where you're gonna find it in, in sign shops. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, hey, Wojeki. What am I missing? LDO kits are not certified. Wait, what? Um, hey, hey, Lee or late Lee 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 Tian. Aaron, because it spawned into the frame. Hi. Neither are touch screens from LDO kit. Oh, you're saying gr grounding? Is that what we're talking about? The tricks of sticking that on for me would be getting it on straight. Yeah, that would be. That would be a little tricky for me as well. Is this the last Mark IV stream? Yeah, it should be. We've got screens, we've got beds, and we've got a print and a high five uh, virtually. And that's, yeah, that's, should be it. I want to get, I want to, I need to start cranking out PTG parts with this. I really want to get this thing finalized. So yeah, absolutely. Unless, unless Pooch says I'm, I'm curious. I want, you mentioned you had some really, really squishy flex that I'm yep, just yep, dying. Yep. No, like <laughs> chomps I, I am very curious. I, so I know that I'm gonna have to slow the extrusion and print speed down to a crawl for it to have a chance. There's just no way would you, any. Would you say it's like shore 40 or something? Like no, something it's, nuts? No, it's, it's, it's 60, eh? But it's still 60, like. 60, okay. Yeah, still. it's like, I mean, it's, it's nuts. I, I don't even know how to, I mean, it's like a spaghetti noodle, dude. Like, like done, like not al dente, <laughs> but like done. <laughs> like just, just shoving yeah. a rope through a hose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. It is, yeah. it is not, it is not what, like, it feels like you're doing something, like, like it, it sticks to PTFE tubing. Like you cannot get it through PTFE tubing because of how it grips to it. Like it, it is wild. Um, Has somebody done that? Has somebody tried to extrude pasta before like an angel hair? You know, it's <laughs> like, it would probably just completely mess up. What does gluten do to a, uh, you know. to an extruder? We'll leave that to somebody else to try. All right, we've got the screen attached to the frame. Sweet. Pasta printing. I don't know, man. Somebody's got to have done pasta printing. I know that's, I'm pretty sure I've seen that. I like the GIF that I've seen when, I think, I feel like Nero posts it a lot, but it's when like someone's got a spaghetti mess and it says like, don't be upsetty, don't be upsetty, enjoy the spaghetti. Have it's some, like, have like some spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, makes yeah, me yeah. giggle every time. I'm like, who made this? Like, it's, it's so good. Uh, okay, so people are so creative. Yeah, yeah, they really are. Okay, so cables guide the LCD under the front plate. We did that. Guiding the cable. Okay, so now we're going to be using these guys that we installed previously that I done incorrectly. The the injection molded. Oops, injection molded. You uh, did them correctly. What are you talking? Well, about? yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Once you started me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just Some little quality of life things. I love this little cable management setup. And I like that it's just not, it's a little more versatile than the, just talking it into the extrusion or using a zip tie or something. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I saw a zombie, zombie, it's funny enough, a zombie, I saw he posted this morning that he had a clog on his Mark IV with the, um, it was with a TPU, I think it was a 90A TPU. So I think the key oh, yeah? thing, I'm gonna be slowing it down like crazy. Cause I, this, I, I think I mentioned to you, but I tried this specific TPU on a, on a quite a range of hardware and did not have anything it's worth. Just the, it's the demon TPU, huh? Yeah, like, it is, it is. Yeah, wow. yeah that's it. Okay. I mean, they don't say that on the product page because I don't think it would sell, but yeah, that's not far from. The advanced, <laughs> like this, yeah. yeah. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah. So, okay. So I love a challenge. I love a good challenge, though. I love a good challenge. I mean, if there's an extruder for it, it could be that. Honestly, I'm wondering, what's the new E3D2? They got the Roto. Yeah. So the Roto. Really I have concerns, though, man. Like, so I think the Roto. I have the Roto, and I, I still need to freaking install and something. I just haven't. But my concerns with it, and I voiced it to them, and like, because they had me in one of like the early feedback things with on it, and it was that yeah. it doesn't have adjustable tension. Um. And really? It doesn't have adjustable tension. It's a set tension yeah. and it will work. They said they tested it on a huge range of materials, which I don't doubt. And they did test on TPU, which I also don't doubt. But right. I, that doesn't mean that they tested on 68 TPU, which is a super niche uh, filament. So yeah, I have a feeling yeah, 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 they tested yeah. it on more broad range. I wouldn't be surprised if they went down to like maybe even Ninja Flex at 85A, but I'm 60 is, is demon TPU land. <laughs> and it's like, it's, it's like bubble gum. TPU. Yeah, 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 so yeah, crazy. So yeah, I, I have my reservations as to whether it will, I, I, I don't see it performing well on the Roto just because of that. I think it needs like, it needs Place the gears to bets. basically just like kiss the TPU, but like not squeeze it. <laughs> like, <laughs> getting, getting that tension just right. Yeah, cause that's the other thing. If you, like even with some really softer filaments, like if you've got that, I, I think people don't realize like that, that that amount of tension can matter. If you're yeah. overly smashing the filament and then trying to jam it through. Not um, the answer, not the answer. Not the answer. No. Yeah, it'll sometimes work sometimes. It, sometimes less is more, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, definitely. Let's see, if we can if we can chocolate print, why not? <laughs> Looks like we know yeah. what the next my video will be, pasta printing. Pasta <laughs> printing, me, baby. That'd be fun, me in a chef's hat with pooch. <laughs> just pizza making pizza pasta. printing? Oh, dude. <laughs> You'd be all over it, right? We get yeah, some man. Hawaiian going? Yeah, I'd bring it. It's, dude, it's so funny. I, I messaged, last night Zombie was streaming. I was supposed to be working on a script and he was streaming around like 9.20. And I, I yeah. type in his chat that I should be scripting, but here I am watching a zombie stream and I just ordered Domino's and it was Hawaiian pizza because I was alone last night working on video stuff. It, and I'm like, I'm freaking it was. starving, dude. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah that's, that's, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, that's nourishment. You gotta get your nourishment, man. <laughs> yeah, so I, I might Nobody's not practice what I preach with organization, but I certainly practice what I preach when it comes to the pineapple on my pizza, man, that I do. There you go, there you go. <clears throat> Let's see, Elizabeth, you Let's can make water soluble glue out of gluten, so I'd expect you'd end up with a horrible mess of burnt glue and carbon in your hot end if it was cooked pasta. Uh, do you guys think the Mark 3.5 upgrade is worth it? So I know that we talked about this a little bit last week, and I know Pooch just did it, and I feel like mm. Nero just did it and said that he felt, what, I don't, I'm not gonna- What Nero think? I th so I'm not gonna, I, this is, this is, I thought that I had heard, I don't not want to put words in his mouth. I thought he said that he felt like it was the upgrade that to him made the most sense for more people because you get the 32 bit board that gives you the input shaping and that was a big part of it. But that might be, that might be me like pulling it out of thin air, but I think I saw him say that somewhere. So um, let's get Nero on here. Somebody yeah. <laughs> summon the Nero. He's Tell like, he's like, something. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, he I did not say that, Daniel. I'm like, oh my God, sorry, and you know. He's like, I didn't say that at all. Yeah, he's like, how <laughs> dare you? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm um, pretty sure that's what he said. I, I think that's a pretty common analysis. Like, I, I'm, were, were the machines that I'm dealing with right now, like not provided to me, um, I, I think I'd have gone three five. Yeah. Like for bang for the buck wise, because it definitely- Input shaping does a lot, dude. Input shaping oh, really does a lot and for- And it's for... such a trip watching a Mark III. Like, I, I mean, I've, I've watched this fleet run for years and to watch it run at modern input shaping speeds it... is wild. <laughs> it's yeah, wild. It's like, it that. looks like it's possessed and I, I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, hey Jack, how's it going? Meats only on my pizza. No way, dude, I love me. Love me a veggies. I mean, I, 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 different strokes, different folks, but I'm I'm big fan of give me some olives, give me some onions, give me some whole tomatoes. Got to get the pineapple, of course. Even some bell peppers, good if I'm not feeling too uh, 
to, because bell pepper gives you a pretty big, uh, like, heart heartburn, right? I think is is typically the it bell can. peppers. can. Yeah. See, but it's the red onions for me. Like, oh, like, really? I think it's yeah. for different people. Like, I can't do too many red onions. Like, white onions, no problem. Red onions, something, something going on there. Funny. I guess everyone, I mean, everyone's got their own, you know, sensitivities and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I think, I feel like bell peppers, I, I remember making stuffed bell peppers a while back and my stomach after was just like, oh, what's happening? Okay, so I'm, my screen's on, my wires are initially ran. It looks like I'm turning to uh, power supply cover. So we've got our little power yeah. supply cover right here, a couple screws, and then we need what? We need um, buddy power cable. Okay, so that's gonna be, it looks like a two first. So it's this guy right here. Mm. Then we've got a single power cable, which is, no, no, these are both, okay, these are both double. Okay, so these are the same, Sorry, what's Just different about these? They look identical to me. They what are we like asking about? These two wires look identical. They're like they're the same gauge. They're the same fittings on both ends. One of them is yeah. the power panic. Wait, no, no, yep. no, 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 no. Not the panic. They're both. Oh, they're one's both. The they're power both. supply. Oh, they're, yeah. Gotcha. It says two times, so it's supposed to be the same. And then this is the so the twisted wire looks like it's the power panic cable. These versions of them have two wires. Okay, so I've got this one that has two wires. And then some zip ties, which, oh, here they are. There's some zip ties. Doo, 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 doo. Uh, it's okay, he has a new beef blowing up with TNL fans. So here's, uh oh. There it is. Six, they want a six. With TNL? <laughs> Mama Mia, no pineapple on a pizza. <laughs> It's, so, a, hey, it's a polarizing thing, man. You, I mean, you knew that. So you yeah, know no, that. I, I do. It's so, it's, it's like it, licorice. People, there is no in between. I, I dig it. I Everybody, dig it, dude. Like, people, yeah. people either love it or hate it. That's the thing. Yeah, I grew That's up with it, man. Really, like, oh, it's super good. I think yeah, it's my, great. My mom is from crazy. Sweden, dude. So my whole life, it was like black licorice. Oh, got that. But, but the yeah, they have really salty. So, so I'm going to, let me go to my face full screen so I can have this conversation. So, Here's the thing. So I I like black licorice, but I also yeah. do feel like sometimes the licorice that my mom has that she's given me feels like it's salty just for the sake of being salty. I like like um, in between. So like sweet black licorice is great. Semi salty black licorice is great. The super salty yeah. stuff, I have like one or two to pucker my face up and then I'm done with it, man. So, yeah. so you know, yeah. like um, Dutch hey, dude from, yeah. I mean, Dutch dude from Zero, uh, the Zero G team with the uh, Mercury One visited from, um, Oh gosh, where's Dutch? Dutch, yeah. So uh, Holland. Danish, Holland? No, da Danish. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Dutch is Dane. No, I had to talk to my mom about. But I think Holland, and uh, he brought over Nor from Norway. Yeah, no, it's Holland. Yeah. So he brought over some of the super salty stuff to Murph two years ago, and mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. was he, he did that. He did that to be silly. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did that because he knew uh, that like people's palates were going to be ready for it. The Germans make one. The, these ones called like cats, cats and fiction or something. They're like cats paws, <laughs> but they're like uh -huh. a salt, a salty. Oh, they're so good. They're so good. Yeah, I, I like. Yeah, I'm, I, I feel like I have a fairly like diverse or is it eclectic, eclectic taste bud? I, I don't know if that's the word, yeah. but yeah, I, I like a lot of like a, a lot wide of palate. Things. Yeah, there you go, wide palate. Hey, no power tools, man. <laughs> Look at this, dude. You know, the, I, I think I think I got like a little powder coating in this standoff for the uh, earth okay. ground that I'm trying gotcha. to attach, and I just wanted to give it a little, you know, not too much ugga dugga. Okay, all right. I just I wanted to make sure we weren't like I was like this isn't intended to be a. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to speed build on you. Don't okay, worry. Okay, okay. All right. It's like I thought. You know, this was like a gentleman's game or whatever. <laughs> Hey man, everybody goes at their own pace here. <laughs> yeah, I think I got ahead of Steve for like, for the entire, we did, I mean, I don't remember how many parts it was. There's a lot of parts of the VZ Bob <laughs> series. And, and I think I got ahead of Steve for like all but seven minutes and it felt good, man. It felt really good. And then I screwed something I don't know how you was... did that. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then I, I did something silly and it was, there was no, <laughs> there was no returning from it. Okay, so it looks like yeah, the, so for the grounding cable. Yeah, yeah. So I've got one end of it going into the screen, and then it's got the in-between end, and then it's got the far end. Am I doing the far end to the PSU, or am I using the in-between end to the PSU? Which one are we talking about? Show me the wires again. Sorry. So it's ground. It's the ground wire. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the ground wire. Okay, so you got the the far end goes to the PSU, the close end goes to the uh, motherboard. Close. So they get, oh, okay. The the in between one, the middle guy goes to the motherboard. The, far yeah, the middle guy. Reason. Okay. Yeah, they cool. got they got basically like crimped a ring terminal in the middle, and then on yep. the end, and so we're doing the okay. the end goes to the power supply and the. Awesome. Uh, let's see, Steve says sorry, listening but not reading as much. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure he smiled when I when I mentioned uh, his. His, his speed, speed, yeah. speed. Yeah, Top even speed. with his, even with his, like, belt's got to be the right way and all this organization oh, yeah. he still, still freaking sprinted past me, dude. Well, the dude, the dude builds. I mean, that's what he yeah. does. I mean, it's, yeah, it's in true. his it's in, name. It's in the name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Dutch, okay, Dutch is Netherlands. Netherlands. Danish is Holland. Dutch is Netherlands. Danish is Holland. Holland. Yeah. Oh, See, that's my the, the reason why when you said that I was a whole population. I, I, I talked to my mom about this last night. Yeah, because yeah, I was like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's my love. apologies to all our Dutch friends. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Danish is Holland. Dutch is Netherlands. Danish? Okay, that's yeah, yep, yep. That's right. Yep. Because our homie John at Proper Printing. He's Dutch. He's wait. I was gonna ask yeah, too. Dutch. I was just he's, thinking he's, about it today. Is it John or is it Jean? Jon. Jon. Okay. Jon. I was say my 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 mom's. My, what is it? My mom's cousin. But we're close. Uh, let me call him whatever I want. Yeah, is we I've called him John my whole life, but it's Swedish and it's Jan. Jan with like a Y Jon. is how. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a little <laughs> accent over the O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, with yeah. The accent going. That it's way. the o, it's the o with the it's a squiggle right or is a straight line? No, it it's it's be... a it's a it's an accent. Oh, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's funny that you mentioned that because I was thinking about that today. I was like, I was like, I don't think I've ever. I was just say like practical printing, but like, is it John or Jan? I feel gonna, like gonna... I need to either retap this because oh, it's wrong... like kind of cross threaded. Maybe I'll just throw some washers on it. I don't know, man. You don't want to mess with your Earth connection. Yeah, it says to you. Oh, gotcha. So you're saying. So you're I kind of cro I kind of cross threaded it, and now it's all a little bit borked. So I need to. I either need to get a tap out, or I need to. Yeah, I need to clean that out somehow. Okay. You keep keep carry on. Don't worry about me. No, okay, okay. I'll be fine. You'll you'll catch up. I know you will. So. Yeah, I mean, or, or I won't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> At some point, I'll get there. All right. Let's see what's chat saying. Do. I love having my little <laughs> toolbox back here. Got my little tappy Elizabeth. Tap. <laughs> Elizabeth says, "Do you even build, bro?" <laughs> uh, she talking to me? No. I, I oh, think oh. She, I think she's talking to me about uh, Mrs. Steve. I stuck my fingers in an open PS2 and it hurt. I was completely shocked. Nice. <laughs> Hello, hey, Bertalian. How's it going? Pizza, chili, barbecue sauce, beef, chicken breast. Poultry, hot dog, sausage, jalapenos, oregano, and cheese. Wild. I don't. I don't think I've had anything like that. Pooch has Ooh. got the top, everybody. Ooh. Look out! I thought Danish was Denmark. No, dot dot. Uh, dot <laughs> sounds like a lot of confusion, man. Yeah, it's not. It, I don't think it's very. I mean, like maybe in Europe, it's everyone knows that, and we just seem silly. But like, I don't think over here that's common knowledge. I don't think it is. I'm gonna. It's my story obviously not with. because we're str <laughs> we're struggling with it. Yeah. That's it. That's my five. Yeah, too smart. <laughs> too smart guys like us, you know, being confused like has got a geography is a completely different thing, okay guys? Come on. <laughs> All right. A micro so tap. On. There's something I didn't think I was going to be doing today. And uh to be completely fair, this is a problem of my own making, which most things are um I cross-threaded now I gotta correct. Honestly, so when I see someone else make a mistake, I don't. I'm not happy they made a mistake, but it's definitely a little bit sigh of relief when I'm like, oh, okay, oh, yeah, cool. It's not just not me, real. right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like does. on this island, just like you know, with a broken yeah. boat, and I'm like, man, I knew I should have built this boat better. Let's see, snacks. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, snacks head against desk. Broccoli, broccoli, chicken Alfredo. I, I don't think I've had that either. Are you? Sounds I like, good. I, like, I would um, eat that. Ten of ten would eat. I like a good barbecue okay. chicken pizza. There's a place local to us that has a killer. It's like a sweet, it's like a sweet, savory barbecue sauce with really good chicken, a bunch of fresh chopped up tomatoes and chives on it. Um, and, and it is, ooh, it is killer. It's so, so good. Mm. Uh, hi, Daniel. Just got back from uh, Fat in France. What is that? Is that a convention? 
I think so. Denmark does not exist. Apparently it's in the Netherlands now. Are we witnessing an example of the American education system failure? Hey man, I, yes. I, uh, <laughs> I passed geography, not with flying colors, but I, the only reason I passed even US geography was like, they had a jingle that we learned for the states. That way I can figure out like what was where and what the capitals were and stuff like that. And I learned it just long enough to pass high school and then it went out the window. So different strokes of different folks. Geography has never been, I mean, just even local geography is something I struggle with. So, yeah. you know, where am I? Yeah. Very much so. Like every time, like people ask me, what road? First of all, it by? wasn't like, like somebody says, like, do you know the difference between where Holland and the Netherlands is? It's like, uh -huh. wait, they, 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 it's not, it's not an easy one, right? It's like, wait, yep. they call themselves the Dutch and they're the Danish. <laughs> they both start with D, but yeah. neither of their countries start with D. I mean, come on, that's yeah, that's, that's somewhat <laughs> forgetting. <laughs> that's not, yeah, that's that's not on us, man. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is, but you know, I'm just making excuses. Uh, Americans in geography, name a less iconic duo. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm feeling the burn today, dude. Jeez. Uh, this is I'm what happens, scared. though. You know, you got your crowd is, uh, you know, yeah, you got a lot of this European <laughs> crowd. You got to take care of your audience. We have to learn your capitals. You manage our few countries. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Fair. Touche. Nobody Figure cares about our capitals. <laughs> Uh, factory acceptance test. What is what does that entail? Is it manufacturing related then? I feel like I'm playing with fire here. I'm gonna break this tap off in here. I know it. Don't do it, Pooch. Don't do it. Should I got my cutting oil out? That seems a little bit much. I just see you there with a drill press. I'm like, dude, what's going on over there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Years ago at Murph, like we agreed to like put together a um what was it? What was the what was the one before Voron, the, like the Speed Demon? It was the um, oh, that's killing me right now. <sighs> yeah, it was like uh, somebody in the chat helped me out. Like Mandela Rose made like a bunch of the parts for it. Wait, what Brain is it? Not is working. it the printer? It was a printer. It was a Core X Y. It was one of the first Core X Y Speed Demons that was using tramming. Um, why is the name real? Real core is what Steve rail said. Core, thank you. Yeah, rail yeah. core. That was one of the early ones I remember. Running, do it right. The, do it hardware. Rail core. See, Steve's got my back. I appreciate yeah. you, Steve. Steve wouldn't have known where the where the Netherlands was either. So no, he actually probably knows. He's a smart. <laughs> yeah, he's he's like he, even, he even he was offended. Even Steve was offended. Steve was offended, and that's saying something. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we're building a rail core, and like. There's some wonky stuff going on with that, or at least with the early builds and stuff, uh -huh. uh, where, you know, you got to get uh, some of these, like, T-bolts, like, into the extrusion, and then, like, getting it perfectly squared up to these um, HDPE panels. And so, at one point, I just got, like, a hammer, and I was just like, bam, 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 and Joe Prusa walks God. by, and he's like, that's how you build a 3D printer, or whatever, <laughs> like, uh, keep going, like, yeah, yeah. That's funny. But, yes, yeah, so I was, okay. All right, well, hey, we're out of the woods, man. I think I, I think I, I I'm back, I'm back in biz. But uh, yeah, you know, sometimes brute force is the way. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes you need maximum ugadugas. Um, uh, max ugadugas. Steve would, you, you'd totally you respect that. Have you ever tried brute. a donner meat calzone? A place near me did them. They closed now. I me, I haven't had lunch yet. I'm hungry. I can't find anywhere else. I don't know what that is. I don't know what don, don, Donner meat. I don't know what that is. Donner meat? Yeah. I think that's reindeer. Oh, no. I've never eaten like reindeer. Like Donner, Dasher, and, da, plant, plant, and Prancer? The Donner, most exotic Donner. food I've probably eaten is snails. I, I feel like um, there's a... I, I don't think I've tried... I know my mom's had frog, but, and I've had, I think, like duck. But I, I there's a French mm -hmm. uh, bakery... Uh, deli oh, in oh. in uh, Los Angeles that my parents took me to a couple times when we were going to like a concert uh, out that way I think the Hollywood Bowl and they mm -hmm. had snails and I was like yeah I'll try it my parents were like yeah good and they were they were yummy dude they were like sautéed and a bunch of garlic and stuff and like you well, that's the thing. they, they taste were snails, like dude. whatever yeah. they're sautéed and, in, and right? the consistency the... is like yeah. it's not like it's slimy like it's it's like it's like a solid chewy thing that tastes good like it's it was it was really. It was really yummy. Yeah, so I've had, I've had escargot. It's good. Good stuff. Did you uh, watch... frog, frog legs, all that? Yeah. 
Did you happen to watch? Uh, and I'm, 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 his name slipped in my mind. It starts with M. M Mor Mori? Mar Mar Mary? Mar Mar He's a um, YouTuber that does a lot of like re repairing, uh, like printing in the park and repairing broken things. It's it's his name, and I, I'm so bad with him. It starts with an M. I just talked to him the other day, and I feel awful. But he did printing a recent video. Park? He did a recent one, which was uh, like 3D printing surviving in the wilderness. Oh, I saw that. It starts I with an the, M. I, uh, I feel bad. It it's, yet, though. Hold on, was it good? Hold on. Yeah, so a 3D printer in the wilderness. I feel awful because I'm Morley. That's okay. In my defense, it's not like I'm very good at remembering very common names. So it's M O R L E Y, Morley. And we've we okay. talked recently, uh, actually, which I apologize if he watches this. Anyways, I um, met, he he uh, cat he basically caught and lived off frogs for a week in the wilderness with his 3D printer, Ooh. and it was wild, dude. Like I I give him like. I was watching it and it was a really interesting, it was a long episode, it's an hour and eight minutes. I watched the entire thing with, my, with Jackson. Jackson was really into it, dude, because like, there was just a lot going on. Really? And, um, it was, it was, it was wild. I was just like, I love the idea of trying to sort of fend in the wilderness with a few things, but like, like sort of expectation of like, la, 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 like somewhere in the wilderness, you know, versus like him out there just living under, like in, in a- Like he was literally doing survival stuff. So it's like, yeah, I, cause he, to me, it just, thought, I thought it was like a gimmick, right? Like I see the yeah. thumbnail, like no, why would you I take mean, a 3D printer into sure. the wilderness to survive? So he had a few things like, I, I mean, again, it wasn't nothing. He had this thing that helped him start fires easier. He had a tarp, like it wasn't just like wilderness fend for, but, but it was still interesting to see sort of what shelter. he thought of and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I thought it yeah. was, I thought it was a good watch. I think it was really well documented, really well edited and um, just interesting. I mean, the amount of food that he did not have in a week's span was wild. I mean, he basically lived off all water, a handful of frogs and ac like a couple acorns. And it's just, I'm like, man, like trying to think about mm -hmm. that, how hungry I get every four water. hours is, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it was, it was a very, I, I thought it was a very interesting video and, and a quite, uh, quite original idea. If you have not smacked the like button, hit the like button. We got it. We got it. Oh, I'll have to check it out. It sounds good. At some point. Yeah. Yeah. Smack. I'm going to smack that like button right hit now. It. Just give, give, it a, give it a good old whack. I'm going to give a little slap a do. Slap, slap, slap a root. Tap it in. Just tap it. Just tap, tap it. Give it a little tappy. <laughs> tap, tap, tap a root. I haven't watched that in a while. Smack. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, I don't so know what wires. Infinite view. I'm putting it up on the big screen here. Uh, let's see who's streaming right now. Uh, Mop out army. I might even I might even subscribe oh at this point. You know, I don't know. <laughs> don't you dare! <laughs> don't you dare! <laughs> let's see here. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh wait, here. Well, here. This will be because this is my Prusa account, so I could, I could subscribe. This isn't my main. So there you go. There's another one. Don't tell, don't tell YouTube though. I won't. Okay. Hey Charlie. Then, oh, hold on now. Cool, cool it. And we can give it a like right there. Good thing. And then we can log in. Are uh, I tuned out for one minute, and you were talking about frog legs. <laughs> Sorry, zombie. <laughs> That's how it goes, zombie. Yeah. You know. You've when been the, on the stream before. When the cats you know how away, it is. The, the mice play. <laughs> All right. Did you get your, where are you at? You got your, your wiring on? Yes, yeah, so you're ahead of me still because I had to do yep. that. That little tap. Yeah, I'm going. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going a little bit slower and stuff to let yeah. you catch up. Oh, is that why? I'm yeah. not. <laughs> I'm not. It's just because we're talking just, about frogs. No, legs. this is, yeah. It got yeah. me all pumped up about wilderness Dutchman. and snails and yeah. <laughs> licorice. Yeah. Gosh. Um, How do you wait, think you, you do, banana. you know, survival situation, one to ten, like you're out there. With nothing? Uh, let's just say on your own, uh, you've got um, you've got a knife and that's it. How many days you got before you're dead? <laughs> yeah, so it's a great question. I. I, growing up, I did a lot of, uh, my family's big on outdoors stuff, so I was camping. Okay, all right. Did I get, boy, I didn't get, a lot of people are getting gifted memberships, but I didn't get a notification. That's weird. That's weird. Somebody, it did says, somebody do some gifting? Let's see. Yeah, here. it looks like, it looks uh, like uh, uh, Digital Dragon or Luke don did quite a, oh. I don't understand. Let me, hold on, like, let me see if I can redo the, um, Notification for that because it didn't pop up on my end. Stream stream elements is slacking right now. Yeah, it's odd. It's I mean it's showing. One second here. Let me just see if I can redo the. I'd like to for the pop up to show up. 
It doesn't show yet on my, that's so freaking weird. I am very confused. Anyways, thank you very much, Luke. I didn't even know you were here. I don't think he, maybe he said hello when we were talking about frog legs, I didn't see it. So let me do some sound effect with cheers and then we'll do squirrel, squirrel sounds because that's what's going on today. Thank you very much for the support, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I, I did a lot of outdoorsy stuff as a kid. We camped, I like always tent camped and um, one second here, side view. Yeah, always temp tent camped. We did a lot of fishing. We did like crawdad fishing as well. We did a bunch of berry picking and stuff in the wilderness with different plants and whatnot. And mushroom picking mm -hmm, in Sweden. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but the reality is it's been about 16 years and I have forgotten most all of it. Um, I, I did scout as a kid as well and, and I forgot most of it. So honestly, with how, <laughs> with how spoiled I've gotten with things like Amazon and quick foods, probably not that well. Like I, I, if you told me, if you told me, Daniel, you have 60 days to prepare before we're dropping you off. And you gave me like a lay of sort of like the, the, you know, where it's going to be like some Island somewhere. I feel like I can right. do enough research on the bare minimum to build a shelter, figure out some right. water stuff and all that. But do I think I would do well? Probably not, um, but I don't know. Like there's been a lot of times in life where there's a situation where it's like a stressful situation. I think I won't do well and I perform exceptionally well. So I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know, man. But if I ever, if I ever get abandoned or like my ship or plane goes missing, then I'll let you know yeah. when I come back how, how it went down. How you I did? Back. Well, I mean, yeah, coming it, back, it's really, I think it's a pretty binary thing. If, yeah. if you're in a survival situation, you either survive or you don't. It's like, I could have survived better. Yeah, but you survived, you survived. Yeah, so, so I, I don't know. I, I think I would love in a different life, I think we talked about this a little bit, but like, I would love for someone mm. to just drop me off in, in like an area with some basic tools and just be like, hey man, build yourself a shelter. But I, I want it to be close enough where I can, <laughs> I can call, you know, like, like a, yeah, an operator <laughs> yeah. in case I need help. So right. I, I don't know. What about you? What about, what about you? How would you, how would you? You know, I, it? it's similar. I did scouts and all that stuff. And uh, like, I know enough to be dangerous, yeah. but I, I will say this X factor, you know, like you said, if it's really a life or death thing and your choice is you either live or you die, it's like, yeah. you, you figure it out, right? Yeah, it doesn't sure, mean sure. I'm going to be, be happy about it. And you know, I might get pretty messed up along the way, but I, I I'm not the kind of person that's just going to like lay down to my, my mom sure. was always famous. Like, Oh, if we have like some of these end of the, you know, the zombie apocalypse or any of the stuff people, she's like, I'll just like walk out into the woods and just lay down and die somewhere. And I'm like, what? Oh, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> Yeah. No, she's like, I don't want to live in that, you know, where like, I'm like, you wouldn't try to survive. And I'm yeah. like, I, I feel like I would at least, I would do my best to survive. I'm not just going to like give up. I, I um, feel like you're a very like, so, I mean, I, I only know you from like the conversations we've had and seen you at events over the years and stuff. And we've chatted here and there, but I feel like the poosh that I know is a fairly resilient person. Like, I don't think that you, like, I'm, whether, I'm I mean, really hard to kill. That's the yeah. thing guys. Like I don't <laughs> like, and people have tried and you're the cockroach. Have tried. <laughs> the cockroach of the human. Like, that's, that's, <laughs> that's really what it is. It's not that I'm particularly resourceful. I'm just really hard to kill. Your words, not mine. I, I meant it in a way. Like I think that with all of this sort of, you know, having your own small business and sort of having the deck stacked against you and having to sort of figure out how to make mm. system works. Like you had like, like, it wasn't like things were handed to you. Like you had to like take no as an answer and, and right. Well, hold, hold on. I mean, I, okay. first of all, I appreciate the thing, but like, like perspective, like a uh, sure. middle-aged white guy here. Like, yeah, I'm kind of privileged. So, you know, as far as like, yeah, no, d things were not handed to me. I was not, uh, you know, raised in the lap of luxury or anything necessarily, but I, I, I think I've, you know, been lucky to have a lot of the, the, the friends and the family and the resources that, that I have had. Sure, but that sure. said, it's like, it's it's the Warren Buffett saying, it's like, you wanna give your kids enough to do something, not nothing. Um, yeah. And and so I was, you know, middle class and parents very supportive, but uh, you know, there were always limits uh, to yeah. like, well, well, we'll help you with this, but you gotta figure out the rest. Like when I went to school, I was given uh, some money that my grandfather, I think gave each of me and my siblings like three grand or something when we were each born and my dad decided to just put it in mutual funds and so by the time i was ready to go to school i want to say i had something in the realm of like 20k which is great oh, cool. and, and when yeah. i was going to school like that was enough to get me through like about 
three years of school now it wouldn't come anywhere close with the cost sure. of tuition on, on stuff but i still had to have a job i still had to pay my way like if i want and they're like when you're when you're out of that you're like you got to figure it out yeah. and like to their credit i think that's a great way to go but there's a lot of friends that i've had that didn't have any of that had to take out student loans were burdened and are still burdened with student debt you know i don't i don't i'm not trying to get political here you can land wherever you want on that stuff but i i, I think that I think that it's nice that, um, you know, when people have have some resources, but still have the drive to want to do uh, their own thing. And I know it's just different for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, okay. I, still, I still think that even sure, maybe maybe there, there. Yes, there absolutely are people that are way more deck stacked against them, no doubt. But I still think that regardless, in order to make a small business be successful, it, it's well, it's. Yeah. It takes, you know, the other takes, thing is I'm humble, I'm humble AF. So there's yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I appreciate yeah. it. I, it's been a lot yeah, of work man. and I don't claim to have it figured out. And there's a lot of days where I'm just like, I don't, I, I don't feel like I've been very success, as successful as I would like to be or, or that I feel like I should be. And I, I mean, that imposter syndrome is real for, oh yeah, for, <laughs> oh, for everyone. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You know? I, I mean, sure. I, I face the same thing. I mean, I, my channel quite successful, I mean, very successful in the grand scheme of things, and I'm incredibly thankful for it, but I don't think it matters who you are or, or what, you know, industry you feel they're in, like the imposter syndrome is something that I think nearly everybody mm -hmm. faces. And if they don't face it, then wow, you're very lucky and I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because the, yeah. Having your brain, uh, you know, not be on your side sucks. It's not a real fun place to be in, you know? So. No, it's, it's not. But anyway, I pre appreciate the notion and like I it, it's not for everybody. It, you know, you the saying in small business is like if you're if you're a small business owner, you got to learn to love the taste of your own blood because mm -hmm. you're going to have your highs, you're going to have your lows, you're going to get knocked down repeatedly. You're going to have these moments where you feel like you're all in over and over and you're like, wait, when is this ever going to feel easy? And I don't know if it ever feels easy. The question is, like, are you are you happy? Like. Yeah. I've been I've been reading and listening a lot about calm business. I don't know if you're familiar with the term. I've never heard of that. Oh, it's right now. it's kind of my latest race thing. It's just like we it, in a capitalist society like we're in, we get so focused on the numbers and uh, you know how things are going and and uh, wanting to grow, grow, grow and vanity metrics like you know how many employees do you have and how much what was your revenue last year and all this stuff and and the truth is like that stuff is all the things whether you're a business or a creator or whatever like those are contributors to burnout in a big way um because just hustle go 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 does not mean that you're gonna be sustainable if sure. you're just like constantly trying to grow so calm business is is focused more on like how do you make this sustainable and tolerable and keep yourself happy and you know it, it's not always at the sake of growth and and money you know, there's a lot of other variables that go in, like how you treat your employees. If you want to yeah. have employees, it's it's a like a combination of lifestyle and. Uh, it's called calm, um, calm business. Yeah, calm. Like, it, is your business calm? Gotcha. But the notion is like, yeah, like, can you be happy from day to day, not feeling like stressed and pressured to perform? And a lot of the the things, you know, we talk, we hear the glamour metrics, you know, the Shark Tank, the venture capital throwing money at things like the hustle all of that stuff that's kind of the antithesis of a lot of what calm is right because they just want performance and and numbers and you know investors want want their money back um when you're a founder and you're bootstrapped on your own like you get to decide like at what pace you want to go at and it's sometimes it's better to go slower um yeah. but nobody really says that part and so it's kind of more it's 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 pretty popular in the indie crowd so there's like a whole segment of, of people that are just like solopreneurs especially like in software as a service and stuff like that where uh -huh. you're you know you have a you have a little software um business maybe a little product maybe a little ai thing you're doing or something and and you're you know working by yourself uh out of a you know coffee shop in thailand or something but uh this is a you know guy it's, I follow it's like, that that oh. sounds exactly like you're describing i don't yeah. know i i started following him oh, doing the big like Okay, yeah, I started following him during the, like the. Well, who like, is it? I names, dude. I, I'll, I'll look okay. it up on no X. Worries. But he 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 owns a few AI businesses, like Probably like, like apps. Level S. 
That, I think that's like, it. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, always he's like great. talking yeah. about just like posted up in a you know hotel room in some country, like yeah, yeah. trying you know working on his thing. And then I think most recently he said that um, what's the company that just acquired? Um, they just acquired one of like Photoshop's Affinity. So they were Affinity was purchased by. Um, oh gosh, it's uh, Zombie. If you're here. Liz was just talking about it on like Twitter the other day. It's like a design suite app that a lot of people use. It's sort of like has a bunch of like templates and helps you do brand stuff. It's called, oh, that's gonna bug me. Are you talking about Canva? Canva? Talking about Canva? Yes, Canva. Canva bought yeah. Affinity. Yeah. So Canva bought Affinity and he okay. posted that um, Canva is launching like some AI thing, which is ironic because he discovered that Canva had created, has been using his version of that AI thing. And so they basically uh, had a bunch of accounts scoped out like what his did and then, you know, reverse engineered their, or, you know, basically made their own version yeah. of it and, and then launched it. So um, it's it's interesting. Uh, it's interesting, man. It's a, it's a do dog eat dog world sometimes in, in the big business sector like that, you know? It can be, and like a lot of the, you know, that's that's a lot of the drama around like the open source. There's people like that are just trying to do stuff like for fun, and then they find out their stuff gets monetized and by some other monetized, yeah. and you know, I don't know. But Level S is a great account to to follow, and he he's an interesting dude for sure. He's the guy that that popularized a lot of those like AI photo avatar things. Like he's had a number of of hits actually, but uh -huh. yeah, he's just a dude that can code and uh loves to talk about you know his um his mmr mrr like you know he's just very transparent about like yeah the, i appreciate the costs it. and the revenue from everything and i just i love that stuff i find yeah, it fast there's a number really, really of people on x and other platforms that are great to follow Trans for transparent kind of like stuff. that yeah, uh, yeah let me really quick here get caught up on messages so I, uh nick nick says i feel like taylor would do very good off the grid he seems like a practical dude <laughs> that's a nero uh dude, bot for make your positive. survival challenge like who yeah, who would be, be that would be fun i would watch that island that <laughs> uh Modbot for his positive attitude and the entertainment value thing <laughs> You're like, yeah, Most dude, likely Dan, to be eaten by yeah. a bear first. Dan does it. I'll, <laughs> I, I'll, uh, I'll kill the bear with kindness and see how it goes, dude. <laughs> Come on, bear. Uh, you gotta um, chill out. <laughs> Nero would get into trauma uh, with squirrels, and that would be bad. Uh, Phil Morris, we're gonna. Eh, let's see. What else did I miss? That sounds uh, great. Luke's. Uh, that's true. People never say go slow. Yeah, nobody really does. Uh, okay, Luke says going back to meetings and lurking. All right, sounds great. Good luck with your meetings. I know, we bored him with our like talk of business. Sorry, Luke. <laughs> I don't think so. No, he wouldn't. It's all good, man. I, I, he, he, he would. He probably. He would probably. He's like, this stuff. is boring. We're not building anything. They're just yammering on. Continue guiding the cables towards the buddy board. Okay, so I see. Um, interesting. Okay, so cables are getting a little crazy here. So. Uh, continue getting the cable for the buddy board. Include the Y motor cable in this bundle. So this is Y motor cable. So Y motor cable is going out and for wait. Why? Why? Wait. Because I said so. So Y motor is going on. I'll just I'll just give you a little secret here, dude. When in doubt, just throw some zip ties around it, make it look neat. You know, you I mean you can't you the, you you you're one for following the instructions. You don't want to <laughs> nothing's gonna get pinched, but. Uh, all right, I'm gonna be like, yeah, well, the freaking just tell him Pooch totally. said it was okay. Yeah, Pooch said it was fine. fine. When like you're calling support fire. down the road, like I don't know why it's not working. What did Pooch tell you to assemble? There's your problem right there. <laughs> like yeah, I assembled it with Pooch live on stream. Like oh no, we got another one. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna we no, we're gonna one. it's gonna be great. We're gonna we're gonna be pushing plastic. I will tell you this. I've done I've done this build with a number of creators now. Uh huh. Uh, and I, I am. We are three for three, knock wood, on first try. You're like getting it, firing sick, up, pushing sick. plastic, right. no issues. Okay. So and, no pressure. Um, <laughs> don't don't break the cycle, Dan. So don't <laughs> don't, don't mess it up. Don't okay? screw it up don't for me, man. Don't mess up my record. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I'm just saying it's on you if if it yeah, gets no, screwed I, up. Yeah, <laughs> no. That's exactly what I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Good. 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 Yeah. Everything was chill, and all of a sudden now it's hot in here. <laughs> all right. Here we go. I told him, I told him back, I said, Joe, look, he's got the chops. Like, we'll send him a unit. It's going to be great. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I can see. I, I, I'm, 
<laughs> I'm picturing the conversation now and I could see a lot of like, like beard pulling, head scratching on Joe's part. He flips the coin. It, it, it lands on send him one, but he decides to flip it two out of three just because he wants yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> flip again. Yeah. Just to be sure. Let's get the eight ball out. We're going to ask yeah. that too. This, yeah. This is not likely. Hmm. What does that mean? It says ask it. It just keeps saying ask again. Ask again. It's that time in the stream. Wait, has it been? No is way. We've been streaming for an hour and a half, dude. Holy yeah. crap, dude. All right, let me. I'm going to get the giveaway link going for a school. Well, it's not giveaway time yet, but it is giveaway link time if you haven't hit the like okay. button hit the like button it's it i've heard it increases your odds i, I don't know I, just, I don't make the rules let's see i don't buy it i don't buy it i gotta find my <laughs> power cover where's my psu cover yeah every time i'm gonna turn on a printer for the first time i get like it's usually nice which is funny because nice is really nice but he's always like magic smoke magic smoke i'm like no nice that's not cool that's not yeah, nice man. Yeah, let me um, really quick here if something's going on with... You do it. Pop out chat. I hear Pooch's TV. Over radio. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oops. I can't post this. I can't. Sorry, I had to walk in the other room to look for a part. There we go. No worries. What happened to my print cover for the power supply? I'm just, I'm just gonna no touchy. There's no mains voltage exposed. I, I don't know where my print cover for the PSU is at the moment, but I will find it. Worst case, I've got a printer or two. I could just print another one, right? Uh, Cookie says I ran my XL screen cables on the opposite side and it, and felt very naughty. <laughs> Ooh, breaking cookie. the law, dude. You know? <laughs> breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> gonna have to, gonna have to cite you on that one. We won't uh, tell Pooch is, Pooch Pooch is, is gonna right pull now. out his, uh, his, his, uh, what you call it? His, his little, the, the little the pad. Heck? My little, yeah, yeah, my label you maker sticker, pad. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to write you up for that one, Cookie. It says naughty, naughty, <laughs> naughty, naughty. <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 uh. You didn't say the password. Um, what the heck am I doing? What is going on? Okay, that seems. Get, get, get the giveaway ready, babe. You gotta get no, the no giveaway. Is, giveaway is good, man. Giveaway is good. Okay, right. giveaway is good. Just want to make sure people get their, get their swag, get their stuff. Oh, uh oh. I'm wondering if I screwed up. I don't feel like I have enough distance on my ground cable to get it where it needs to go, which is not. What? I can't. Let me see. So let me see what you got. You got enough distance. So got I've got go in there, go in there, and like yeah. it's, it doesn't like. I mean, it doesn't go you to the box. Quite, you got quite a bit looped up there up top. You, you think got, right here? You got access in there. You can kind of fiddle down. Okay. It said, "Don't do the zip ties too tight." So of course I pulled them. Um... You see, this is there's a reason <laughs> for that. I, I, of course I ugga dug them to the max. So. <laughs> I you know what? Know. Zip ties are cheap, man. Just snip and redo. <laughs> no, no. I have a bunch of cursed zip ties that came with um, they came with another kit. I don't know where I got them exactly, but please tell me you're not putting them on this then. No, no, no. no. These are authentic. These are authentic. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. these are OEM. Um, it won't work. It won't work if you don't put Prusa official zip ties on there. Yeah, the cursed ones, dude. They uh, they don't like. So when I put the one end into the you know retaining end, it snaps the piece every time. And I've got probably a hundred of them mixed in, and they're all so it's like a it's like a mystery bag every time. And the other the other day we were building, I think it was the ender wire, and um, I like I grabbed like three of them, and each the time just snapped on me. Yeah, it was it was it was frustrating, man. It was. Yeah, it's, I can imagine that sounds frustrating. Yeah, I would have been frustrated. Yeah, if you're like, come on, dude. I, I was almost tempted to just like start a new, like call all zip ties bad and like deal with it. Deal oh, you're gonna blame all zip ties? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just swore off zip ties. The zip ties are like, hey man, hey man, don't do that. Okay, here we go. So I think I've got all this. All zip ties. Well, zip ties are all not created equal. I, I never had issues with zip ties until the cursed bag, and now I'm just like, I, I can't, I don't trust anything anymore. <laughs> Future therapist, so when did your trust issues start? I'm like, zip ties, man. <laughs> it's 2023 and I got a bad bag. And they're like, oh no. 
Okay, here we go. I'm feeling I'm feeling better about this thing. I've got the distance. The ground wire is going to be towards the like very bottom of the board. It looks like, so I don't think I need a whole lot of. Um, <laughs> I don't think I need Shit, a whole plenty. Lot. What do you got? What do you got going on there? Wait, so did you make it or no? Well, I haven't. I haven't. I, I mean, I pulled. It looks like we just got yeah. around the corner there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be good. We'll be good. Fine. That's fine. Doop doop derp derp. Catch it? Oh, I did already attach it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, hey, hey, Ted. How's it going? Oh. Hey, is it Delmar? Nice. Is it Delmar? I missed a bunch. I missed a bunch of people. I missed. Uh, hey, Aaron. Hi. Hi, hun. Uh, Delmar. I didn't even see you, Delmar, earlier. Hey, Maurice. Uh, he's making a list and he's checking it twice. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Our official How many Allens? There are. There's a lot of Allens in the chat. A lot of Allens? Yeah. There's an Allen Pound. There's an Allen B. I'm You're an Allen. Allen. <laughs> Do we have a Mandic? Did uh, Did Mandic no, show up? No. Did... No. 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 Uh, hey, nice. Thank you for the five memberships. Uh, let's do standard sounds. You get a Hadouken. Hadouken! Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I heard it. I heard it. Yeah, you did? Cool. I need to get a finish him. Aaron says that randomly. Like, uh, Fatality. Uh, yeah. Usually I think it's when like, I think she said it when a couple times when like Jackson looks like he's about ready to fall asleep. He's kind of like fighting it. It looks like he's in that dazed stage of a yeah, yeah, Mortal yeah, Kombat yeah. fight, you know? <laughs> Finish him. Uh, Give him the final bottle of milk. <laughs> finish him. Get over here. Oh, I know what you you did. You, did you zip tie it to the thing, or did you try to route it through? Interesting. I don't do that. I don't, I don't make the rules, yeah, I, man. <laughs> I, clearly. <laughs> I think I got it, man. I, I think it was like you said. I just had it a little bit too bunched up. I was just trying to give it nice, like lots of slack, but I think it was, it was probably overkill. I mean, the thing is, you just want to keep it up off the off the base so that um, so that it doesn't accidentally get pinched if you're moving the thing around. You don't want to pinch any wires or anything like that, you know? Yeah. Just keep it all nice and tidy. Plus, it just makes you feel better, you know? Hey, big red. That's actually funny. I mean, so. Yeah, Sorry, go ahead. go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say. Know. So the name, his name is Big Red, and that was the name of my my first surfboard was Big Red. Um, oh, we nice. we were I my dad surfed a lot growing up, and so I used to just go and boogie board and kind of hang out. And then he wanted me to get into surfing, so we went on a my school went on a trip to I think D.C. or something like that. My parents were like, "Do you want to mm -hmm. go?" And I said, "Not really." It was like a historical trip. I was like, "I'm not really a big history guy." So my dad was like, mm -hmm. "Do you want to go to Hawaii?" And I said, "Yes, I do." Mm -hmm. so, so, so we went there instead. And my dad had brought a surfboard, planning to surf, but it got damaged in in carry on or, or not carry on, you know, down below the. Plane. Really. And so he brought it to a surf shop, and the surf shop basically said, "Hey, well, well, like he said, can I give you guys my board?" And you guys just basically rent me a, I think it was like a 10 foot foam board or something like that. So that way my son can go out and ride. And they said, sure, we'll do that. So I, I got to learn to ride on a longboard in Hawaii. And then I was super excited. I was like, dude, this is freaking sweet. And so we went back home and I was kind of went back to my boogie boarding thing. And we were, we were leaving the beach. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the Doheny area. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so we were leaving. Is that Doheny area? Just make that up? Dorito, no. what now? <laughs> Dorito, you heard of Dorito land? No. Uh, and so my dad saw a surfboard by the trash can, this big red surfboard. And my dad pulled over and ran up to the guy's van and says, hey, what's going on with this board? And the guy said, oh yeah, it's damaged. You know, it's kind of in rough shape. And my, my dad saw it and was like, can I, can I have it if you're not gonna take it? So we threw it, we had a minivan. So we threw it in the minivan with us. And um, we went home and my dad basically patched it. It had a bunch of damage, dude. And it was like this 11 foot, 
just all red, red fin, like red skags, red everything. And we called it Big Red. And I rode it for like two or three years and it was it was awesome, dude. I, I love that board. So it's funny, I haven't thought about that surfboard in a while, but like his name is Big Red 77 and literally the surfboard, the surfboard was called Big Red. So that's it, dude, your surfboard. He's the channel. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great story. See, you can't you can't tell me that doing a build stream like this isn't better with like all these fun little anecdotes. That's a great little piece of mod bot history right <laughs> yeah, there. Dude, yeah, dude, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. you can just keep that in your back pocket for your diehard fans when you want to do yeah. like modbot trivia and you're like, oh, what's dude. the name? <laughs> and then that would be oh, fun. Man. That'd be really fun, modbot trivia. Yeah, yeah. Like, what does modbot enjoy more? Frog legs, snail, or <laughs> or whatever that like reindeer like word yeah. was that I hadn't heard I think, of. Before. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> you can have that oh, modbot trivia and then give you know do a nice giveaway for the winner. You know, who, who, your yeah. your adoring fans who love you the most. <laughs> Okay. This All is right. I'm going a little overboard with the zip tie, which is kind of funny because I'm probably gonna like end up putting this thing in an enclosure anyway, but So you have to move it all right? The zip tie, like the wires? Yeah, so when you yeah. when when it goes in the enclosure, the the whole like routing for the cause the L C D comes off and the power supply come off and go on the outside of the enclosure so the, cool. the heat yeah, doesn't get, get heated. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And uh so you gotta kinda redo stuff. But you know what? It's not that hard. You just clip a couple cable ties and so you're being, a, you're being a silly goose is what you're saying, man. You're being a silly goose. You're being a silly goose. Yep. I don't know what other kind of goose to be. Speaking of fancy food, you had goose liver? You had pat, uh, goose liver pate? No, pate. no. Yeah, that's fancy. I, it's I, good, I guess dude. I kind of lied. I'm not, I'm not, no, I am. My palate is. I just, yeah, yeah something fancy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not normally. A lot, I mean, shoot, dude, a lot of times here, like, I mean, Depending on the day of the week, we know we you're do... pri we're privileged and well fed. <laughs> it's like, I do a lot of like craft mac and cheese and spaghetti by the jar. Like, I mean, like regular people food. It's not like it's all given that you're like caviar. You know, <laughs> second cousin to the Swedish chef, you would yeah. be mortified to hear that. Like, yeah, he's, Daniel just has my uh, only eats locks. Like, that's all he eats every Why? night. He only <laughs> eats locks. <laughs> <laughs> Rumor has it that he doesn't have legs. And it's actually souls, a fish tail. Souls and locks. You wouldn't think it because he's yeah, all super. He's so, he's so kind, but like, yeah, it's, it's all a ruse. <laughs> and you wouldn't believe. All right. We're good. All right, you got your har harbo on? You getting your haribos? No, I'm, I'm going to celebrate with I'm going to celebrate with some tea. Come on, man. I've been waiting forever. I'm, get, I'm getting there, man. Jeez. I'm getting there. I, I think I've got to also. <laughs> I think when I ran the um, when I ran the ground wire a little bit longer, I should have done the same for the the power wires. They also need a little bit more distance, it seems like. So, did you I'm learn wondering... the first time and leave leave it a little loose so you can have a little wiggle room there? No, I never, I never, I never changed it. I just, it yeah, I didn't. I just, I have faith. I'll, 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 I'll get. I, I believe <laughs> we'll we'll get this. We'll get this where it's. Yeah, you know, modbot builds through the power of like positive thinking, basically. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it all comes together. <laughs> Absolutely. No, no other. Should I just have a chicken leg? I think I just might have a chicken leg here. <laughs> you have chicken? Yeah, that's right. You work in your kitchen. Just show so back up with a giant dude. turkey leg, right? Like, just... <laughs> like a medieval times type deal, yeah, dude. <laughs> like a sword, like the Brazilian steakhouse. Oh my like god. A sword full of various oh meats. Oh my god. You ever yeah, use the Brazilian like, steakhouse, man? No, dude. I don't oh know what that is. Oh my gosh. It's like don't know what that is. ridiculous excess. People in the chat, raise your hand if you've eaten <laughs> at the Brazilian steakhouse. You know what I'm talking about. If you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. I screwed something up, man. Um, I have to have. There's just not enough distance I'm gonna, on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to need some close ups. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in here. <laughs> I have a feeling right, this is where I screwed I'm up. Looking at my so. monitor here. I'm in so tight think... for analysis. Let's see. Here we okay, go. Okay, you're looking so, good there. Looking good, good. Yeah. Coming out there. Because no, I think that this. Oh, clip you know needs what? To go, you what? put the clip. You, hold on a second. You put the double clip. No, that's right. The double clip is on that side. Here, I'm gonna let me just show you what I got. Boom. Okay. Yeah, let me. <laughs> it's like uh, the, the worst way to do it, but like. Wait, you already finished your. You finished your wiring by the time I was screwing around wiring. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what you've been doing. You've been talking about surfboards. <laughs> You're all over there like, yeah, that's so interesting. Like, oh my God, this guy, <laughs> get to wiring. I just go, I'm just all go. I'm no chill. Um, okay, you're looking it good looks, coming out of there. Let me see, move down this, a little bit. This looks like, 
Honestly, I mean, dude, it looks could, like this clip needs to go a little bit further this way, which would give me a little gain bit. Some, you could gain some slack there, sure. It's just it's just whatever's going to keep it, you know, tight. Yeah. yeah. That's okay, fine. So I what think else? That... So, so show me. But you should that still might... have, like, a decent amount of slack. Yeah. Well, should is the should is the key word, I think, there. Um, pan down. Is... Pan down. Let's see. And you, you're definitely, yeah, you're at the end there. That's the right. Yeah, you so got this, the right this is end it, there. dude. This is it, man. If I, if I just, if I, if I feed this all the way through, this is the, this is the slack that I need to get down there. Okay, all but, right. But I think I have to undo these ties because I, I did, uh, I did, I, yeah, uh, I did them a little tight. <laughs> hey, man, I, you know what? You're doing fantastic. Okay, I don't feel like you get told <laughs> enough, <laughs> dude. I, man, I, I love you, and you're doing great work. <laughs> Oh, ay, yeah, yeah. And we're not, we're gonna, we're, we're here to the bitter end together. Like, you know, yeah. one way or another. <laughs> all righty, here we go. This I will is not it. rest we're... until you are pushing plastic today. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it. it well, That's trust the me, this is, service this... we provide was... here. <laughs> this has all been just to help you feel better. I, I, wanted, <laughs> I wanted you to get caught up. So now that I know that you're in, you know. You know what, shape. we're going to get through it together, okay? We're like, uh, you know, sometimes... Sometimes I pick you up, sometimes you pick me up. It's like we're we're supportive that way of each other. If if I fall back down, you know, Pooch is gonna pick me back up again. I'm just, I'm just having a little nap over here off screen. Don't worry about me. All right. Your turkey your turkey leg. <laughs> my turkey leg. I just refuse to eat. I don't want anybody uh, to judge yeah. me for eating my giant turkey leg on stream. You unclip one not... of those clips. Yeah, I think that I think I unclipped the clip that I just clipped back. So That's I think a, the clips you are say good. that five times fast. <laughs> no, I will not repeat that. You got hot wings but... in here too. Hmm. Is the panic like power ones? button supposed to hold on, Pooch? Is the panic power button supposed to feed to the buddy board or no? The panic power board feeds to uh, yeah, both the board and the power supply. So there's there's two very obviously different connector ends on. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Straight then. from I'm good. one to the other. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Do I like what? <laughs> what was the food question? Do you like hot wings? Do you like the, the oh, spicy hot wings? Yeah, so I like hot wings, but I'm more of a flavor than super, super hot. I, I think I mentioned, God, I got another story. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell it. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna tell it, dude. <laughs> Just keep building. You're not, you're not allowed to, yeah. you know what? Uh, you have to earn, you, like S when speech. we get to Haribo, then you're allowed to tell a story. Yeah. <laughs> no time for these reindeer games <laughs> we got going on over here. You're gone, you're gone, yeah. <laughs> Did you find out what donder meat was? Is it really reindeer? I don't know. I just took your word for it, dude. <laughs> Sounds like it should be reindeer. I think I, uh, exotic. Uh, if my if Repcord you know doesn't succeed, I'm gonna like open up a you know Poochie's exotic meat. Okay. Okay. I'd be a All right. Customer, so I think. so reindeer. Ooh, there's some penguin. Maybe penguin, some brown no. cheetah. Brown penguin cheetah. So you know? <laughs> I love animals, man. I I, I mean that, I guess like why some animals get eaten and not others, but. Uh, penguins the are cuter so the animal, dude. the worse I feel. More tasty, <laughs> the more tasty they are, though. Oh, that's no, just science. Yeah. I think that's true. Somebody check me in the chat. Is it true if, the, if it's the, a cute animal, it's going to be younger? I think so. I think that science checks out. This is actually a, a vegan stream. Uh, is, it, so... is it vegan? Are there a lot of vegans <laughs> yeah. that are like, oh, yeah, it's like offend a ton of people? Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't, uh, I forgot to, I didn't think I was gonna have to send you the, you know, terms of service, uh, but he was like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, been I'm... the first person in the history of YouTube to be demonetized <laughs> for offending vegans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you first, no you. <laughs> all right. I got hot all of a sudden, dude, like, I don't know what the, you feeling the heat? You sweat? Is it? Is it? I thought it was like, what's the weather like? You you go getting uh, some crazy? You had that thunderstorm that knocked yeah, out power it's last getting, week. It's getting warm. It's definitely getting warm. I was, I was moving a bunch of moving a bunch of rock last night from the front yard to the back, and boy was I, boy was I sweating. Mm. <clears throat> All right. I'll tell you what, dude. One uh, just bachelor tip for you because you've been you, you, there's only so much cereal and pizza that you can eat. <laughs> I'm get, out of milk. Get down, get down to, and you're out of milk. I knew you were out of milk. <laughs> um, I'm out of freaking milk, man. Get down to the grocery store. Get yourself one of those like rotisserie chickens, you know, from the oh, deli. Oh, dude. Yeah, okay. my parents live off of it. Costco or Winco, both, man, have fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Totally. That yeah, and I, that's that'll give you the protein that you need to have the power and the strength to get through a stream like this. 
yeah, my, my, it's funny that you say that. My parents like live off that. They'll, they'll buy one and they'll do, you know, like salad, they'll do chicken tacos, mm -hmm, they'll mm -hmm, do mm -hmm. sandwiches. Like it's, it's such oh, a good. great, it's, the, it's definitely like for Costco, their loss leader. That's why they put it in the back, dude. You go in there, you, you can't go mm -hmm. past all the, you try a sample and you're like, Ooh, what's that? I got to get that now. So yeah, they know what they're doing. Okay, here Man, we go. Those are, dude, you're just eating for days off of that, dude. You're right, like you make some soups out of the, the bone broth from it. I mean, you can get really mm. hardcore with it. Go, yeah, you know, I feel like Indian, you do like great with chicken. surviving in the wild. You're like, no, dude, like, I'm like, yeah, this, this, you know, this thing is done. We've eaten it all. And Hooch is like, you're just getting started, man. Like, what are you? Yeah, what, what are you talking you... about, man? <laughs> make some bone meal out of that. That's where, that's where you start your passion for exotic, uh, ex exotic cooks, exotic meats. Exotic meats. Yeah. Not just that, just like exotic foods. Pooch's exotic foods. It doesn't have to be just meat. You know, you ever having a lala berry? <laughs> what? All right, dude. All right, man. We're in it. We're in it. We're in the. Hell. Are you, I good? Are you good? Are we ready to move <laughs> call on? For, call for three zip ties. I think I used seven after I made my That's mistake. Fine. So, okay. Let, let me let me get caught up on this really quick here. Uh, RS makes is taken off. Thank you very much for hanging out. Um, Eng it's a giveaway engineer, though. worth it? No, it's not. It is seven minutes. If you haven't filled out the giveaway form, we're giving away a spool of polymaker filament in roughly seven-ish minutes. So, um, it's kebab. It's kebab meat. Oh, okay. If it runs, I can give Chase to taste. <laughs> uh, kangaroo mm -hmm. tastes nasty. Mm -hmm. I will take your word for it. Captain Crunch, breakfast, dinner, and lunch. I tend to agree. Uh, it's nasty. Food. It's probably pretty gamey because like kangaroo are not like yes. they're like strong. That's a strong animal. Yeah. I've Typically, the stronger the animal, the the more gamey and like not tasty the meat is. You want those chubby, chubby animals like the penguins. <laughs> Poor penguins. Okay. All right, man. So we have got. What are what are we missing here? What? <laughs> Why when you feel like you're missing something? What's uh, what's wrong? You plug in, you plug in some of that stuff. I guess it has maybe it hasn't told you to yet. I don't know. No, there's a there's supposed to be. Okay, here it is. Here it is. No, no, we're good. We're good, man. Okay, I'm not plugging in anything yet. What are we? Are we starting to plug in things? Yeah, let's let's get things uh, plugged in. Let me see if I can sort of. I think you're. Are you, did you get to the Haribo yet? Are you? Are we at the end of? Uh, you're not. You're, you can't be at Haribo yet, can you? Yeah. Connect the X motor. He says you got to connect the X motor and then connect the Y. Um, PSU part preparation. You got to do the grounding of the board and all that stuff. You did all that, dude. That, son. Yeah. No way. Yeah, no. What, what, what do you mean, no way? What is? <laughs> are you serious? Can't you like walk and chew bubble gum at the same time here? Come on. No. Let's see here. Let's go here, here. Let's Boom. See. Let's see. You can, you can see what I've been oh up to. Oh, dude. Alrighty, alrighty. All right. I'm gonna si hey, hey, si silent stream for 10 minutes, guy. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> talk amongst yourselves while Daniel does actual work. All right, X motor cable is going. So this must be our X motor cable that came in from the top X right here. Say X on it yep. does. Come over here. I'll just put this up as a little reference for you here. Let's just get in on that for you right there. I'll be getting a little tighter. Okay. This is going up the side. I will worry about zip tying it in later. A gimbal. Gimbal control. Right. Okay. Connect X and Y done. Uh, mm -hmm. Now we need special grounding wires. Power terminal times four, it looks like. And these are all... Where's the bag? Tidy up my space. Where is the bag for these? Where is the bag? Oh, here we go. Here we go. These have to be them, right? Uh, power terminal screws. Yes. Okay. So we got power terminal screws. Mm -hmm. And it looks oh. like they all have... I right, mean, an M36. M36 are these little guys, I'm pretty sure. And then it says we need washers, which I don't know where, I don't know where washers are either. Um, M36, there we go, washers, cool. Alrighty. Some zip ties we've got. I'm gonna probably have to tap into my cursed zip ties because we're out of Prusa OEM zip ties. No way, you <laughs> think there's so you many do. extras. You burn through all of those? <laughs> I might have, I might have taken- 15 extras. No, there's no way, dude. 
There's no way. I must have, so I must have used them in like in, over the last week then for other projects around here. <laughs> I think that's likely because they give you so oh, many God. zip ties. Yeah, no, no, They I'm give not, you 50, yeah. they give you 50 zip ties in a pack. So tell, uh, tell, them, tell them that. Uh, that's not streams. nearly enough for mod <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, Stream went well, but double the zip ties. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we've got our grounding wire, which is long enough now. I'm gonna have to work on this like at a different angle. It's really awkward. Let me see if I tilt yeah. this whole thing. Set, set yourself up to be comfortable. Okay, there we go. Now I can lift this up. And then have your producer adjust the camera angles. <laughs> and then get the grip, make sure the audio's good. I mean, I know you got a whole team there. Just the Modbot army. There we go. Making it all happen, right? Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. they're just here. They're here to make sure that I... Like your uh, don't you make any silly mistakes? Yeah. Yeah, they're they're failing. Uh, they're, <laughs> I think they need to be written up. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to. I'll, I'll write go. some citations later. <laughs> some citations. <laughs> yeah. You guys really let me down today, man. <laughs> Alrighty. I can only I can only imagine what discipline from Modbot must sound like. <laughs> yeah. It's like really it's kind of bummed me out a little stern bit. Talk, yeah. Yeah. We're just I had, like, killing it. Yeah. But I was just guys, a little it, sad. In and I know together friends, we're better. In, in yeah. front of my friends, you guys made me look silly. In front of my, in front of my friends and everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, here we go. All right, so red, black, red, black. Doesn't matter which one. Or it does matter which one. Doesn't, does it matter? They, they're the same, so they're... How did you keep track oh. of which one's which, Pooch? Which one? The red and the black? No, red and black I've the got, but which one goes into which? <laughs> Uh, well, so the, the, the board itself uh, has the positive negative labels on No, the, no, 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 that I get. I'm saying heat, heat bed in versus power on. Does it not matter? Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. They're both they're both coming uh, from the same space, going to the same place. Cool, okay. Uh, red, That's how I keep track. I don't. Perfect. I figured it would have said something. Steve, now, it... Steve would tell you probably that one has to go, uh, one has to go like to the left and one has to go to the right um, based on something, S probably symmetry. In instructions <laughs> or symmetry, some yeah, yeah, like phase of the moon or something. But um, <laughs> I'm gonna just tell you it doesn't matter. Phase of the moon. He's See, like, he's like, I hope he's listening in and knows I'm just ragging. I'm just yeah. ragging. He's, he, he can't uh, type, but he hears. He's like, I heard it. I heard everything you guys said. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Steve Machado, uh, the the well known fact here, he, uh, he cites it. I don't know if you saw this in the chat, but if you look at the Prusa zip ties under a scope, they have JP's initials on the inside, and he stamps every one of them personally. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> that's really all Joseph does anymore is stamp zip ties for the company. Stamper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I still Let's wish I had see. more Let's slack on these. That's PSD uh, left on, buddy. That's what Steve would say. Maurice, I think you're right, Maurice. I think you're right. Well, what would well, you... Well, oftentimes, you just have to ask, what would what would Steve SB do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. WWSBD. And uh, he would go left, left, and and right, right, and that's probably correct. We're building based off of moon phases now. What, what did that mean about Monday's eclipse? Yeah, it wasn't wasn't a good sign. <laughs> Anybody that did any printer building on Monday, I would undo what you did and start over. Yeah. Did you get a look at the? I, I don't think the I the didn't. totality we was didn't. anywhere near you. No, was it? not even close, yeah. man. I, I, the name, my neighbor, like I was moving rocks when he came home and was like, "Hey, man, did you look at it?" I was like, "No, weren't we like nowhere near?" He's like, "Yeah, we had like 45 percent." I was like, "No." Nah, oh, that's better than we. We only had 31 here, so oh, good really? for you. Yeah. yeah, no, I didn't. But it's it still fun to go check out. I'm like, yep, yep, solar if, system if, still works. If Aaron was here, then I think I would have. But it was like, it was just me, man. Like, I was like, I'm going to move some rocks. <laughs> I've got yard work to do. I was like, I just... Uh... You couldn't even bother to look at the, at the sun <laughs> for like 10 seconds, man? Come on. I didn't, ha I didn't have the glasses, man. I, <laughs> I got my. I just got my welding mask out. And then, oh, did uh, you? I don't have one yeah. of those. It's, that's cool. 
You don't have a welding mat? What kind of maker are you, brother? Dude, Come I on. just, I, I lived in an apartment. <laughs> like, it was, oh. welding was certainly not allowed. I just, you don't have your tiny, you know, your tiny little Miller, uh, you know, apartment rig. No. That's, that's standard no. fare. I knew, I knew, well, now you know what to get me for my people, birthday, okay? <laughs> people, listen, people that live in apartments weld all over the world, okay? So it's like, yeah. that's not an excuse. Okay. Yeah. I feel like my yeah. landlord wouldn't have loved it. All right, we're on the last wire. We're not in the, we don't weld in the living room, man. Like, <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> you have a you have a garage, don't you? You just drag no. it out. No, you there wasn't. Not welding closed spaces anyway. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the last cable. That right, little knob guy goes in like this. It's the panic button, what dude. Is it's soldering, but tiny welding. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have, and you got brazing, and you got, there's all kinds of fun stuff you can do, Liz. Uh, yeah, I hope you, I don't know you, but I, I'm calling you Liz instead of Elizabeth, even though that's what your name is, let's say. Uh, let's see. Okay, it does not say anything about plugging in. Okay, it does connect the LCD cable, which is this guy where does lcd yeah. cable fit in i'm just so for some of the cable routing cleanliness stuff dude i'm gonna probably do a little revisit action later on um yeah don't worry about it just get it yeah. get it plugged in because we just we got printing to do yeah i agree man let's see i mean we're we're really close to you're gonna see the bed we're gonna knock out that bed and then we're gonna your biggest problem is gonna be figuring out what you want to print so let's get let's get some commentary in the chat about what we should print for first print. Um, I mean, I'll tell you right now on the SD card that, or it's not an SD card anymore; it's a thumb drive on the thumb drive that's included. Uh, you know, you've got the the test print that they send with the assembled ones. Um, you know, for the cr for the creators that we like, where you know we don't want to have to make them go through this. Uh, wait, wait, are, what did I? Are they, <laughs> nothing. I feel don't like I missed it. Dude. <laughs> No, no, the the uh, the original Prusa keychain tag, you know, it, that's that's the thing that like comes on the print, like that they've used to validate uh, in shop. But it's not super exciting. Of course, there's Benchy. We got Whistle. Um, I can go. I can go through what what the choices are. But if we're trying to get a first print, we want something this quick too. We're not going to do a full Adelinda Dragon or something like. No, some some quick. Right off the bat, make sure everything's working like it should be and all that. Um, Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna, printables. I will revisit some of this again later on, the, but the wires are at least fed right. They need zip ties and all that stuff, but I can, that's, nobody wants to watch me put a bunch of zip ties in, especially not at the rate I've been putting zip ties in. So we'll, we'll move yeah. on. Um, gummy bear Maybe time. you should print some zip ties as your first print. Um, <laughs> yeah, they can't be worse than <laughs> Dom's the, uh, first print should be a Voron. Yeah, that's fun. Print a Voron. Uh, chubby chubby croc print a tasty reindeer a little poly squirrel okay thank you liz liz says i can call her liz we're close now uh some rep rack that's a nice suggestion if you don't have you have you gotten your rep rack on yet mod I, t I told you that i'm not doing rep rack here man oh that you I got did. your own thing what are you doing what are you doing here it's 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 like it's like rep rack i'm sure it was inspired by it but it's um it's built into the Billy bookcases instead. It still uses oh, conduit. Right, right. I'm using your yeah. slip rod, so I'm using the slip rod, so that'll that'll cover all the conduit to make it look a little bit nicer. But Ooh. the mounting points are different because it's going to be inside of the Billy bookcase. Yeah, I had it at the previous um, at the place we were renting, and I really liked it. Just the issue was, man, when I went to remove it from the walls, the PTG like really seemed to bond with some of the paint, and it tore it, it tore pretty heavily down to the. You think like, that has to do with the PETG or just like this, the paint just like I came think, off? I think, it was, I think it was crap paint, dude. I think it was crap paint, but it was such a it was such a nightmare oh. to um. That's probably to, why like, you lost half your security deposit right there. I didn't. I never told you the end story. I what didn't. I, you, no, got, I, you got the whole thing. He um. He, he almost, like, so after we talked last, he yeah. basically, he played hardball, sent me a pretty long, kind of nasty text, and then basically yeah. said that if I had an issue with it, to contact his legal, and he'd be dropping off a check, and that it would be, like, basically that that would be the end of it. And so we yeah. were, we were, he dropped it off while we were out, and I saw it on the ring camera, and we came back, and me and Aaron were, we were placing bets to see what we thought it was, and she said yeah, 700 yeah, yeah. bucks. And for anyone who doesn't know, like, our security deposit was, 
three thousand two hundred dollars. Um, oh, seven hundred. That'd have been a huge yeah. chunk taken well, out. Ew, well, well, gross. Well, last thing he, the last thing he told me was that he's trying to figure out a way where he's not going to have to charge us additional on top of our security deposit. So we were expecting. I thought he was going to give us like a hundred bucks. Uh, like because the, 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 the last text message was so rude and like just like kind of demeaning a little bit. So yeah. I check the check. I pull it out of the envelope. I mean, it has yeah. two thousand four hundred dollars on it. I am shocked, dude. I am like, <laughs> if the guy had just been nice to me, I would have been fine with him taking that, and even probably a little bit more. But I, he was so rude, and I thought he was giving us back nothing. So the end result was me like skipping around the house, like it was on Good Friday. So I was like, this is a Good Friday. Like, I'm so happy. Um, but that's yeah, it was unexpected. But you know what? He, he was just messing with you the whole time. You're like, mm. <laughs> that's that's not but, cool, but. Uh, yeah, Aaron's, Aaron's mom thinks it might be like a power trip type thing, which I, I, I guess I can kind of see based off reading through the lines, but I'm just glad it's in the rear view, man, and, and it's well, all Yeah, whatever. Done. It's, so, it's yeah. over now. Yeah. So, okay, we are going to be doing our Polymaker giveaway really quickly here, so I'm going to go ahead and unpin the message. If anybody is, if anybody is filling out the form, uh, this is your... I'll be right final, back. Yeah, this is your final, final warning, final chance. Still have that belt printed rep box from the rep box order. Belt printed rep box. Oh, did you you place an order for some of the printed parts when you ordered a rep box? I'll call you to help with my Prusa. You should print prosthetic frog legs for all the poor frogs maimed in this chat. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I think frogs are adorable. I, I like frogs. I'm not like I'm not. I don't eat frogs regularly. <clears throat> Alrighty. Let's see, how many entries do we have? 72 entries and 90, 94 people here, okay. If you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. That's how they send the candy. Oh, cool, frogs are tasty. Light, gotcha. Oh, the little lifesavers. That's right, I've seen them before. I think I've seen them at the trade shows. Okay, so let me go ahead then, and 74 people looks like is our total amount, so I don't have to do anything then. I can just copy this, oops copy this like that and I will go to Wheel of Names and I will do this and I will do that. Cool. Well, this is everybody. Well, that was easy. Wheel of Names. All right. That's a weird point for me to come, come on. Back. No whammies. No whammies. Okay. All righty. So. Frogs are friends, man. Frogs are Frogs friends. Frogs are friends. All right. So thank you. Thank you to Paul delicious, Maker for delicious allowing friends. us to do this giveaway. I'm looking forward to finally Nick. I believe Nick is going to be at um, <clears throat> at Rocky Mountain. And I think that, I think that Sean he was there called. last year. Yeah, I, I've never I've we video called. I've talked to him quite a bit. I've never met him in person. So I'm super excited to hopefully meet him. And I think that I, I don't know for sure, but I think Sean, uh, the 3D print general, since he's working for them now, will be there as well, which will be cool to also see there so look i have not met sean in person i would like to i met nick last year cool dude very yeah. tall very tall dude I'm yeah that. super tall super tall no i, I am aware I, I am aware i i think that we were on a video call one time and I, i'm pretty sure i saw him go through a door frame and i was like you just, That's saw, a small you door. just saw his neck <laughs> oh he, wait, wait, he had a follow cam that's crazy what's he like, wandering around he says his camera yeah. on him Alrighty, um, on that note, I think we will, how many times, let's let chat decide, how many times do we shuffle today? The options are between four, let's do between four and 12. That's our range. You gotta go 12. I gotta go 12, yeah. It's cause we're just all about making you work, man. Mm -hmm. Two sevens, mm -hmm. two sevens, mm -hmm. two twelves, 3.14. Oh, pies. Pies. How many places Eight of pie can you guys do? Rumor has it, the eclipse was Nick. <laughs> the eclipse oh is just God. Nick walking through right in front of the sun. Oh, That's no. It That's funny. Oh, that is funny. All right, we've got a tie for eights and a tie for... We'll do eights. We'll do eights. 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 We're going to do eight. Okay, here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All righty. Good luck, everybody. In three, two, and... Spin the wheel. Teaming up all the hardware. Hey. And washers. Elizabeth, you are our winner. 
We're just talking yeah, about Liz. I know. Congratulations. That's. I'm pretty You're sure homies. that's the first time. I, I I don't think that I've seen Elizabeth win on the stream before. So, congratulations. Uh, Nuno says. Oh, sorry, Nuno. I I let it run longer than normal. So sorry. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, I will. Woohoo! So I will send you an email then later today, and then you will get a gift card so you can get a cool spool of filament for a project. I think you said you were wanting to build a board at some point, so maybe this is your opportunity to get like a Galaxy ASA or ABS, something like that, and start Ooh. the, uh, start. it was the pooch blessing, is what Elizabeth said. <laughs> That's awesome, congratulations. Okay, I'm giving you the full screen thing. What do we got here? What are you showing off? Did you nuts? Here. <laughs> oh, I'm just teeing. I'm just teeing up. I'm just teeing up the fasteners we need for the next step, man. So you you got a good visual of what we're gonna need. So we get the okay. washers, we got the pens, we got the nylocks, and uh, and then we're gonna need the regular nuts as well. So we pull that bin out here. Let's see. Okay, so you're saying we need nuts. I'm gonna put that in there. Boom, boom, Let me get the stuff out of the way we don't need. So we need bed. Clearly, we need um, actual. I mean, it bed. should be most of the rest of what you have left, because this yeah, is the last. Yeah, I just have a bunch yeah. of like spare parts and the filament holder well, yeah, and like the spool holder. Um, this yeah. is so this is our Y carriage and heat bed perfect. So what is this mm -hmm. guy? This says Y. Oh, there's two Y carriage and heat bed segments. Um, filament guide. We don't need. We don't need. Okay, I think we've got. Nope. This is also Y carriage and heat bed. All right, man. Um, mm -hmm. I don't see, you said you have, oh, lock nuts. There's only four lock nuts, only a couple of them. Yeah, it's only, uh, two, I think. Let's yeah, see, I, I think they message. give you a few extra, it looks like. Okay, I think I'm ready to rock and roll, dude. So let's, let's go desktop here. There you are. There's two cables, let's take everything out of here. Let's get our... Oh, you don't have to do this part. I gotta, I gotta get caught up. See, I'm already behind. What'd you do? Uh, so be, because I'm doing the upgrade, yeah, I uh, I have to replace the bed thermistor. Yours comes pre-set uh, with the thermistor and pad on it. Okay. So I've got. Yours a, doesn't. Just you're saying that because just yeah, Kapton tape, it, right? Yeah, it's just Kapton and then there's pad foil and tape on it as yeah. well. I want to do the micron so badly. I actually connected someone to print some micron. Ooh, fun! Galaxy black and neon pink. That's exciting. I might use this to try some Polymaker TPU. Sweet. That is awesome. Yeah, so they just did a little thermistor update on the Mark IV to the, from the Mark III. Hopefully a little more accurate, a little more reliable. The bed itself is the same. Okay. But they updated the thermistor. It's still the same bead type thermistor, right? It's not exactly a bead. I, you want to get? You want to see what it? I mean, I guess technically it's a bead. It's really. It's not as uh, boltless as the. Side, I'll get side, in close side. if you want to see yeah. it. There you go. Let's whoop the wrong one. Right there. Zoom in. Uh, it's not a good background for it. Let's no. see. Do, 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 do. It, it looks bulb-like to me, but maybe you're just saying it's it's basically it's, flatter. So it's really flat so okay. i guess in looking at it super close yes there is a bulb but it does not look nearly as um, round as the ones that are usually going into the hot ends yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so yeah, i don't yeah. know okay. and they're very let's go back to that let's go let's go back here get in tight on that there we go love these ptz cams so much <laughs> It's I'm tough, though, because, man, I've been looking at getting a full-frame camera, like a really nice, you know, SLR that I can do Yeah. good video work with. But, I mean, they're pricey. They're pricey. Man, does it look so sharp. Yeah, I, I think it's... Uh, so, I think... Mm, I don't know, man. It's tough. Like, I, put, I place pretty high value on convenience. Like, it's way up there for me. Um, yeah, but yep. also, I mean, you know, picture... Because like, you're like, a pragmatic dude like me, you know? What, is it, what, what, what does that mean? What's the definition of private? like a practical? Yeah, it, it just means convenience. Like you, you yeah. favor like practical things. Yeah. And I, I mean, from a from a personal, from a business standpoint, I'm right there with you, and that's why mm -hmm. I rage against it because. But there's different applications. If you're streaming all the time, you know, convenience. It's all. I was talking to Clayton, Uncle Jesse, earlier today because he's he's trying to up his stream presence and stuff a little bit more too. Yeah. And to me, it's all about like being able to leave the gear just set up and not having to like, you know, reset up every time you come in and you're doing stuff. Um, 
And being able, like, having the luxury to set up, uh, you know, lead cameras just dedicated to that cause is, like, you know, not something a lot of people can do. And if, if, if no. I'm going to get a nice camera like that, you know, I'm going to want to use it for other stuff. And so if, like, you know, I'm taking off the trauma, it's not a big deal to, like, reframe the shot and all that stuff. But, I do you know, that's time. why you have, like, It's, it's lots, a little annoying. It's a little annoying, man. Yeah. It's yeah. not, it's not the end of the world. But if I can just leave it. Totally. Yeah. It's more convenient. Yeah, no, I, I don't disagree with that. I... I, I think that the setup I've got right now is about the best I can do. I would love to get some more ZV-1s in the future, but still, it's like, in, the, in my situation, if I leave them out, then I've got freaking wires all over. So I like to, when the stream ends, like unplug them, put them off to the side with the tripods that they're on. So I guess it depends, you know, if you're all ceiling mounted, it's less of an issue. But if like right. me, you've got things on tripods and you're kind of moving them around and you can't really, at least I, I can't do that. I use this room too much for other stuff and there's not enough walkways because of the fact that I've got like two tables in here so yeah it's um so I don't, know. I don't know if you want to see some of this behind the scene it's a digression you need to keep building but yeah yeah yeah, but, yeah. I'll get I'll get this I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep pulling yeah through, you I go think. you go uh, let's see here. I know I, I did see a little bit of Steve when he was doing this part of the build um and I, I saw him, he actually did do the, he had to put the sticker on. So for his, his must, he must have done a, a four upgrade as well, or? He did do an upgrade. He did okay. do an upgrade. Uh, yeah, so when, it, he and I did an upgrade together, actually. And then I think he's also got, I'm pretty sure he's got one of the standalone build kits as well. So, yeah. you know, Steve, Steve builds, you know, I don't know if you knew this, but man, that dude builds. <laughs> he does. Does indeed build. Here, I'm gonna really quick while you're doing that, I'll show you guys what I was talking about. And this has been my new favorite thing. So, and I can do uh -huh. that because I have this. Pooch is expanding. Uh, why my whole apartment turned into a makerspace? Is there always. So, like, uh -huh. that's my main. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, but like, oh, the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the lighting, like the ceiling clamp, so I've got all my wires like routed up and overhead. Like the, what is the that? power what is could that be camera? a little bit nicer. That's the uh, that's the Obspot tail air that I was telling you about. Oh, so that is that, the PTZ. Thing. Yeah, so so it's like I got remote, you know, control through my stream deck and I can do all kinds of fun stuff uh, yeah. with it. So there's like little presets so it can just, you know, zip around and whatnot. And then I've got a uh, a smaller Insta360 that I've been using for like the the close-ups and and whatnot. And that's um, I guess if I were to like pan over here. Oop, by the way. So right on the end of my little monitor rack. Oops, move this way. That's backwards. Right, there it is. There's my little Insta guy. So yeah, you guys can see I can monitor the chat. And then I got that that little dude there. So I just. You know, throw a little tape on the ground to mark where, like, the... Because the desk, I can roll back and forth, but everything's on wheels. Yeah. So it makes it pretty pretty smooth. It'd, it'd be cool to get a full frame on a gimbal that is controllable. Oh, via, like that, dude. Like a DJI that setup, be, man. <laughs> that'd be that'd sick. Be wild, and you could right? still have your shots, but they'd be super, super crispy. Um, Delmar says, uh, wonder what that bed frame setup would help on the switch wire. Do you mean this, uh, this guy, this frame? Because isn't this what the... I feel like this is what the LDO... Switchwire uses. I mean, not this exact one because they've changed things up, but I feel like the older version that of kind it of is friend. what. Yeah, I think this is what they use on the Switchwire from LDO, but again, it's before Prusha went to this cast aluminum when they were like milling out the frame still. Yeah, I haven't I haven't done a Switchwire. I've only done the Trident build with Steve and. Uh... I, I love the Switchwire. A lot of people don't understand like the point of a. Uh, Core XZ, the, and I get like that's the belted Z, right? The Core yeah, XZ. Yeah, it's, it's a Core XZ. There's really not. I don't really think there's a whole lot of benefit, if any, over just doing a belted Z. Um, like the, your bed, like your your uh, motors for X and Z are stationary, but they could also be stationary on a belted. But yeah, I just I love like it's kind of a weird motion system, and I think that's kind of why I love it. It's sort of people don't really it's get not it. Not your typical and that's motion like. system. Yeah, it's just it's just yeah, yeah. different, man. But it's, I mean, LDOs. like, so tell me, like, what the, like, are there advantages? Is it, like, there must be some, obviously. It's just something different to do, or? Um, 
Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically the same benefit as a belted Z. So you don't you don't have to deal with any like lead screw artifacts. Um, Z hops are really quick, Z travels really quick, which in the grand mm -hmm. scheme of things doesn't make a whole ton of difference. I mean, it, the faster Z hops could help depending on how many retractions you have in a big print, but I I'm, I just like it, dude. I don't have any logical reason for it. Um, Delmar says, I think LDO is still the PCB style. So this is just a, this is a PCB style heater as well. Um, and then- That's just the frame underneath it, yeah. Yeah, this is the frame underneath it. So this is exactly what's on my switch wire. It's the same PCB style bed um, and then this, but it's the milled version of it and not the cast aluminum version of it. And you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to synchronize lead screws. That's true. Hmm. And then back, like, so backlash then is not as, as big of a issue, but no, then does belt, have... does belt stretch affect? Uh, I have no it, idea. So never... it, it, it could, but I've never <laughs> experienced it, dude. Like I, I mean, I've never, maybe I have experienced it without realizing it, but that would be no different than say like a core XY having belts that maybe need to be adjusted over time because they've stretched. So sure, it's not sure. that, I, yeah, my switch wire has pretty much been, once I got the bed mesh leveling working correctly, it, it's been a pretty just aim and fire printer. Like it's worked really well for me. So I, I'm a big fan of it, but yeah, I, I if someone said, hey, do you want a Core XY or a Core XZ and the price is the same, I'm going for the Core XY. But I, I, I do, like, I like, I like it, man. I like the Core XZ. I just I think hey, it's man, a if you key. like it, that's that's great. Yeah. That's great. I'm over here just defending, you know, the honor of the, of the Core XZ. Okay, so now I need nylon, it looks like. It needs a strip of nylon, which looks like it's probably in this bag. Yeah, white carriage. We got nylon. Parts. No. Here we go. Yeah, what are you? What are you on right now? What are we? What step you at? Uh, step six. Step so. movies. Step six. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So for this, we need two parts. We need the nylon. We've got heated cable. Bottom cover we've got, top cover, a couple M310s, one, two, three, oops. Couple M3 nuts. You know what you know what machine I'm really, really interested and curious about? I always like seeing machines that are like doing something completely different. You mentioned Core XZ, which is just, you know, it's fun, it's something different to try, but like the the that new offering uh, with the linear motors from I um, have it. Yeah, it's you in my have garage. Um, yeah, the Magneto X. The Magneto. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, have you gotten to play with it much? Not a ton, man. Honestly, like I got an early, early beta unit, and they were testing mm -hmm. out like the shipping mm -hmm. process, and so I had some right. damage in shipping, so I had to fix uh, that, no, no, and then, yeah. uh, and then they've done a ton of changes to like the load cell bore, the tool head, the uh, the code running on it, like some electrical stuff. So it's been a, like I, I sort of waited because I knew things were still getting updated pretty regularly. I wanted to wait until mm -hmm. they, it was closer to where I, I could mm -hmm. do a bunch of upgrades at once. So my mine is officially, the hell, one second, assembling the heat bed cable cover. Mine does not seem to have, I feel like I must have grabbed the wrong part. Unless, yeah. What part are you, because there's one that looks really similar that's like the X, uh, the, oh, no. um, sorry, the bed mount for the board. Yeah, so that's that's right. Yep, that's right. No, this is yep. this is. I was looking at it, looking at it wrong. Um, so yeah, I got it. Now that I've got it all done, and I just finished installing the enclosure on it, which was a big reason I haven't used it a ton. It's down in the garage. It's way too bulky and heavy for me to bring upstairs into the studio. So um, I finally got the enclosure on it, which is sweet. And I just I need to order the magnets. I didn't have the magnets on my machine because it was like. There's supposed to be magnets pre-installed in the frame, so that way if you convert it to the enclosure, you've already got the magnets. But because mine was beta unit early, I don't have the magnets, so I need to source them and basically attach them into the frame. And then I plan on whipping out a bunch of stuff, but it's, I've, I've printed a couple things. I think the motion system is really cool, and I, like, I just wanna, I just wanna print with it, man. <laughs> it's been so much- I know, much of, I know, but th that's the thing, when you agree to be part of the early beta, like, you, I mean, that's, that's the process, right? Yeah. It's funny because it's like I've been on the XL beta for like a long, long time. And like the first ones that were shipped out, I mean, that's like, yeah, stuff's moving fast and breaking. And mm -hmm. yeah, you, you just want to print, but, um, you know, you're you're living on the bleeding edge and that's the price you pay sometimes. 
Yeah, I think there was a slight misunderstanding. Maybe it was on my part. I didn't actually realize it was going to be a really early beta unit. I thought it was retail unit. So I, I thought oh, most okay, of it was. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, I thought most of it was that they were just testing out the shipping aspect of it. Um, so I that see. was that was you know that was my bad. I think more than anything, but. Yeah, I just, because of how, I mean, working full time and doing the video stuff and the streaming, I don't really have, I, I usually say no to all beta testing. I just don't have the ability to beta right. test. Um, and if I can't, like if the product I'm checking out is going to be way different than what end users are getting, it doesn't really do, it doesn't really do my audience very much good to, to do that. So, right. Um, no, that's, you know. that makes perfect sense. That makes so. perfect sense. Um, and and I know, you know, I think different companies handle it differently. I know on the, the Prusa side thing, I mean, there's like more than enough people that are, of course, volunteering and willing to do beta testing, but they're, they're pretty serious about like, okay, you know, th there's a contract involved, like you have to make sure that you're going to commit to like, there's like, you get homework assignments and you got to yeah. make sure that you're reporting on time. You know, it's, it's, it's a process and they take it seriously. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, you get. Uh, you get to keep the unit and stuff like that, but you're you're doing a good amount of work, so you kind of have to have, you know, some love for the for the process. Totally. Um, if I wasn't, if you're if, if you're I, a creator, if you're just doing like, you're probably better off being honest and just like waiting for that stuff. Yeah. If, if I wasn't creating content, I yeah. I think that I would be super game to be beta testing, and I would really enjoy it. It's just that yeah. like, you know, I don't I don't have the time, man. I, I really just don't. So, yeah, generally speaking, anytime someone reaches out to me. Um, unless it's a really weird exception, I, I'll turn it down every time. I just say I, I really appreciate it, but um, you know, when the unit is ready or it's you know ready for retail or whatever, I'm interested in checking out that point. Yeah. But and I'll explain. Uh, you know, I'll typically explain X, Y, and Z reason. I just I've got a backlog of like months of content. I, I just cannot add something that unless it's sort of contributing to something I'm making content on. I, just, I, I you know it just turned out to be rude. I, it's just the reality of it. No, and I honestly, I think that any uh, you know company that's that's yeah, would appreciate that. I think yeah. I think that 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 that's like I would I would much rather people be upfront. You know, I've had people ask like, "Hey, do you need help with beta testing the rep box?" I'm like, "Yeah, we don't really do beta testing. There's, you know, like I just I'm I'm too small. Like I don't I don't have the time to go through it. And so, and it, and it's a box. <laughs> so it's like yep. it doesn't it doesn't need a whole lot of, you know, kicking the tires. Um, <clears throat> Could have benefit from it, maybe I don't know, but but anyway, on the Prusa side of things, like yeah, there's a lot of interest, and but um, you know, it's a two-way street. It's like yeah, we're we're invested. There's a whole team that is like releasing. I mean, you're trying like a new firmware like every day, every other day sometimes. Yeah. Um, so you know, and they want to make sure people are really honest and avail like if they have that availability. And most people, you know, don't. When you realize like the, what's involved. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but a lot of people do, and I think if you're a creator, I think you being honest about that, like it, you know, makes a lot of sense. It's it's a time commitment, and you know, like creators are always talking about, and I deal with this daily. Um, you know, my job is to make content. Like I don't it, like have the value out of getting the free machine. If you're on the beta side, especially the amount of hours you're putting in, you know, like I said, you have to really love that process. Yeah, um, you're not. You know, just getting a free machine out of it is not likely going to be worth most people's while. No, <laughs> just not enough. Uh... You can't you can't feed the family off of that. But that's that's not what that's for either. So. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. I, I can see again. I think it's more of like a, a passion thing for yeah. the people that have the time to be able to do that. Uh, really quick. Here. Hey, Benny. Um, yeah. Hey, Jose. Yeah. I I love testing out like new tech so if i had the bandwidth i would love to but I, I i'm big on saying i've been big on saying yes to too many things and then and then kicking myself because i'm just so stressed out and so like i have to learn from that you I know think that, that's everybody's problem i mean that's like yeah. the number one problem that just a lot of people have because just you gotta you gotta be comfortable with saying no we talk about that all the time on on the business podcast mm -hmm. and it's hard it's hard for me even like i know that even a lot of people know that and it's still because at the end of the day i mean you're a classic people pleaser just like me right yeah Where it's like we, to a fault yes. dude to a fault man yeah yeah because you want to feel like we're helping everybody out and and like you know you want you want to make sure that that you're getting that email like on the and next time like you know the company reaches out if you say no too many times you're worried that like you're not going to get asked again right and so yep. that's the fear 
but at the same time, like I said, a lot of companies are going to respect, like, they don't want you wasting their time. They don't want to waste your time. Like, let's just be honest about it. Yeah. And you're going to, you're going to feel a lot less stressed and it's going to be a better outcome. So, you know, it's good. You have an awareness of it. It's something that I think everybody needs to keep working on. And I think we all have these people pleasers, especially have the, the struggles. Totally normal, man. You're totally yeah, normal. I, I think, I think it's. I've talked to a few other people, and I also feel like it's fairly, fairly common. Um, really, sorry, really quick here. I'm looking at the bed stuff. Is the thermistor mm. wire supposed to go through the X that the or through the cross that the heater and the the bed wire, like the two bed yeah, wires? Yeah. So or no? what it's gonna what it's gonna do is it's gonna come up from underneath through that little hole in the printed part. Through the little hole so, in the printed part. Yeah. So this yeah, doesn't so have to be. That. Yeah, you got you, you've got it upside. So right now the the nuts go down. So you've got it flipped, I think, over. There you go. Okay. And then you're basically there's the little hole that the nylon goes in that actually gets pinched between the bottom of the. Yeah, there you go. And then you're gonna bend that back. Uh, other way, like toward oh. the the back of the heat bed, like like create a little L at the at the end of the thing, and then oh, when you're saying, you put like, the screw in, bend it towards the heat bed. Uh, away from the heat bed. Really? I thought the photo shows towards the heat bed. I'm not sure which way they have in the instructions they have it aligned. Let me look here. It's just okay. so not on the other side. It's kind of hard like... to black on black. But basically, like that's your that's your like wire support. So here, if you want to look at my close up view here real quick, uh, let's go here. Let's go here. So, so I was just creating a little bit of an L. Ah, oh, like gotcha. So, so you literally, it. and then bend the whole just wire downward. Bend, like, bend it. So you just give yourself a little excess there, and then you know, like that nylon is just to kind of keep some solid, yeah, um, rigidity in the. Yeah. So it looks like they bend it. It's kind of man, the photo, dude. Okay, so, so let's, if you want to come in close real quick, I'm gonna just give you a good yeah. view of this. So we've got. I haven't finished tightening that, but you, we've got. Uh, this screw here is what holds this bottom plastic on. So the nylon's gonna go in this tiny hole here. And then my thermistor wire is coming up. And then this whole thing gets screwed on to the underside right here. I don't know if that's Where, clear. So the nylon pops out through that hole in the center? No, that's not the, the hole in the center. The, the tiny hole that's like recessed just slightly behind the center. Yeah, I see that. My question is like right now, if I try to shove this underneath here, so this needs to turn. You're, you're doing. Oh no, that's me. Let's see. I can't. Let, go back to your screen so I can see what you got. So both side. It goes like this. There we go. Just yeah. Underneath. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so the like, thermistor wire just kind of pops into the side here. No, the thermistor wire should go up from underneath. I think you got it going. You pull that thermistor wire out of there. Okay. You can do this part last. Like take the thermistor out completely right now. Okay and then fasten that part to the bed and then route from underneath up through that hole with the thermistor wire. Okay, nylon's bending towards away from the bed though. Correct. Okay, so this is going underneath like this. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if it's the order of operations they have you do it, but it just I it, think it did not I think the visual is a little tough when I'm looking at the instructions here because you, it's a lot of black on black. Okay. And it's kind of hard to see that you're coming like up and under. They probably should tell you to mount that piece honestly before they show you the routing of the thermistor wire. Yeah, that, that's a, I think that's a piece of feedback. And it may be there's 12 comments there, so that suggests to me that that's probably a point of confusion for some people. So that if you're not aware, like when you're doing these things, the the Prusa Build Guide is actually a wiki, and there's a lot of great little. Uh, tips and commentary from like the people that are doing it Oops. Um, that a lot of times will get implemented in the in the build guide so we use that to like take feedback for uh, improving the build guide to make things more clear for everybody yeah I think I for I forget I'm sure if I was building this just solo dolo I would be probably referencing that more but I think I don't know because we're streaming and stuff I, I seem to be forgetting that that's also a thing uh, no, you're doing great man pin post about yeah. the giveaway the pin post Wait, the pin post has been gone. I think there's an issue with it, uh, Nappen. Yeah, it's no, gone on my the screen. Post. Oh wait, no. Yeah, it's here. Uh, yeah. No, the form, the forms link is still existing for me too. Yeah. That's interesting. I removed it now. Oh wait, now it's gone. Now I it's just gone. removed it from a different. Yeah, it's been sort of. Uh, 
a little wonky. The chat's being weird today. Yeah, like it's it's the chat on my other monitor is way far behind what where we actually are. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Nice. I'll put, um, put that back into frame there real quick. So here we go. Now we're okay. We're coming, so I've got uh, that on. Now you're saying it's their Mister. Yeah, and the nylon fell up. Time. So, so the mister is going from under and up through the hole. Correct. Okay. Correct. So just push the nylon out of the way and stuff. Yeah. Just the. So that little nylon piece should get pinched in between the printed part and the. Uh, and the bottom of the the PCB. It's gonna be a tight fit to try to get this through with the because it has you cross the heater. I might have to loosen the heater cables then. Right? Like, a, or... There's not really space to get it through, Pooch. What's going on? Oh, so are you, you saying the, the, heater, the, heater, the heater cables Yeah, the, the, the heater it? cables yeah, are kind of so crisscross. Just, just, uh, just oh, loosen that or put a screw on it and rotate <laughs> it so that they just move slightly just, out of the way. <laughs> I just... Uh, no, you should What'd just... You I just smacked myself in the face with the nylon, dude. Did you poke yourself in the eye? A little I whipped, nylon? No, eye. I didn't. Do, no, no, no poke, but it, it just it whipped okay, back and gave me the old... The old, you know, the old whipperoo. The old whipperoo. Yeah. Shit, man. You got this, man. You got this. Yeah, just, just you can open that gap up between the uh, the positive and negative there if you need to, just so you can fish the the piece up and then and then just button them back together again. I guess at the end. I just pushed it through <laughs> with a, using a, a Allen key just, to sort of help just brute, just brute forcing it. There it is, yeah. right there. There. Look at that. How nice. Okay. Come All back right, to this let's do. Alrighty. Yeah, I think that probably is the easier way. The easier way to do it. Um, because the nylon kind of wants to do its own thing. Okay. So wrap the end of the cable bundle together with the nylon uh, filament. Slide the sleeve towards the heater bed. Attach the heater bed cover cable. Oh, cool. So it pinches that nice. It pinches that in place. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now okay. I get to put the textile sleeve on. Uh, vanquished by a wire through a plastic hole. <laughs> yep. That's how God. they get you. So the, the Prusa, that was, I, I feel like that was like Joe reaching through and just giving me a little smack for, you know, being silly. Right. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> like, Come on, man. Yeah. What are you doing, dude? Yeah. Like, I've never. Are you sure we should give this guy a kit? Are you yeah. sure? He's... <laughs> let's ask. Let's ask the eight ball again, real quick. Yeah, right, the best three out of five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know I love giving you a hard time, dude. You're doing. Oh things. yeah. Oh yeah. Listen, I, I this isn't even close to to the worst I've ever seen. I'll just tell you that right now. Okay. Good. Good. You're not even ranking. You're not even like. Oh, dude. Not even like. Not like top not ten. Even Come on, dude. I don't know. For worst ever? No, not even close. No. I mean, I I bet you, like, you talk to some of the support guys. They've probably got some of the funniest stories about stuff people have done. You yeah. Know? Um, uh, I'm sure of it. I mean, you, you used to do like you used to take some some calls for matter hackers. Yeah, 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 yeah I did, I did. I was I was right? hybrid sales and support, and I did all the support for my like key accounts. So I was always the first point of contact. And I, I mean, yeah. I think I did a lot more support than the other salespeople just because I had the. You know, familiar with the, the hardware. Yeah, so, right. yeah, so, so <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I'm going to choke from thinking about some of the, some of the silly, silly And stories. you know what? It's, it's like, it's so, what's funny to me is, I, you know, I've taken some, my fair share, more than my fair share of support calls over the years too, for various jobs I've had. But, uh, you know, most of the time people are just super like, I don't get it. I'm just missing something or like. You know, we we assume something's intuitive and it's not, and so it's oh, yeah. like it's really it's really eye opening in terms of like educational styles and like how people learn, and um, but but sometimes you just get these people that'll just come at you hard, like mm -hmm. they're just like, I am an engineer and I have oh, I have yeah. seen this and I've done oh, this God. for years and years yeah. and you're just doing it wrong and it's completely and I'm yeah, like, dude. oh man. That's I can't uh, tell me a time many times people told me they're an engineer of some kind. I'm dude, like, just because you're an engineer does not make you like good at following directions. 
Yeah, in fact, somebody, it probably makes it worse at following directions sometimes. If somebody tells me that they're an engineer in a context like that, yeah. I am not wanting to move forward with the conversation. Yeah, I'm like, oh, can I, you're can I backpedal? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you shouldn't, like, your actions should show me they're an engineer, not your, you know, you don't, you're not going to voice it. Like, it, yeah. you're going to throw yeah. it at me, like, oh, you know, yeah. Like a status uh, symbol? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can yeah. confirm uh, customer service sees the wildest stuff. I was asked. If a dual sided flex plate was magnetic on both sides the other day. <laughs> that's that's great. That's a good one. I would love to see like and I mean I know that like you know company can't really like share this publicly, but yeah, it's like no, no, no. you know, some of the some of the like best of you know, support or worst of, totally, you know, support totally. tickets or something. Just like, no, I've got major respect and, and support is not a not an easy role, dude. It's I mean I, I wow. was more on the sales side of things and I, I really tried to sell the, the things I believed in and be as transparent as I could be. But man, the just sometimes things like some of the, I don't know, man, it's, it's a rough gig. Like I, I've got a <laughs> it's, lot of, it's not an easy gig. It's not no, an easy it's not, gig. It's not, it can be, it can be really satisfying. I mean, I got to tell oh, you, yeah. like, you know, 90% plus of the people, like if I'm looking at, but it's always the 10% that get you. Um, are, are very gracious. They're like, oh, oh yeah. my gosh, Super I'm such thankful. an idiot. I can't yep. believe I missed that. Thank you so much. And even even the ones that come at you hot sometimes, like if you help them out and they're like, oh, thank, I, you know, I just, I didn't think I was even going to get to talk to anybody. I was just really frustrated. And they come around and they're like, thank you so much. You know, so there's so much opportunity to like win people over in that regard. Yep. But it is not easy because like, especially when you're just getting your day started, like the last thing you want is like just somebody like coming at you hot, like, and you're just yeah. like, I haven't even had my coffee They're, they're yet, already man. at a million miles an hour, dude. And you're barely yeah. wiping the, you know, wiping the fog out of your eyes. Yeah. We had, we had a thing like you saying that though, we had a thing at Matter Hackers where we would try really hard, even on customers that were like kind of coming in hot and rude to, to, to like win them over because some of those customers that you do win over, which is tough, oh, become your best Then they're customers. yours for life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude, they're, they're, they'll 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 yeah. shout you from the highest rooftop. But Absolutely. you know, it's not easy to get to that point, and it's it's a it's sometimes going to be a major uphill battle. And there are there are we we called it um, firing a customer. Every once in a while, we had to fire oh, a yeah. customer. They just weren't helpable. You couldn't. There's not. They weren't reasonable. They weren't willing to meet in the middle. And, and sometimes you got to know when to cut your losses. So. Uh, it's it's interesting. Hey, that's hundred percent true. Hundred yeah. percent true. And it's a it's an art. And sometimes you know, I think when you're first getting started in business, it's like you feel like, look, I gotta take, I gotta, I gotta take every customer I get. I need every dollar I can get. Yeah. Um. But but it's a lot of times you're you know you're stepping over a dollar to pick up a penny, and yeah. and, identi and identifying like you know when somebody is that way. Uh, yeah. Is, it's is definitely. The, you know, it's something you should not take lightly, right? Like you don't want to no. be just burning bridges with no. customers, but no. there is the, the reality is that the customer is not always right. And there's a time and a place where you just got to realize that this is not, you know, this is not it. Um, let's see, I've had a pre-show for over seven years and I've never needed to call support. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, That's that great to is hear. true. If you can make a demanding customer content, they won't go elsewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty, um, got my wires through, dude. Uh, like bed's looking sexy, man. I got I got a thermistor, I got that. heaters, I got look at that. Ooh, shaking my you know what I shaking my bed tail. What's that? Do you have do you have because you've done enough of these textile sleeves and wire looms and stuff like that? Do you have that print that helps you like route things? Because like that's always like a tedious thing getting that. No, like, I, I agree. I don't enjoy there. the reason why I don't have it is because most all of the builds that I do, except for the pre-show build, don't use those. They use um I think rat rig might, but generally speaking, they're like the stretch sleeves where you like, you like, you know, push them back mm -hmm. and they widen. Mm -hmm. And I don't mm -hmm. love those, to be honest with you. I like, you have to use heat shrink usually at the end or like, like mm -hmm. burn them to sort of uh, mm -hmm. keep them from expanding. But I don't have that tool. And I do think that, especially for someone like you building so many of these, you, you oh, should absolutely man. get one I, of those. I keep, I keep saying, Bob, Bob Carnes like clued me into this really great looking design. And uh, I got a, I gotta, I gotta print it out because yes, it's just like I've, I've the, you look at the percentage of time I've spent probably like routing wires through the loom. Yeah, too like much. I'll bet, I'll bet you like if we went to the factory and said like, what's the most time intensive part of the build? Like that would be it, like the <laughs> wire routing through the yeah. loom. Yeah, it's like you just gotta, you know, kind of finagle it back and forth, and it, 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 it kind of hurts. It doesn't hurt, but like your thumbs get a little, eh, kind of hurts your thumbs after a while. Um, it can, it can no. if you have those, uh, those soft. Soft thumbs, <laughs> like you do. 
<laughs> well, yeah, I mean, my thumbs don't hurt. My thumbs, my thumbs are fine. I was more worried. You know, I know you moisturize and all that. So yeah. I just, so oh, you, do. <laughs> Wait, you, you don't moisturize? Come on. <laughs> this stream brought you by Neutrogena. Stand yeah. yeah. Not sponsored. Uh. <laughs> Dude, we're having a good time. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited. Like I said, I've been so I've been to Prague. I've been to the factory a couple times now, but I'm going to uh -huh. go back next month for a Prague Maker Fair. Which, if you ever have the chance to go check out Prague Maker Fair, I know that's not something that everybody gets to do, but sure. it is my 100% my favorite Maker Fair I've been to so far. And you've I got, just, I've seen you at Bay Area. So I know you've gone to Bay Area and a few. Oh, I've been to Bay Area. I've been to New York. I've been to Coney Island. I've been to. Um, oh wow! Yeah, you've been to a bunch. A ton of them. I've been, and then that's not even including the mini maker fairs and stuff like that as well. So, um, but yeah, like it's, it's, uh, it's really, really cool. But I was going to say, going back to the Prusa factory, they say that the record build time by like one of the workers there for doing the fully assembles is like just over two hours, which wow. I'm like, it's <laughs> so fast. Like, I yeah. want to see that. Actually, you know what I'd love to do? Like, this might be a fun thing to do, like challenge, challenge them. Cause like I built so many of these, like I want to challenge one of the factory build workers. Off. <laughs> they will smoke me. I have no doubt. Yeah, smoke yeah, me. absolutely. Like, and I'm just gonna roll in and I'm gonna slap them across the face with the ga the gauntlet. I'm like, I challenge you. Yep. And then they're gonna wipe the floor with me probably. <laughs> but it would be wild to see like how the pros do it and totally. It, I think that'd be fun. It'd be a fun. It'd be like a fun. I'd like to see a video of that. Would you watch I mean, that? Would you watch oh, that? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. All right, that's good. Yeah. That's good. To yeah, you've got you've got at least one viewer. My, my, okay. my son will watch it too, and not by choice. Like you know, he has he has to watch what I watch. But <laughs> yeah, small thumb. Liz says you have small soft thumbs. Aww. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, yeah. it's, there's also another thing that started when me and Steve were building the freaking VZ bot, dude. Like Steve, yeah. so we took the we took the bearings off the linear rails for like the blocks, and Steve was like, you just gotta push your thumb in there and hold the balls in place when you slide the rail back on. And I tried, and each time. Ooh. I had balls yeah. pop out, and then the joke was yeah. that I have small thumbs, and that's why I can't get them to, uh, can't get them okay, to stay okay. in place. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm mean, a sensitive, five, sensitive topic. Uh, <laughs> sensitive, sensitive topic. He's sensitive, yeah. dude. He's a sensitive dude. dude. No, no, no. I'm talking about me. <laughs> no, I know. I'm, I'm talking oh. about you. <laughs> <laughs> talking to me in like the third person, or like, yeah. yeah. The pooch abides. The pooch loves to talk about the pooch in the third person. Skincare routine stream one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we've I, we've digressed on our our digressions. have digressions, dude. It's like, but you know it's what? Usually, it's pretty pretty standard of these streams, man. I mean, Lisa's probably it's you're fun. you're. It's what makes it fun? Yeah, you're letting me snowball a little bit harder. Like I think I usually self like well, correct I'm not myself. Helping. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely not. <laughs> but this is like, like, yeah, like if we're normally like, if we're normally at like a six, like, like we're on the we're on the right road. Like we've completely yeah. like we've created our own road. That's what's going on here. Yeah, we don't need we're we're going we don't need roads, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, there is no roads. We're in a hot air balloon. <laughs> yeah, there's no spoon. There are no roads. And yeah, man, we're we're just forging our own path, but we're having a good time doing it. Oh yeah. And that's oh, really gosh. like. That's why I love streaming. I think like you and like a lot of the other Nero, you know, it's like I was gonna do this anyway, and so if I can like hang out and chat, and, it's fun, dude. Like it's get a, something it's a, done. Yeah, no, it's I, not I, the I, fastest, but you know, it's, it, yeah, not for me. It it's is not. if it if it keeps me honest and keeps me like moving on the project. It yeah. is the fastest, right? Because like that's that's my thing. It's like I'll just put it down and I'm like I'll like a month will go by and I wouldn't have touched it, right? So it's like cool. no, it keeps me going. I like hanging out with everybody too. Like it's fun. I, I get still, like the point of the streams initially was really just to show people me screwing up and getting through things. Kind of. I mean, that was really a lot of it. But it Hubris. surprised me. Mm. It's yeah. It yeah. surprised me how many people have reached out and been like, "Hey, I watched your stream and like it helped me. It helped me when I was building, you know, X Y Z because I got stuck on the same part. I saw where you got stuck and how you sort of got through that thing. And it feels really good. Um, it feels really good. Like knowing, like, wow, that me. You know, being a goofball and stumbling through something also helped you, and so I, I, I really enjoy the the feedback is is something I big fan of. All I the think feedback. I think you've I think you've put your your finger on something that's like super important that a lot of people just don't think about, and that that's like catharsis, right? Like that that like I need uh, I need to realize that like other people are like having a shared experience, and that you know. It's it's fine, and like I, I think there's a lot of value in that, dude. I, I love yeah. it. 
Yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Um, and I'm, so, I'm, I'll be the first, like, people watch me do stuff on stream, and then they're, like, yelling in the chat. They're like, you're doing that totally wrong! And then I'm like, <laughs> oh, man, it's really me. Like, when I was doing the build with Steve, like, I put the freaking uh, x-axis plate on completely backwards. The trident? And we got to the next step, and then we're like... No, no, this was on the Mark IV build, and I thought oh. I built a bunch of them. <laughs> and I was like, see, even, even, I still do it, even, even though I've done a ton of them. Yeah. Like, if I'm, especially if I'm distracted and chatting, but that's fine. Totally, I just fixed totally. it. No biggie. Yeah, we laughed. We moved on. He also punches power. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I got the, the. We have a GIF in Airline, a GIF, a well, like emoji in chat that's of a fist like punching. Because on that yep. same VZBot stream, I, I went to go do something. And it's like the power supplies are like sideways mounted in the back. And when I turned, I punched the power supply with my fist and completely stripped, like you not stripped, but like I ripped the screws the out supply? of it. <laughs> yeah, man. So that's like, that's the big joke is like the, Where did you know. Power I, supply face. Yeah. yeah okay. It popped off of the screws that were holding it to the frame. And I was like, oh my God. I, so yeah, there's been some, and I'm not an aggressive person. I don't know why I was moving so, You're so just like passive violently. Aggressive yeah. PSU, huh? Okay. Yeah, right. I guess you know so. what? I don't use blue shop towels. I don't use, I don't have, I don't really have. Oh, the blue shop towels are great, guys. What are you talking about here? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Way. Gotta Over use the, the blue shop towels. Crucial. Install the bearing on the Y carriage. Okay, note the three pockets. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna flip this, flip this upside down, have it the same. I always, I love having Tied on me here. things boom, the boom. same orientation. What am I? Yeah, so well that's, different... that's important on this one. Oh, here we go, here we go, yeah, yeah. So, like this, like this, cool. And then, start with the side with the one pocket, attach the bearing clip to the cutout. Wait, we didn't, okay, we we haven't marked, we don't need to mark these guys? We Like, there's no Sharpie on this I mean, you can, I, I, mark, I marked them anyway, just because it's uh, visually easier for me, but like these, at least you can get a, uh, you can get a look at the orientation from the end once you've put them in the uh, little bearing clips. Uh, oh, okay, cool, so we want, we want it to be where the bearings are not. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna mark it. Why the heck not? Um, we got a sharpie. I realized you now. You actually, this is gonna be a little different for me because I have the older style frame. So if you look on my screen, tiny screen. Your I've bed. Got, this is the yeah the bed the bed frame on mine is the, Here's the CNC um, one. The like Mark the... three yeah the Mark three style one. And so the process is a little different because I need longer screws, and I have to do the. Um, the nylocks on the on the top side but that's all good is it gonna take you longer maybe well okay, then good. you i don't know <laughs> hey -o. hey -o. <laughs> saw that one coming <laughs> no. all righty here we go back to the side um effect orientation when you place the game right here blah, 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 blah. okay so first is assemble the bearing clips we did isolating the bearing <laughs> Okay, start with the side bone pocket attached into the bearing of the clip. Okay, and then tighten down. Just make sure same gap. Cool. This looks easy enough. Okay, so this is going in. This is a, it looks like this part is the same in both directions, so you can't install it wrong. Um, if anybody where? can find a way. <laughs> I'm gonna, is it's me. Mute? I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> it's there, me, it's me. Is there a mute button on here? <laughs> What? It's weird. No. All of a sudden, Pooch, <laughs> Pooch is, Pooch is oh, going under a bridge. Seem to have lost we seem to have lost Pooch. Yeah. I don't know when that stream cut out. Oh, well. Wait, bye -bye. I'm doing, no, I'm doing something wrong here, dude. There's no way this is right. What's that? Let me no see. way this is right. Why, why do you think that? So the... You're right. You're right. Pad, so pad goes... Oh, yep, yep. Shit. Okay, so it just so forms so when you shove the bearing through it. Oh, you yeah, don't so you rubber it down until the bearings all the way through. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. That's what's throwing me off. I was like, dude, this doesn't seem right. But okay. So we just sort of get this in. We get our bearing in, and as long as our mark is up and it's centered, uh, then we're good. And the mark is just letting us know the orientation of the ball bearings on the inside. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So let's get this guy like Now I'll there. tell you something. This is like a definitely uh and they they've got that's why there's like red all over the instructions. Like this is a critical thing that's really going to potentially affect your print quality, like if you're binding, like a lot of you can't skip this step because getting the y-axis trammed especially on the older style Mark 3s where you had this like U-bolt uh, instead of these clips was mm -hmm. um it was really easy to over tighten them. And uh, so 
so they, they've definitely improved like they there didn't used to be these like pads and the, this extra stuff that like makes um makes it a little more forgiving okay oh, it also um, says to not fully tighten these guys so i am yep yep gonna leave Don't do I, that. I feel like I, I probably already went a little bit too many uggas so let me back off a yeah that's about and right there's I think. a there's a reason that they do two on one side and one on the other like there's you know like the, the the three points to make a plane but then like less potential for binding like when you have four um i'm sure there's like a mechanical engineer terminology for it but the the, the three points of constraint are a deal i've missed a lot of squirrel talk in chat let's see a picture of a squirrel peak squirrel uh um, steve streams to get his projects done uh remember when steve met your viewers on the vzbot build he was not ready for the squirrels uh, I was wondering, I was so considering making Bay Area Maker Fair my first, I love Bay Area. I was actually wearing, look at that, that's, that's funny, hold on. Dude, wait up, wait up. Another squirrel moment here, another squirrel moment here. What are we, what are we squirreling on? I, I saw you here at this event too. Uh, I was wearing this sweater this morning. This is my Bay Area 2019 sweater that I got. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you there. I was there. I, I was there. Yeah. I was there. I was, I was, sure. I think I was helping out at the Build Tech booth with uh, Kayla from Build Tech. Yeah, Kayla, man. I haven't seen her in forever. I wonder what that Kayla's was. That was the last time I saw her, was probably 20. Well, she, I think she got out of the family biz. She like, did. I, she did. Yep. Know, yep. Do some other stuff. But, uh, yep. man, Kayla was she rad. Was people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. Super full. Miss her. 82 folks, let's smash the like button. Yeah, if you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. Where are we at? Have we, have we hit 100 yet? I don't think so. 83, we gotta hit a, We gotta hit 100, I believe. Pooch, did you hit the like I button? I believe. I sure did. All right. Dude. I can do it again. I can log in. No, no, no. It, it, it actually, it's it's worse if you hit it again. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, not as the... Oh, no, 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 you're too nice I appreciate a guy. It. I appreciate no, it. <laughs> no, somebody, you know, there, somebody's watching us, man. <laughs> like, Doesn't feel good. You're like, YouTube's just ready, like with that band hammer. They're just yeah. watching you. They're like, that guy just <laughs> told somebody to log into another account. And yep. Get that, that extra a, like. Like that's against gonna... our policy. I'm gonna have to oh, cite yeah. you. You were going 35 and a 30. <laughs> Gosh. All right, come on, screw. There we go. One of these screws is—is is it? Am I not? Don't don't be going in there, crooked buddy. Are you? No, I think I need twelves. I think I'm supposed to be using twelves for this. Mm. Go twelve. Twelves. Let's try twelves. I should try twelves. You thinking twelve? I'm thinking twelve. Yeah, I'm thinking twelve. I, you know, I could go back and look at the, the guide's slightly different. Like I said, if you're doing the upgrade from the Mark III, and this is one of the differences, because you're you're going into a nice easy tapped hole there, which is fantastic. I have to. Someone said pooch is on fire. To... Oh, it's with the burns, I think that's why. How many burns? Was I getting burned? Just meant business. You oh, were there burning to get stuff done, and the PSU was in the way. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. It looks like a fun time, and it's fairly close to me. Yeah, it's no, it's it's close. Absolutely, go, man. It's it's so fun. Uh, the bay. So I don't know how it is after they sort of brought it back. Now um, it, was it was great last year. Was it okay? It was cool. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. Was, There's was, so yeah. much. It's definitely a lot. Um, dude, am I, am I binding? What is going on, man? This freaking screw. Hold what on. Is, what is going on, Daniel? I said, hey, what's going on? I said, hey. hey, 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 hey. <laughs> no, no, it's 14s. I messed up. That's okay. I had it right the first time. You got to have a little bit of extra. I just want to screw the screw in without this bearing block. So I just want to make sure it's not like, I'm, I'm not sure if it's the coating that's going, it's causing it to, no, it's, it's what's, just, what's your What's your concern? No, the screw's tell, not really going in well. The screw's not going in well. Do you uh, see? This is the, this is the thing with the tapped uh, in into powder coated parts, right? Is you just like you just wind up every once in a while a little bit of something in those threads, mm -hmm. and then that's that's where I'll bet you a lot of the gotchas on the support is because like for anybody that doesn't know that you know, uh, and they get too western with it, uh, <laughs> then then they end up stripping it. Yeah. 
I don't know where that took. I, I had this neighbor who's like real cowboy came out of Texas or Tennessee or something like that. And he always said, you know, he would come over and help me work on my tractor when I had the property I was telling you about last time. Yeah. And he's like, sometimes you just got to get Western with it, you know? And I was like, okay. Like, so yeah. I started, like, <laughs> started saying that. He just meant like, you just got to crank down on that thing. Aggressive. Like, get a little, yeah. Yeah. Give it the old yeah. yeehaw. <laughs> give, it the old... give it the old, like, extra Duggas and Uggas. Um, that uh, one's a 16. Like it's not good, I guess. I just don't want oh. to drive. For an hour drive, I would absolutely, I would absolutely. Where, where in the Bay Area are you, my friend? Who's who's talking about, let's this see. This is oh. Dom. Oh, Dom. Dom's got, Dom's down south. I no, Dom, I saw Dom last year at Bay Area. Dom's not down south. Is he? They're, Dom, where do you live? Because I don't think he's gone to Bay Area. He was there last year. I saw him he there. Says it, he this says is the he... same Dom. Yeah, is this the, the maybe this Dom. isn't the same. Maybe this isn't the same Dom I'm thinking of. Dom. Not Dom Builds. Dom Builds? Is that is that really the Dom you're thinking of? Is it the first name Dom there's Builds? A Dom, there's a Dom, I want to say it's a Dom Builds. Hmm. Not like not to be confused with Steve Builds, but Dom yeah. Builds. Okay, I got screws lined up, I think, now. That was fun. What did I just oh. say? I said 14s oh, or 16s. Oh. Oh, I've lost it. No, it wasn't 12s. I think it's 14s. I should really just refer to the freaking guide. But... <laughs> Dom, formerly but Bay Area, I, but I'm in but Sacramento I... now. Different Dom. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> no, no, Dom. Dude, hey, no, listen, no. I've got it's, it's pooch, room man. for it's plenty Dom. of Dom friends. Sacramento's <laughs> even closer to me. I'm in Auburn. Yeah. Dom, uh, and then, you know, he knows, I'm sure Steve builds his sack. We got, we got a decent... Squad. I feel like I could do better with, yeah, you know, doing some more local networking. <clears throat> You know, because we got a, there's a lot of, a lot of 3D printer fanatics in uh, in the Sacramento, Isn't greater there a Florida one, dude. Is someone saying I wish there was one near Tampa? Oh, Orlando, I've seen Orlando. Orlando. Yeah, Orlando, Orlando has. I, I've no, I've never been to Florida, so I have no idea how far Orlando and Tampa are. But you've got one in the state at least, which is you know like that's better than a lot of other. Uh, True that places. I think they're worth going to. I the I. I I think I like Rep Rap Fest a bit more because it's it's more like 3D printing related, although I'm going there with Lightburn and we aren't 3D printing, but like it's more maker, like like the Bay Area or the maker fairs have a lot of different things. Like, but it's freaking sweet, mm -hmm. man. Like there was a mm -hmm. like this crazy machine that breathed fire. There was like the one room that was strictly for like LEDs with all sorts of crazy, like I mean it, it's it's cool, man. It's 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 a nerd yeah it's like, good nerd paradise man like I, I i love it i think it's freaking cool you're into geeky it's good honestly the thing, where they started doing it so last cool. year they moved the bay area one to mare island which is like almost closer to sacramento in fact i think it is closer to sacramento than it is like if you're down in the south bay area like in cupertino san jose like that area mm -hmm. where i where it used to be actually i think it used to be in um what was it the uh is it Mountain View? Or down down in that area somewhere. Uh huh. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's it's actually really quick and easy to get to from from Sac, because it's like the Vallejo area, which uh, is north saying, northeast Bay. Someone saying is one the one in Orlando. What it's called? It's just Orlando Maker Fair, right? Or like yeah, Maker right? Fair Orlando. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I know uh, Andrew. Andrew's gone to that one from Gloop. Has gone to that one a lot. He says he likes that one. Where's he out of? Where's he based? He's in like the St. Louis area, but okay. he, he'll drive. He drives all over the place, man. That guy. He's he gonna gets Rocky around. Mountain, right? Yeah, he'll be at Rocky Mountain. Cool. He'll be at Rocky Mountain. He'll be. Uh, oh, come on. He'll be. He was doing a little bit of traveling, I think, was determining the the summer schedule. But yes, you should be able to see the Gloop peoples, the Gloop, the King Gloopa. My recommendation on these bed ones for anybody is to screw into them before you attempt to put the bearing holders in place. I think it's a good idea to just clear out the pockets without having anything putting sort of sideways pressure on them. Uh, that way, you've mm -hmm. got a clean thread to work with. Because the second one now is doing the same thing to me. So I, I took I like the bearing. That. Yeah, I think that's it's good. just, why not? Like, why not do that and make sure that you're good to go before you start having something that's putting a horizontal uh, kind of load onto the screw when you're trying to go vertical with, you know, potentially a coating on it. So that's my that's uh, good advice. Yeah, you know, that's my. You should leave my, a comment on the wiki. 
Maybe I will. Probably, Maybe I'll, I will. I'll bet you somebody. I'll bet you somebody. Oh, right, of course, of course, dude. I'm not. not my idea is not, not no, original. I didn't call you <laughs> Let's see here. Let's yeah. see. You said that comments. Looking at the comments. Significantly clearer. Something helped from before. Forty-one comments here. Yeah, this is still pictures and descriptions. It seems like you have to align the bearings with the edge. My Y check failed. Yeah, that is interesting. It looks like it's got you biasing the bearing. What does that mean? I think uh, so. In step nineteen, there are a lot of people commenting that they're just telling you to like slide in from one side. Hmm. And uh, the last one's being a jerk. It, it, it makes it look like you're like offsetting the bearing a little. Maybe you are. Huh. Uh, thanks. Wasn't aware about Orlando's about two hours away from Tampa. So yeah, that's not, dude. It's totally worth it because it's usually a weekend. So I mean, I would just, I would, I don't know how big that one is, but I know that Orlando is a big, big place. So, I mean, I, I could easily see multiple days at, at one. Dude, I think I. Don't tell me to strip this. Thing. this Interesting. Last... I mean, the, the powder coating is getting into those threads or something. Like they, I, maybe they need to do the change the order of operations and run the taps on some of these things after they powder coat, which is not ideal because if they're trying to fixture to actually run a tap. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna use... Or they need to provide like a clean out tap because like I, there's been a couple things now where I feel like uh, the, the tightening into the tapped parts has been a little bit tricky. Yeah, I didn't realize that this tap goes all the way through. So I'm gonna go from the other side where it's cl a clean side and see if I can sort of, if there's anything in there, clear it and push it through. It's just this last yeah. one that's being a kind of a butt, dude. It's always the last one that's being it a is, butt, right? It is. It yeah. is. There we go. Yeah, it's going through great on this side. So, hopefully that's hopefully that was enough to get things good here. Yeah. Every time I you say know, like, "Oh, I'm just gonna do this one last thing," it's when like all hell breaks loose. Like you should never, you should never call it the last. I mean, like I'm, I hurt myself. Uh, I think when I was doing the last one on a snowboard, my dad was doing one last trek oh, on his uh, bike and hurt. Like it's you just. Ah, something you're about the close, last. I don't, yeah, uh, yeah, it's yeah. like your mental changes because you're sort of already like out of the task, moving on to the next. I, I don't know what the or or maybe is you're going it. like a little harder because you know it's your last one, and then you're could just be. like you're just trying to hustle through it. I don't know. That's yeah, a good point. You're right, but I mean to be fair too, it's like of course you always get injured on the last one because it's not like you hang around after you injure yourself <laughs> to to like do more, right? So yeah, it's no, be, that's true. Yeah. It's like saying like, oh, it's always the last place you look for something that you're missing, right? Because once you find it, you're not looking anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, I don't know, dude. I, I think I might, oh shit. I think I might have to use a little bit of force on this last guy. I don't know. Oh, I broke this, that's fun. Um, What'd you break? No, 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 it's not. It wasn't related to the Prusa. It was related to something else. But yeah, I'm gonna take an Allen key so I can get a little bit more of leverage on it. Cause I, I feel like it's close. But it's not with my little driver. It's got a ball end on the driver I'm using, so it's just. Yeah, you're starting to slip. Yeah, exactly. And then get, maybe get a, fre get a fresh screw too, and an Allen key, like a proper Allen key. Just so that you know you're. Because you don't want to yeah. risk stripping that thing and then figuring out how to get that thing out of there. And then just like, we're yeah. so close now, man. Don't. Don't bore Don't it, do Daniel. it. Don't do it. Don't tempt fate, Daniel. I know. Last, last, last turn. Don't injure yourself. <laughs> last, last turn. You know, this is an interesting case, though. I mean, like in the case where you run uh, a through hole, like yeah, it's a little bit of extra work for the assembly to have to run through and then lock it in place with the nylock. But, but is that worth it if um, you know people are having issues with the tapped, the tap holes? I don't know. Because yeah. like I, I don't have to deal with it because I'm actually going through my plate. I have a through hole. Uh, but man, those nicer cast ones look look great. Yeah, they look really pretty. I'll admit, like I feel like a little left out on like the cast frame and the like, cause they, I mean, technically it doesn't make really any difference whatsoever. 
but uh-huh. it's like I know I'm like oh man that cast frame with the hexagons like just looks so much cooler a little eye candy <laughs> yeah a little yeah. eye candy okay so yeah I think I got it I think I got it I think we're good um well yeah that it's of course like you said the last one crack bearing alignment is important I've got that bearings look good uh y axis smooth rod holders okay one two nope. any army ugga 12 send it uh linear rails or linear linear rods they are linear rods they are uh, eight millimeter linear rods. We need a bunch of M310s. I've got tons of them still. We need a bunch of square nuts. So I many tens. have plenty of those. And then we need our final rods. Throw this Sweet. 12 back. Using a paper towel, wipe the transport oil off the surface of the smooth rods. Okay. All right, all right. Break out the Fabrico. I, the Fabrico drivers in the garage, Delmar. The only one I've got up here is the 1.5 millimeter because uh, that's the one where I really need that often because the ball ones will just strip out such a small um, screw head. But yeah, I, I those would work probably well. I just, I prefer to use the Bondus ones because, um, because the Fabrico ones end up hurting my hands actually since they've got such a, they got a pretty hard, texture on them let's see it says please be careful use a paper towel uh gently insert the rods into the bearing do not apply too much force and do not tilt the rod gotcha so this is why we didn't want things super tight is so that way mm-hmm, if things mm-hmm. are offset so i gotta actually loosen strippy mix strip over here the one that uh just give it a little room to, to yeah, line breathe. itself we'll, uh we'll breathe the room cool i got mm-hmm, that uh, mm-hmm, in case you manage mm-hmm. to push out some of the balls we will not do that so help me um, tighten the screws on each bearing clip after the final tightening. Movement should be gentle. After tightening all the screws, securing, uh, make a final check of the correct position of the bearings. Cool. Cool. Good. I gotta say, I have never, and I don't want to jinx it now, but on these like bearings, the LMU88 for the rod, I have yet to actually out. knock a ball come out. Yeah. I've definitely done it on the the pillow blocks that go on linear rail. Yeah. But uh, these seem a little like less prone to that for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, I, I agree with that statement. I think that I think that it's much easier. I, I think I've had it happen once before. I think it was when I first was getting started on 3D printing, and I just shoved a rail through it. Right. It was you probably know before I. Yeah, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I didn't know, and I was like, "What are these things?" I'm like, "Oh, that's the way these bearings work." Uh, but 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 generally uh, speaking, I do feel like they're much more secured um, in in these type of bearings than they are the little retaining wall that's typically found in you know the mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. linear rails. Mm-hmm. So, okay, we got Let's... one in. We got two left. in. It's off for right now. Get those set up. Okay, we got three in. Boom! Yeah, oh, he's Ooh. feeling good. He's feeling good now. Ooh. Don't get cocky on me. No, 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 no. This isn't this is cocky. This is stuff excitement. Ha- this is excitement. This is, when stuff, this is when stuff can go wrong. Okay. Did you clock? Did you lock clock the bearings like near this? Wait, did you clock the bearings? Yeah, it just like do you ro- do you rotate the bearing like? Yeah, so, so I I marked on the where I marked. where I marked would be on the top of like an X formation, not a plus formation. So that should be right, like X formation. So that way on the bottom they're they're you know not it's not perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. They're at like I I think I did it right, Delmar. I looked at the I looked at the photos. Okay, <laughs> I looked at yeah. the image. Uh, tightening all the screws in case. Okay. Okay, so now I get to tighten them down with the proper Uggas. So, Uggas and Duggas. So let's do, oops, this is the wrong driver. Actually, <laughs> listen to that, let's see here, hold on. What are you, oh, are you filing something? No, I'm just oh, sliding the rod. You get to hear the rod going through that bearing. That feels like and sounds like what I would want it to. This one over here where it's going through the two bearings, feel like I'm getting a little more resistance. I think I'm going to lube those a little bit more just to be safe. 
When in doubt, just add a little lubricante. Are you going to Rocky Mountain? Delmar, you are going, right? I've been running all day, not able to catch all the stream. No worries, no worries. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, BBs. Yeah, Delmar, you're going, right? I feel like I saw you post somewhere that you're, yeah, cool, you're going. Uh, I have to loosen that a bit more. How tight are you tightening? I'm like fairly, fairly tight in the end, right? I'm gonna just do this. Uh, yeah, like mostly tight. I don't know how to describe <laughs> that. Like, like All right, uh, like, maybe like it. an ugga, like an ugga dugga. Okay, yeah, yeah. Half. Okay. Like oh. the, it'll sit on that pad and that pad will give you a little bit of, you know, forgiveness. But, mm -hmm. um, so here's an interesting thing that I feel like they could update. So you know how they give you that little printed, let me get in tight on that real quick. Right, this guy right here that to lubricate the uh, bearings with. So it's a little mm -hmm. 3D printed part that it goes on the end of your lubricant tube and then you put the bearing on there and then it squeezes out like on the inside so all that nice lubricant gets on the inside of the bearing. Mm -hmm. So they got these little fans on there so that you're threading it on, but the problem is is if it's already seated. So if you were to say like want to go back and lubricate it after the fact, you would have to like take this whole assembly apart to get to the bearing because like these little fins would collide. So I'm like, yep. I just snipped off the two so I can get that in there now. So I don't have to take the whole thing apart. Oh, nice. So there's, so there's a, that'd be a nice little quality little of life hack. thing little for little that print. Hack, a little pooch hack for you right ah, there. Well, pH, we should trademark that. Well, yeah, pH, <laughs> pooch hacking. Uh, what do you prefer, linear rails or linear rods? Mm, generally speaking, I think I prefer rails over rods i don't exactly have i feel like mm, <sighs> i think it so, depends on your application but generally yeah. rails are regarded as probably a little bit more premium um rails can be on the extrusion like like rods you have to have some sort of a gap right like they they can't ride exactly on the extrusion although they have linear guides which are sort of like rails inside of the extrusion but yeah it, it I, I prefer both linear rods and rails over V roller wheels. I'll tell you that much. But oh, geez, yeah. But um, like yeah, I would say I probably favor rails a bit more than rods. But it, it depends. If they're cheap rails, maybe not. But I, I do think that generally speaking, linear rails are my preference. Yeah. It's it's a there's a quality thing too, right? Because not all rods and rails and bearings are created equal. So yeah, it's like a quality not. like a quality rod and bearing setup would be better than the cheapest rail potentially. It's it's hard these to are, are these still Masumi bearings or are they not longer? The ones I've got on this one are Masumi. Like they're okay. literally stamped Masumi on them. I mine don't might know. not be then. You, you, are they not labeled I don't see that a stamp. way? Yeah. I know that my Mark III S uh, plus and I built it um were but i don't see it on these ones but i mean those are definitely i mean masumi bearings are definitely quality bearings and those i would definitely yeah. prefer over some really crappy rails you know that are not not high quality spec so uh, nice i will say that i know that they go through some interesting test procedures for um validating a lot of the little bits and bobs on these machines like the steppers and you, you saw that little receipt that came with it when you start like you don't even see a lot of the little things they're doing to like test that the bearings are you know good and uh to yeah. spec and all that stuff too so there's 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 more than meets the eye happening mm -hmm. there uh can't wait to see my bot and chamois yeah i'm excited to see everybody i'm i'm getting there thursday and i think i'm hanging out with fabrico and the crew on Friday morning a bit, and then I I, I'm not, I have to talk to my team too. But then I'll, I should be at the event Friday by the time doors open for setup, which I don't think is till noon. I want to say, but I have to double check. That sounds that. sounds right. Yeah. Um, I know I'm not going to be there until Friday night because I've got another event in LA. So I'm basically going from like here to LA and then down to or then over to Denver or Loveland. How long are you in Denver for? Like, when's your flight out? Uh, flight to, uh, I'm, I'm not going to leave until Monday, probably evening. Cool. Yeah, same, same as me. Uh, I, I think afternoon for me because it was either, I think I got a direct flight back and if I didn't do an, a little bit earlier of a flight on Monday, then I would have had to stop somewhere. And I, I, 
if I can avoid and it. And I, I only go direct unless it's like an absolute necessity. It's not just always the an amount option. of things that can go wrong. It just depends on where I'm going. Yeah, yeah it is. You're right. It's not always an option. Yeah, our, our airport here, um, the Boise Airport is our like biggest airport. It's so small, dude. It reminds me of like, it reminds me of like Ontario or, or maybe Orange County, but like it's like from flying with my parents as a kid in Europe from like LAX. I'm like, this is an mm -hmm. airport. This is so small. I love it. Um. One of my favorite, uh, Burbank down in LA is like one of my favorite airports because it's like one of the few that you can still like get off the plane and like walk down the stairs and on the tarmac. Yeah, my parents just flew, that's funny you said that. I They had never flown it before, but they just did Burbank um, in, was it January when we moved? Yeah, they, they flew out here and they went to Burbank and my dad was like, dude, Burbank was awesome. Oh, and it's never crowded. It's super chill to get in and out of and yeah, it's, it's probably one of the nicest LA airports to go in and out of, I think. You know, like, uh, John Wayne's not terrible. Depends on what else is going on, but I've never had an issue with wood going out of Burbank. This feels pretty good. You feeling it? Are you feeling yeah, funny, it? Funny enough, the two bearings feel a little bit smoother than the single bearing, which I guess could make sense. They're keeping the rail completely, like, you know, like, because it's not being supported on the end, and they're keeping the rail completely in line with each other while for the other one, it has a little bit of wiggle room back and forth since it's mm -hmm. not being held in place mm -hmm. by the printed parts yet. So cool. Yeah, I feel, I feel. Well, and there's a number good. of variables that can contribute to that. Like if there's more lube packed inside those bearings, like they might not roll as freely. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. I think as long as you've got the, the bearings clocked, like you said, the way they want. So you're basically running two rows, like on top of the rail. Mm -hmm. It's the way to go. Preparing the Y holders. So the Y holders all have three nuts. Is that right? So there's, there's one, two. Okay. So I got to get my, got to get my square nut on. I'm just going to bring all the nuts over here. Cause this is like our final, final nut. Uh, round in the, uh, round in the final corner here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. You got three square nuts, like three square meals. Did you, were you, did you eat, dude? <laughs> you talked about a chicken wing earlier. I don't remember seeing you yeah, eat. Yeah, I don't just, I just don't eat on stream because that's not like the classy guy I am. I'm not going to like sure, eat sure. in front I didn't bring enough to share, so it's like, I'm sure. not No, that's, it. that's fair. I, know? I've, I've done it yeah, so many I times. Yeah, I had a chicken leg and it was delicious and I'm thinking gotcha. about going back for more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, my stomach right now is just kind of like, I'm like, yeah. oh no. Hey, time. Hey, Rico's here. Uh, YouTube is killing me with notifications. Really? You're not getting, I, that sucks. Well, you're here now. It's it just, just it just loves to do what it wants, right? Or something. I mean, I've mine, heard this so many times. Yeah, mine of its own. It's about as, does as good of a job of, of remembering things as, as I do, I think. Yeah. All right, let's load our nuts. Sometimes you feel like a nut. What's the LA event you got going on? What's is it? Is it a it's public? B or I mean, it's Beacon. It's uh, it's Blender. It's a Blender uh, oh, cool. get together. Yeah. You said Beacon. I was like, like beekeepers, dude. Is that a big? I mean, yeah, I know like Crucial like honeycombs, dude. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I mean, that'd that, be pretty rad, though. I would. I would yeah. Really check beekeeper con. Why not? I bet you they uh, got some damn good honey at those uh, <laughs> those ends, dude. Honey shots everywhere. Honey shots in room six. <laughs> Shots, 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 shots. Yeah, it sounds good, right? Uh, yeah, I would, yeah. I, would... I guess I think it's the first one. I don't, I don't know a whole lot about it. I was basically yeah. instructed to go and and network, and so you know that's what that's what Pooch what you, does. I mean, that's what Pooch does you know, best, dude. I'm like, oh, you, you, I'll go talk to people. Sure. Yeah. Like, I'll <laughs> Fly blend right in. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll talk Blender. I'll talk whatever. You know. We'll talk about beekeeping. Bees? <laughs> just go up like, beekeeping and wonder, bee dude. <laughs> Bees that and would content. Be, that would be funny though if like you had no idea and you thought it was yeah. bee related and you like showed, showed up with like bee some bee like, swag. Full, <laughs> bee full, 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 like, <laughs> oh my god! Like, what oh, dude, that'd, that'd be so outfit. funny. It'd be uh, memorable. Hi, does Does Prusha offer a bamboo trade in for a Mark IV? I don't think so. Does Prusha, does Prusha just yeah, have? I mean, I, yeah, absolutely we do. Yes, 100%. Really? Hit me, hit me, uh, hit me up if you're interested in the in the bamboo for Prusa trade-in program. 
All right. Well, you heard it here. Does generally speaking, though, does uh, Prusa uh, do any kind of trade in for um, like older? They don't, right? For an older Prusa, I don't uh, think so. I yeah, I haven't heard typically, of that. Typically, I mean, we we offer like upgrades. Like we we yeah yeah yeah, yeah. trading and totally. you know we're one of the companies that do that. I feel like I would have heard more of that though. If people were, I feel like logistically, what a nightmare that would be though. Like to ship things internationally for customers, and then like you know, they, everyone would ship them differently. Some would show up damaged, and it's like, great, what do you, what does Prusa do with them now? Like, what parts can they even use? Like, so that, that's a tricky, that's a tricky Wait, what program. Kind of, what kind are we talking about here? Are we talking about like a, you know, like an X one, an A one, like you know, what 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 trade in are you proposing? Like, uh, he was joking. <laughs> he was joking. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. I thought I thought pooch. I thought it was over Dan. It was over. <laughs> it was over my head. <laughs> that included MMU three. Yes. Hey, Dutch is here. Oh, dude. So zero G is Dutch. Dutch, you are lucky you weren't here earlier because we mixed up. We thought you were from uh, Holland. No, I did Danish. I just for the record, on. that was all Daniel. I no, not was it? That. Wait, it was I knew you. the whole time. No, I no, I was the time. one that had my doubts. No, 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 no. no, no. See, it's I a good knew thing the whole that time. It'll, 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 be no... it'll be a vod. Yeah, it'll be a vod. <laughs> Let me talk to your manager. <laughs> Let's I'm see. Kidding, Take I'm one kidding. tiny rye rod. Make sure you press the nuts all the way in. You can use pliers. Oh, that feels good. I'm gonna jump and get it tight on that. Look at that. That just feels good. Get get some ASMR for you guys. Ooh, ooh. Dutch is German? No. No. His name is Dutch, but he's actually German. Just to add to the confusion, that's great. <laughs> so after thought, the whole, after wait, the wait, whole no, debate said, about Danish was, like was Holland. Holland. Dutch, I thought was didn't we say Dutch was Den Denmark or that's Danish? The Danish. Danish oh my God. are in Denmark. Holland. No, that's With yes, Den yes. Well, Denmark is the no. Wait, hold on a second. Now you've got Danish me confused. Is, the end. No, Dan Danish is Holland. Dan wait, no. Danish is delicious. First of all, I could really go for a Danish right now. <laughs> Dude, oh my god! I, I, damn it! We were over this, man. You know what? It's <laughs> probably best that we don't talk uh, about any of that. Yeah. Okay. All right. And look, I put it on the right way. It's not backwards. Man, my life is good today. That feels good. I'm loading that, and it's just sliding back. That this bed will <laughs> sling. This bed will yeah, sling. Yeah, yeah. That'll do some serious slinging. And our Dutch is D Dutch is German. Danish is wait. So then, what's Holland? Wait, 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 if Dutch is German and Danish is Denmark, then what is Holland? No, D Dutch is not German. Wait, is it? I don't know, man. I don't know. Dutch equals this is the not, language I'm not, of our we're country. Not fit, I'm not fit to opine on such things. I mean, maybe somebody that is actually... Oh my oh, gosh. No, so Dutch is, Dutch is both of them. So he's saying Dutch is, Dutch is the language of German. So that's what they call the language is called Dutch. That's, that's that is Deutsch. That's not Deutsch. Dutch. Oh, that's like, okay. That's, that, okay, no, yeah. they are spelling yeah, 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 it. Yeah, yeah. All are right, all right. I They're see. Screwing I see. Us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Zero G's got it. Who's in there the too. goose? Who's the goose? Deutsch. God. I haven't been so upset we're all week. Totally, we're totally super worldly, guys. <laughs> Dude, could you talk worldly we are? World, I'm a witch. Yeah, we are pooch. men of the world. World travelers. All right. Have you done much international travel? You said you've been to Sweden and stuff. Yeah. yeah and then... I haven't. I haven't done any since I was fourteen. But prior to that, yeah, I've probably spent a year of my life in Europe. Yeah. Well, see, now you're back into the phase of your life. You got a little kid, and like, you know, that that makes travel a lot harder too. So. Yeah. All my mom's side of the family lives in uh, Sweden, France, Switzerland, and is that mostly it? Yeah. I think my uncle was in Portugal, but not anymore. So yeah. Mostly Sweden and France and, and Portugal. But yeah, I used to go, we used to go every four years when I was a kid and we'd stay there for three months each time we went. Um, we had our family's house out there, which was awesome. But the yeah, last time I went was between freshman and sophomore year of high school. And then once I graduated high school, my uncle offered me to live with him in Sweden and go to school for free. But I had, oh, a, super, dude. I had a super serious girlfriend that I just couldn't leave at the time. Oh, so I turned it down. stayed for the girl? Uh -huh. oh, come on, that man. didn't last. Dude, come, come on. on, you're eight, you're seventh. I was like, I wasn't even 18 yet when I graduated high school, man. I, I thought, oh, I thought, have, you, <laughs> have you seen the ladies there too? I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, man, so I, it just, I know. You know. I know. I know. Life, life, life's all about learning. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta live that, you gotta have that lived experience for sure. Take the wine carriage. Uh, wait, 
So I've right right now I've slid over the endings on the rail. Oh no, 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 hold on. <laughs> My AirPod died. I won't be able to hear Pooch. I can't hear you for a little bit, Pooch. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. I'll do the hand we're doing the Navy SEAL hand signs. Which ones are we doing? You can't hear me. Dang it, dude. Hold on. Once it does that, I have to like go back under Bluetooth settings. Let's see. Pooch? Yes? Connect. I hear you. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Uh, I hear you. Can you All right, hear you're me? There. Yeah, you're there. You're there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it looks like you just slipped the Y rod holders over the Y. Yep, you got that. Make sure two pairings on the left side. Secure each Y rod holder. Fix. Okay, so what point? Okay, so we don't attach them. So you flip it over and then you attach it to the front and back of this this metal. Right. Like, now, did plate. you already pre you already pressed all those square nuts in, right? Now, so you, yeah. you get yep. a little gotcha here. You got to watch out; those square nuts don't fall out when you invert the whole thing to like line them up. I don't think so, that they're. I don't think I have the the taller like it might have fairly tight i don't i don't think okay if they're tight that's great if that's great yeah. i just every once in a while i have one one of them will like want to wiggle its okay. way free and it frustrates uh, me but you, you you're good you're now good. that you said that i'm probably probably screwed wait what's going on here oh yeah this is right this is right we're good cool okay nice we are in it in it to win it all right all right, so now we're just doing what a bunch of M310s. So we've got what it looks like one, two, three, four. Yep, eight. M310s. The name of the game. Cool. You got it. You got we're it. We're getting close. We've got to be getting close, dude. Yep. Yep. We just got to do that belt. Actually, I'm sorry. Right. It doesn't have us do the. I think it does have us do that next. I was just yep. Presetting my screws for the thermal. Couplers. That's Let's okay. Get to that. I'm skipping that again. Unsubscribe. Yeah, that's what Nuff said. Unsubscribe. Right. I stopped. Yeah, because of the because of my douche or du douche. Your do oh yeah, douche. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Danish are people from Denmark. It's also the la the language is also Danish. Okay. Yes, we got that Denmark, and then Dutch are Dude, people what? from the Netherlands. Yes. And they they have the wooden shoes. Is that right? That's a Holland thing. It's Holland. Holland Cl has clogs. Clogs. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, man. So I think you're right. I think you're right. No, I got no, this isn't, mixing this up isn't, my Holland and my my <laughs> Netherlands. I know that this. I know that I'm right because my mom had a friend from Holland for most of my life, and they had clogs in their house. Wait, Dude, what's Holland. going on, man? I can't get the freaking... There we go. <laughs> Holland isn't a country. Holland is Holland is a, a, a city in the Netherlands? No way, dude. No, no what is way. What's going on, man? Dude, Holland isn't not, a country. Yeah. Any, any commentary about geography... It is what geography? we call the Netherlands. Ha the, Netherlands is not equal to Holland. See, and now, like, look, people, okay, Holland is a region. So, they, like, the chat can't Dude, even stop, decide. stop, 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 stop. No, don't, don't entertain it. This is all part of the plan. To not They're just messing with us so that we it just has to be, dude. This. I feel like, dude, like, yeah, sometimes I feel us. like I'm being trolled so hard that, like, I just have to reset. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta reset, man. That's the thing. People are just subbed so they can troll. That's yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here but for yeah, it. I'm here but for zero, it. zero G is the one I was talking about earlier uh, that brought the really salty black licorice to Murph a few years okay. ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he knows. Oh, he knows. Yeah, he But he might knows. not be telling us that. He could be like giving us the bum steer though, is what you're saying. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, so I'm gonna press you're in, that. You're in Portugal, right, Jose? Pretty sure, if I remember correctly, Jose is in Portugal, almost positive. Portugal. Portugal's Port beautiful. Have you ever been there? I have not been to Portugal. Beautiful, dude. Like one of my favorite countries I've been to by far. Um, just dude, like such super nice people. Beautiful, like beaches. Really yummy food. It's it's a it's okay. an awesome. Right. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I'm 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 into all those things. So yeah, sounds like my a uncle place. had a my uncle had a place beach like beachfront place there that he was gonna sell because he was older and it was upstairs. It was like, um, I don't know if it was a townhome type thing or what exactly you'd call it. But so we went there on the last trip I went to Europe and we were in Portugal for I think three weeks. And 
we were right next to the beach, right next to the farmer's market. The nightlife was insane, but like, it was like all ages too, which was really cool. It felt really safe out because I mean, you you know, everyone from old to young just kind of out and it was, yeah, yeah. it was, I really liked Port Portugal. Uh, That's yeah, great, Portugal dude. Cool here. Yeah. That's now the Dutch uh, live in Portugal, right? <laughs> no, that's that's the UK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. In the UK. <laughs> God. <laughs> hey, the trolling can work both ways, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to E3D. I'm like, how is the fight in from Portugal? <laughs> yeah. Portuguese. I know, like, uh, I do know this. I do know that the Brazilians speak Portuguese. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. Pooch fact. Pooch, well, it's not a pooch fact. That's like a Brazil fact. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, facts with, <laughs> facts with pooch. <laughs> Geography. Somebody can somebody can uh, double check me on that, but I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm a very high level of confidence. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna insert a new series in all my YouTube videos where you just pop in. And it's called Geography with Pooch, and you just pooch say like that. a fact. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> the the country of Ecuador <laughs> is is based in in the middle of Asia. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many people would take it at face value and regurgitate it versus like uh, not. Hopefully not Let's many. Do it, I man. mean, Let's do it. Let's just yeah, drop pooch fact. Freaking funny. Uh, like false, false ge <laughs> geography fact. Yeah, we just ruin ruin geography uh, for many people. Incorrect geography with pooch. <laughs> yeah. It's like drunk history. You remember that? You ever see oh, those? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it's hilarious. So that was so good. I miss that, and I miss epic rap battles of history. That was another one I used to enjoy. <laughs> it was so good. Man, good times. Good yeah. times. All right, I got that set. What do you got going on? Yeah, you're still so, doing that. Okay. Oh, that's wait, fine. are you, you already beyond this? No, you're not beyond this. Yeah, I'm, I'm beyond that. <laughs> you're not. Your bed. Wait, wait, you are. You're, no, your rails are not installed. I'm looking at your bed right now, dude. What are you talking about? You're not looking at my bed right now at all. They're really, oh, it's up the in whole the air. Inverted. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. All right. You're right. You're right. I didn't see the. It was the point of you. I don't remember. Me I was like, oh, it's it's slinging, and yeah, that was. Oh. The, all right. The all right. Yeah, please don't. Please don't yell. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry was this I yelling? Library. <laughs> this is a library. <laughs> sorry, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> this is an Arby's. I, I did that actually. Erin wanted, um, it was, man, this was right when we moved uh, to Idaho, and I was so tired, and she was craving like, um, I think it was a. I think it was a breakfast jack, dude. And I pull up to freaking Carl's Jr. and they order a breakfast jack. And, and the, the person was very kind to me. Like they didn't, they didn't like make me so feel this dumb. This is a Carl's Jr. <laughs> but I, I just, I just sort of like giggled and, and you know said I'm really sorry. And I drove out. Jack in the Box was literally like in the same parking lot. And I think that my tired brain in the morning just didn't, didn't compute. But that was, that was a first for me. I, you know what? I bet it happens way more than, uh, than yeah, you think. Yeah, totally, totally. They're like, we get I, it all the time. They're like, you're our first. And I was like, oh no. No, you, you weren't, I'm sure. South African language is also very distinct in Dutch. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, <I'm> just, <laughs> chat, is, chat has been very helpful in past streams. I think this is the least helpful. <laughs> this is the least A very helpful. Distant, it could be Afrikaans. I think that might actually be true. Yeah, I, that sounds right. I don't know. We, we, it's like sometimes chat is helpful and sometimes it's not, and that's fine. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, this feels, oh, this is good, dude. Oh, Does this it is feel nice. good? It feel, oh, you know dude. what it feels right. Look, this feels is one right. single, like a single, I mean, it's just, this thing is moving in a groove. Well, oh, you yeah. bet it's got to be because it's yeah. going to be whipping around. That input shaping, man, doesn't mess around. All right, exciting stuff. All right, align the smooth rods. They're great. Proper move Y, then move the carriage to the front. Okay. I would love to see some stats, and I don't think there's like enough data at this point on like maintenance requirements for like the higher speed printers these days, right? Because it's like everybody talks about, yeah, we want to be printing faster, but like, is that is that going to cook bearings faster? Is it going to I mean like every you know speed is speed wears things out? No, absolutely. Love to see some data points on that. I love I love me a good data point. I mean, who doesn't? Oh right? man, you know right? I, yeah, no, yeah, data is. Data, shoot, it's all data? it's all guessing. Come on, it's like, data, data, dude. <laughs> that is data. Um, 
The That's profound sound. statements with Mobot right there. <laughs> data is data. Is data, data, is data. That's so <laughs> profound. Um, so what I didn't do was l keep everything loose until I had this on. So I'm wondering if I should loosen these eight screws really quickly, just so that way I make sure that this is aligned properly. It feels pretty good, but I sort of feel like it does hit a point where it feels a little. Or do you think I should bindy? just A little bindy. Just, yeah, but it could just be still the. Like I mean, sometimes getting... it's just got to wear in. I mean, honestly, yeah, I'm gonna leave it, dude. Probably I'm gonna leave it, good. It's probably yeah, I'm gonna leave good. it. It's something I can easily yeah, access yeah. after, so it's it's external. It feels it feels pretty dang good to me. I understand that bearings wear less in Holland. Is that true? Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> that's actually just that's fact. everybody knows that. That's yeah. common knowledge. <laughs> bearings wear less in Holland. All right. Bearing blocks, Poots. We're on the home stretch. Home stretch. Boom. Here we go. We got a. We've got a pin. We've got a idler. We've got, we got one of those. Spacer. We got one of those. We got two of those. Lock nut. We've got. A, what is this big guy? M. M. Spacers. That was my Ivan Miranda. Did you like that? That's pretty good. No, I, I liked it. Yep. Spacers. <laughs> Everybody, make something. <laughs> That's pretty, that's actually not like I'm not not just like trying to make you feel good like not bad, not bad at all. Thank you. I've been yeah. working on that. I'm, like, I'm I'm trying. I'm hoping we can get Ivan to come out to Maker Fair Prague, and then he we'll have to. Come to the U.S. Has he? I mean, I know that's not the U.S., but like well, he doesn't come. Yeah. No, I don't think he's been yet. And I I talked to him about it. Uh, I don't know, a couple months ago. I mean, he's got little kids and family, and you know, mm -hmm. international yeah, sure. travel is hard. It's hard. So. Um, I know he wants to. It's not for lack of desire. I think he was saying like, may maybe, maybe Printopia this year, which is gotcha. Oh, cool. The, the event formerly known as Earth. Yeah, I've never been to Earth uh, or 3D Printo. Oh, I guess it's the first 3D Printopia, so I couldn't have been. 3D but... Printopia. I don't. I will say I like Earth naming better. I think it's a little bit of I need to get used to it, and I also yeah, I understand you're not the, the only reasoning one to say that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just, yeah, I really liked... Um, Change is hard. Change is sure, hard. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. So, okay. Lean the printer on the right side, the one with the PSU. I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> I can. I can. I, 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 I can follow that direction. Yeah, this is one that I, I actually do this, have. This is why I told you we were, you were trusted for this. This is why I kept saying, <laughs> Joe. Joe, come on, This is man. our guy. He's got it. He's this got Joe. it. All right. Trust seven up. So I'm gonna pin through the thing. Let's see what I'm missing your chat. I wish we had a rep. I don't know why. Up. I love this detail. You got to share this detail because I love the way this idler setup is. It's just so so simple. Okay. And what, it just what makes about so much it? sense. Slide I don't know. I just like the way that it just slides. It's just a little slide lock you do. It doesn't like you don't run a bolt. Oh, my ear pods fell out. Uh oh. Okay, so Does so that mean I? Just go in there right now. No, I you know what I didn't? I didn't do the I sh I didn't do the like the cool kids thing that you tell told the me about here? where it's. You got to go, well, the, the key is really one eater at a time so that one can be charging while the other is, is not, right? Because if we go too long and I run out of charge, I got no audio. There's no snare on my headphones anymore, you know? This is true. Attach the thing to tip that. Wait, wait. Use the screw pulling technique. Attach the M3 knot to the tip of the M340 screw. Do a few turns is enough. Don't tighten the screw. Pull the nut out all the way in the wide belt holder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you okay, got to so get that. You're not... that up then. So, so... You, did you pull it all the way in? Yeah, I, I mean, I used an Allen key to do it. No, that'll do. Yeah, you're fine. It's. I think it's just telling you to, to make sure that that thing is seated all the way in there. But it says to put the screw in, right? A couple turns right now. Yeah, you can. Go. You, it's fine. You're not going to hurt it. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, do not tighten the screw. Pull the nut all the way into the Y belt. Don't forget to, rem wait, remove the M340 screw. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was fine with the Allen key. I thought it wanted me to actually like have it in here, but it doesn't want me to do that right now. Okay, yeah. lean the printer, we did that. Push the pin, we did that. Take one of the Y belt ends and push into the Y belt holder. Note the orientation of the teeth. Okay. Let's see, teeth is facing like this, right? Yeah, that looks. Teeths. Okay. So you want the teeth? Yeah, I got this. Teeth like this. Oops, Stream Elements is telling me that the merch store is now live. I can get all my Mobot merch. Is that true? This is true. It's very comfortable. And I, I really it's, like the, the spool. I am the, very happy with the spool have, bus logo. Do you have the tri-blend? Because I only wear tri-blend on my sensitive skin. I do. 
Okay, good. Yeah. All right, then I also have the I'm walrus leather. Um... <laughs> walrus leather. Let me I tell feel you, like, you I mean, I mean, walrus. Okay, I'm just I telling like, you, you're missing. I mean, uh, who's exotic? Your... Your... <laughs> yeah, exactly. A man of your, uh, you know, taste. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I, Gotta... I only wear the finest walrus leathers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is going in here. So this is M3. I can feel my girlfriend's in the other room, and I can feel her rolling her eyes from here because she's vegan. <laughs> oh, she, no. She hates, oh, yeah. she, she hates hearing oh, me talk no. about it. Oh, no. It's all right. She's funny. used to it. Yeah, yeah. She knows That's I'm a weirdo. Thing. Yeah, I mean, if she, if you guys are together and she hasn't ran, she's got to have a good sense of humor, dude, right? Like, oh, I mean, dude, that's my wife's the, the same way, that. dude. Yeah, she's, she, she's she... right there with me, though. She'll be crazy. Yeah. Uh huh. She, yeah. That lady crazy. She can hear me too. Nice, Fabrico. Yeah, zombie, so you hear it at first. Zombie says the merch is legit, and Fabrico says that uh, I love my my shirt and my hat. So okay, the, okay, the so the val shirt. validated. It okay. Validates it. Yeah, yeah. They're not on right. payroll either. I will slide them a few dollars later for the kind of we'll <laughs> drop them a, yeah. drop them a little. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, we'll slide them a little bit. <laughs> well, here's your here's your uh, affiliate. A little, right. Little affiliate share there. It says take one of the Y belt ends and push it into the Y belt. So it doesn't matter which one according to this. Secure by inserting a ten. Great. Using the M3, using the M310 screw. So I think it means just a M310 screw. Um, no, not there. There's there is one in your whole bag that you have to find that is purposely <laughs> oh, the wording. Okay, so the, the orient, it is the orientation. <laughs> orientation, man. So this is going. So this guy is gonna Crazy. go on this side, right? Let's see. Orientation, orienteering. How's your orienteering skills from scouting days? You remember all that? No, I, I don't you remember. You had to get the compass and the map, and you had to like figure out where you were and navigate by. by Honestly, compass. I don't. I don't remember a ton. I know we did like weekly meetups at a, like someone's house a couple blocks over. My favorite part of it was the Pinewood Derby races. Actually, it was my absolute. That's really the whole reason scouts. you. Were, that's the whole reason. <laughs> in, I don't know. My uh, my neighbor was a woodworker, and so my dad took over the block of wood that we were given and, and turned it into a skateboard. Like, and it was it didn't win. It wasn't the fastest, uh, but we did. But I bet win. it looked sick. We yeah. won, yeah, we won the design contest for that year and I was so proud, I was so, I think my parents, I think they still have it because they're clearing out the house since they're moving um, moving this way and they're asking what I wanted to keep and I think that they kept the Pinewood Derby trophy. I was like, dude, it's, it's nice. like, I didn't play a lot of sports, man. All I've got is my Pinewood Derby trophy, you know? So, and your, what about Big Red? What about your old surfboard? No, nah, it's. So, I think Big, it's Big long Red's gone. gone. Yeah, yeah shark, it, it, right? it got it got real. Shark, real just tell people a shark ate it. Yeah, it sounds cooler than the reality, right. which is it. And then I ate the shark with the exotic shark meat <laughs> that Pooch sells. sells yeah. exactly. You need shark meat and walrus leather? I'm your guy. Yep. That is Pooch, okay. Pooch is, Pooch is got, he's a very, he's got a lot of... Uh, lot I've of... got too many hobbies and too many, yeah, too many hustles. Too many side hustles. My side hustles have side hustles. Let's see, use the M310 screw, fix it to the Y carriage level. Oh, Please screw the screw to the Y motor before attaching it. Guide the Y axis belt around the Y axis motor pulley. So I'm doing things backwards because it said it didn't matter which side I put the belt in through. So I'm, I did it through the side that's going through the pulley first. That's fine, I'll allow yeah. it. You know you yeah. know what's happening here. I mean, yeah. you, you can see what we're doing. Yeah, this isn't... This isn't uh... I'm gonna give you like a pass on that one because we gotta get printing. Uh, yeah. uh, some people have to move on with their day, man. <laughs> you didn't clear your day. I thought you, when you tell your girlfriend, I would I would have told her. You know, you know don't, she's don't. like she's she's burning a hole in me off yeah. camera with her eyes. I'm gonna need you to go in the other room and say, "Don't wait up." <laughs> oh no, the pin. This is going at least another six or seven hours. Babe. Six yeah. or seven hours. Uh, where here in chat is from Earth. Who here in chat is from Earth? P Peta will be at Rocky Mountain <laughs> waiting for. Who, who here has been here since Earth on this stream? You know, that's how long we've been streaming. Okay, so what's your record? Is, what's your record stream length, by the way? Like, how how long? I don't gone? know. I don't. I don't know. Um, it might have been. I mean, honestly, when we were first building the Prusa initially, um, I took quite a long time on that build. So I, I don't know. That was a long time ago. But I'd have to look. I, I'd have to look. I don't. But you could no, go a usually... solid. You could go like a solid three days. <laughs> oh God, no! No way. If you man. had, if you had enough milk for your cereal. Yeah, if, totally. yeah, that's true. If ca if the captain was here, you know, <laughs> crunchy <of> course. <laughs> it's powered by Captain Crunch the entire yeah. time. <laughs> Dude, if, if anyone has a contact at Captain that wants to have them reach Sponsor? out, looking for a food. Sp oh, absolutely, 
Absolutely. Uh, P.F. Dennis, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships. Let's do... What are we doing for P.F.? We'll do you, um... Pizza? Pizza, time. pizza time, and then I, I wonder what's for dinner. What's I'm getting for dinner. Food. Perfect. Man, you're killing me with all the food. You're in your kitchen. <laughs> Go grab a snack, dude. Oh, I should grab this. I should grab a snack. Literally in your. I, I, if I, if I. I got a for a battery kitchen. swap here on my ma my mic is like blinking at me like mad. Is it? I'll tell you what I did with the receiver though. That was brilliant. I got a dummy battery for that. That just is like a, a like a double A to USB converter. Yep. Little pro little pooch pro tip for you. <laughs> um, Another one. And, and that that just stays plugged in the entire time. And I think what I'm going to do is do the same thing on the transmitter side, and then I'll I'll get a power, I'll get a little uh, USB power bank that I can just keep in my pocket too, and then I think I could like I could just go all day with this setup. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Um, peace and long life. Peace. Oh, Jose's taking off. Are you? See you, Jose. I don't know if you are Jose. I actually can't tell. Just give him some monster. No, I don't do monster anymore, man. I don't mm. do that. I streamed uh, eight hours one day and I was wiped out for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, I think I did one long stretch and it was so taxing. I, I'm, so I've talked about this before. It's the same thing with events. Like I am a people person, but I'm also very much introverted. So like, I love talking to people, but it doesn't actually, like I don't get energy from it. It's very tiring as much as I do enjoy it. So after an event, like I usually, I crash pretty hard for, for a few days of like, I don't really want to talk to anybody. Uh, I've always, I've always uh, been that way. So, see, I'm the opposite. I, I yeah, actually, well, yes. to, I mean, it'll exhaust me too. But I definitely energize from talking to people. Yeah. No, you're, you're. I would say you're massive extrovert. extrovert. Yeah, massive definitely. extrovert. What is going on with this, man? So if this is gonna go like this. So, so I got. Look, I'm not kidding, dude. I got my rotisserie chicken bag right here, <laughs> and, and I've just been. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm just like powered by chicken Pucha, right now. Pucha, Pucha, Pucha asked me like, "Hey man, uh, you know, is it okay if I if I if I snack on stream?" Brought to you by the, the hot and handy, oh hot and That's handy so chicken. Good. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm gonna, I think I, it's probably better if I put this back in the fridge at this point. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm pumped on that. Okay, so is this belt? Yeah, yeah. So it's perfectly sized. To, so we want it to fit exactly in the teeth. Are you done? Uh, no, I'm not done. But okay. I'm um, I'm ahead of you, so I'm uh, I'm gonna take a take a take a fiver. Yeah, no, you've earned it. Oh. Sweetness. All right. It's the final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Why is this screwed? No, this is not, this can't be right. Oh wait, interesting. So only one of the printed parts has a slotted hole. Yeah, okay. Interesting. I, I lost you, Pooch, if you're there. Uh, I don't know if you're there. Okay, so it looks like we're putting in a screw to keep this belt from being able to pop out. It sort of pinches it. And then, yeah, so this part just has a hole in it. The other one has a slot, so that way it, it has a little bit of give. Uh, very improvisational to eat chicken while streaming, yeah. I'm jealous, I wish I had. I got leftover Domino's from zombie stream, so that'll be my, that'll be my snack after this. Okay, so that seems like we've gone all the way. Where is... Attaching the Y belt tensioner. <clears throat> Okay, so that's going to go in there. Interesting.
I've got, I've got leftover pizza calling my name. Yeah, you and me both, Luke. You and me both, man. So I think this would have been easier had I done, <clears throat> had I done this printed part first, but the instructions do say to just grab one end, not, doesn't specify which end. So we'll do our best here. Hey. Hi. I'm gonna turn this really quick. So this last, this last screw is gonna suck. Dude. You still with me? Hey, did I miss anything? Hey. Yeah, hey. no, not. Oh, you, yeah. Where'd you go? What are you doing? What are you working on? <laughs> Trying to get this last part in, dude. What so are we the, the instructions oh, say that you can yeah. go attach either side, and it doesn't matter first. But I, I, I disagree with that. I think it, it should so, say. Let me tell you what like the the pooch recommends here. So you yeah, you you already have the you already have your belt wedged into both of those printed parts. Yeah. Did you did you already do that? Yep. Um. So what what I would do is loosen like don't put the belt around both the idler and the thing or or loosen either the mount for the motor which I think you're going to have an easier time doing than the idler because the um, idler is blocked by the LCD. But anyway, give yourself a little bit more room to work with there by just like loosening that thing up. And then it allows you to mount it on there, get the idler positioned, and then you can just cinch it all down again. That's that's the way I do it. I know okay. it's not exactly what it says in the... No, I like I like Pooch's method, dude. <laughs> Pooch's pro tips. I mean, Pooch's... I've got life. I've got life hacks. I've got um, exotic Food meats. stuff. Yeah, you're yeah, just. Totally. Gosh, man, I I've got to really take on some more have, hobbies. Have, do you feel like Do you feel like you've learned a lot about me since like we've started in this journey? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. But like yeah. only good things, dude. Like only good things. Like. <laughs> well, there's only there only is there only are good things. It's yeah, all good. So, yeah. Yeah. It's all it's all good things. I'm just I like, told you oh. I'm humble. I'm humble AF. You know? <laughs> I feel like I feel like I've seen that on a t-shirt somewhere, dude. I don't know where. I I'm, it's, I keep saying I want it on a t-shirt, so it's like yeah. it should be and I would totally I should just print them and sell them cuz it's yeah. like my mantra. Like humble AF. Like <laughs> you you will not meet anyone more humble than I. <laughs> my good um, buddy Nick uh, Nick Angers uh, likes to pretend that he's as humble, but he is not. Nick he Angers. Not. He's uh he's one of the oh, organizers like... of Earth. He and Nick and Lauren. I don't know if you okay. remember Lauren. Well, oh yeah, a, Lauren, dude. Uh, Buzz Nick designs. Is, Nick is Lauren's yeah, hus uh, husband, Lauren, right? Hubby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. We we for uh now. for now. We, <laughs> we I remember. So we hung out in Murph in 2018 or 2019 and played a, like a heads up game or whatever. It was a ton of fun. Also, G Funny, welcome and thank you for the gift of membership. So G Funny has been around since I started streaming, man, a little over two years ago, but he's been wow. busy, so I haven't seen him quite as much, uh, but it's always a treat. Always a treat yourself, bye. How are you doing, man? All right, host side. Okay, so I've tightened the motor back Alan in. Alan Pound is, will buy that shirt. Everything Humble is AF. in. We're already selling shirts, man. Yeah, start taking. Hey, get get his uh, get some info. Start taking pre-orders. You um, wanna you wanna uh, you wanna resell that in the Modbot store? I'll give you a nice cut. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Cool. I, I yeah. It. All right. All right. We talking? All right. We're wheeling and doing. Um, so the question I've got for you is: I right now, so I've tightened down fully this back uh, printed part. Right. This guy right here is fully tightened. This one's loose. Yeah. And this is the one that's yeah. got the slot in it. Is that how it's supposed to be? Leave it right. loose enough so that way yeah, it can yeah. slide a bit. So, okay. So you're gonna put that M, well, leave it loose for now because you gotta run that for M4, I'm sorry, the M340 mil right goes through, through there. And yep. that's where, yeah, so they they mix that. So it used to be that you would change the belt tension. There was a number of different ways they played with this, but it used to be uh, one on the motor and then there was a, an adjustment on the idler. And then I think like in the 3S, S plus, they went to this like under bed belt tensioning setup. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where it's been since. Okay. But basically that 40 mil bolt is like how you're like cinching the whole thing together. 
And then once that tension's where you want it, then you can cinch down that 10 mil that's holding the, the, uh, that, that was wiggling. What is and this MP40 you're going to push up against, dude? So it's going it's into the grab, second printed it's gonna part. It's going to grab onto that, yeah, it's going to grab onto that nylock that you drove into the second printed part that you were oh, saying you pressed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes a ton of sense. Yep. Ballistic van full of puppies. Yeah, I, I haven't seen them in Van full years. of puppies. Yeah. Van full of puppies. So he's so they'll be at so they because they, they haven't gone to any of the other events in a long time so they're big on like the east coast things that's where they're out of. Yeah, they live in okay. Maine, which is about as east coast as you can get, and uh, yeah, you're right. They haven't been traveling a whole lot. I mean, there was that whole COVID thing. Yeah, that was happening. But I saw they were at Earth, and where else did I? See? I saw them somewhere else recently. See? Question for you real quick. Are you using the app for this or no? You just feel it by hand and go with it, the belt. Uh, I, I just have feel for it at this point. Okay. So like, I, I know if you squeeze the belts together and I can feel the right amount of uh, resistance, like it's it's pretty good. Okay. Um, the yeah. app the app is actually surprisingly, I think is surprisingly accurate. It's funny, it's I, like, it's basically a guitar tuner app. It's just like- I listening tried it for the, the other frequency. day, dude. It, they don't have a local app. It's only in the web browser, right? Yeah, I think so. I think it's just it didn't. It did not work for me on the X-axis, man. Really? We tried it on stream. It was not registering any sound coming off the bell. I ended up using a different app, uh, like just a guitar tuner app that I've had on my phone for other builds, and that worked perfectly fine. So I don't know what the deal is. I I tried it twice. I closed huh. out of it on stream. I yeah. So I don't know. I I don't know if it's a my phone thing or what the deal is. But I mean, it's just an iPhone. Yeah. So I would think that that would have been a platform that they would have checked on. So I, I don't know. But I'll it's leave it for now. Worked great on my iPhone in the past. You know, it's interesting because it's like I wonder how much like. I mean, you're right. It's just using the mic that's built into the iPhone. Um, mm -hmm. So, like, for different phones and different mic sensitivity, I have no idea. Okay. Yeah. I, I haven't no had an issue with it, but that's interesting. Yeah, it could be user error. It's also, I mean, if you're getting within a range, it's it's basically to try to give people, like, something that's that's close. You just don't want it so loose that the teeth are going to, that's going to jump the, the pulley. And yep. not too tight that you're just adding a lot of friction and then creating a bunch of uh, belt dust from grinding yeah, it around. This might be a little tight, but I'm going to run it like this for now and see how it goes. And then I'll, if I have to, I'll, it. I'll play around with that app later. Uh, G20 says, doing well. How about yourself? Doing pretty good, man. It's been busy. We moved. Uh, this is officially our place. So that's really exciting. And just been doing a lot of stuff here, trying to get the studio set up. And um, going. I'm going next week with Lightburn to Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival, which is super exciting. I haven't gone to, I haven't been to any of the events since I hung out with you actually at uh, Murph in 2022, 20, 20, I think it was when it was. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. How's work been? Uh, Zombie says app didn't work for him too. Weird, yeah, I don't know. I switched to Spectroid, okay. I use the born built engineer. Can't wait for her in like five weeks. Yeah, we're like eight days or nine days. Uh, okay, sweet. So we're done with that. I, you know what? Just what's yeah. Let's just let's just move forward. Let's move forward. Installing the extrusion expansion. Okay. So turning this over. Bingo bango. And this is saying to take what expansion. Where are these guys? Expansion yeah. Going. Yeah, those are, the, those are the, that's the science. The thermal expansion joints. So these are M36 screws, which I, hmm? I, mm -hmm. I only have socket heads. The picture looks like it's button heads. Maybe I do have, oh well, no, I definitely, do. They're definitely yep. button heads. They're definitely okay. button got, heads. Got the button heads here. And then, ah, here they are. So these are, these are metal. They, yeah, they sound like metal. Install eight. Aluminium. Tighten them completely. A few turns is enough for now. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yep. You're just getting those things in there, and you're gonna see exactly why. Because you slot those expand. You see how the expansion joints have a slot in them, on one side. Yeah. So you're just gonna run that channel over the screw head there, and then you're gonna tighten it down from in between. And this this is actually really nice if you've ever had to deal like on the Mark III. It was really a pain in the butt to like line up the the print bed with the holes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Because they would fall, you, you had to like kind of do it from the side. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the spacers would fall out and all this stuff. So it's a double benefit of the those expansion joints can like kind of like flex a little bit 
uh, better and can help with the the thermal. So that's why there's an orientation when you get to putting them in there. Okay. But then um, it makes the assembly just so much nicer. Yeah, that's awesome. So I much do nicer. have because it's. A, I think it was the same ordeal with the um, uh, switch wire because it's using the same bed as that. And so I remember I had to use a combination of like needle nose pliers to sort of like get them in there mm -hmm. and hold them in place. Mm -hmm. And so. Yeah, that's nice to know. Pain, man. Yeah, not fun. Definitely not my favorite. Uh, as a squirrely person that was previously drinking monsters on stream, it was not. It was. It was. Yeah, not. Not great. I, I've never been into the uh, the energy drinks. Coffee, them, sure. Dude. Energy yeah. drinks, did you? Like, I know a lot of people do. Yeah. Like a lot of them taste like liquid Smarties to me. You know, like the candy that's just been liquefied. Yeah, um, when I, I worked at a bar and, and yeah. uh, we had a ton of Rockstar, we, we, we didn't do like the vodka, we didn't do Monster Red Bull vodka, we had yeah. like Rockstar. And so I would crack a yeah. Rockstar, especially when I was closing down the bar, working until like one in the morning, a lot of times I, I would, it would keep me going, dude. And I preferred it over coffee. For some reason it upset my stomach last. I love the sweetness and, and all that. So, but yeah, I just, I had, um, I had blood work done last year, the year before, and I, I think it was last year. And, Told me that I was pre-diabetic, and so I cut all that stuff out. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's going to be a, a growing problem for a lot of people, yeah. man. Especially it's in the states sugar, here, like man. we've just got so much sugar. sugar and everything, so okay. much sugar. And then, and even that, even that caffeine, like what is it, like, uh, you know, like people like over caffeinating and getting uh, issues from that. Mhm. Mm yep. So you want these? It looks like in line with the little groove, like the groove thing. Mm -hmm. That's in the bed. So shake you go your, at it. Shake your group thing. Shake your so group you thing. Go yeah, at yeah. it from an angle, and then you yep. turn it, and then so you want it aligned, and then you just tighten it down like this. Let me show. These are kind of cool. Um, yep. Yep. So. Yep. There. You got it. This goes like that. Yeah. See, so next... that's one of the nice things about you. You have the newer bed, so it's got some nice alignment marks for you. But it also tells you in the build guide, like you want to. Those things are all rotated in different uh, ways, yeah, so that the expansion and contraction is a. Uh, consistent as the bed heats up and cools off one of the things i'd love to ask the engineering team too that i noticed is like they don't really use an insulative layer underneath uh these and maybe you don't need to for a pcb style heater i don't i don't know but you know i know we see like a lot of beds they'll have like a like a layer of uh fiberglass or something underneath it so that it you know to kind of help with heat goes up yeah 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 and i guess it's just not something i've ever seen uh prusa do so maybe it's just I think not the PCB, that PCB maybe it doesn't make that big of a difference. I don't know. So I think the PCB bed eater bleh, bed not eaters heaters um, have an easier time have an easier time um, passing heat in through them because they're so, they're so thin compared to like a mix six ten millimeter or eight millimeter bed. Mm -hmm. So I, I mm -hmm. not that it, they, they potentially still couldn't have some kind of benefit, but I think that the heat just travels through it a lot easier. So it maybe doesn't it doesn't need it quite as much to maintain or to reach that temp while with a thick aluminum bed, you know, you really want any help you can get to sort of push that heat through it and maintain that heat in, inside of it. That's, that's, I mean, that's just purely- Yeah, that, I mean, that makes, that makes sense to me. The other thing that I think is interesting about a PCB is that like, like the traces can actually be at different depths. And so the traces are actually pretty shallow on this PCB bed, because if you mm -hmm. accidentally rub the nozzle on there, you can actually expose some of the copper, which is not good. Which is like leading to potential short, but um, I, I did it. I did it, it on my first Prusa build. Yeah, but when you look at how thick the actual bed is, like my guess is the traces sit on top, and that the actual bed itself probably has a lot of insulative underneath. So it's like a lot of that heat is radiating upward and not, um, not not through the bottom as much. I, I don't. That's again theory. I don't know. I'd love to talk to an engineer about that. I yeah. just noticed it. I was putting them together. I'm like, huh, I wonder why they don't do insulation the way we see sometimes. Uh, Phil says, still thinking about pushing plastic today. Absolutely. I, you got to let me know, Pooch, again. I mean, I'm moving forward here, but if you, for some reason, got to dip out, like, let me know because I, I want to respect you. No, no, man, I'm, I'm in it to win it here. I'm, a, cool. I'm like, we're so close now. I mean, like, you yeah. can't tease me can like taste that. It. Yeah. <laughs> can taste I mean, it. I can, I can. Taste I can. The I can. PLA. All right. you, well, you could, but, I'm not <laughs> but I, I won't. I won't, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get right. that printed part. Let's oh, go. Not center. Those guys right there. We already got our Wi-Fi in. 
So these are sixers, I think. Mm -hmm. um, insulation is probably better uh, for high temps, but there's magnet sheet layer on the Prusa. This is true. There is a magnet layer on the bottom. And I know that certain magnets don't do well when they're heated up Heat. too. So oh yeah. High, oh yeah. High Dude, so, some of the earlier and yeah, some of the earlier, especially like, it makes me think of Creality, but some of the earlier Creality beds, man, like if you print an ABS with it, like once or twice, your magnet is no longer yeah. a magnet, but it's like a, yeah. you know, like yeah. just loosely sitting on there. So it, it definitely needs to be a it's rated, you know, a certain type of magnet or rated for, for temps above whatever the other Correct. ones, I think it was like 80, 80 Celsius or something like that. Some of them were starting to lose their, lose their shim. Uh, Fabrico, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships. I am looking forward to hanging out with you in a, in a week's time here. Let's get some. Is that Hector? Effects. I don't know. Is it, is it Hector? Is it, I think Shammy has also, it could be. Um, Hector could be hooked up, uh, hooked us up. Oh yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm Wait, they can't hear Pooch? They can't hear Pooch? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I screwed up. Okay, Pooch, talk, say something. Check. Did we lose me? Yeah, huh? no, it was it was my freaking fault again. I think I clicked the wrong button after I came back from the sound, yeah, you did, sound thing. Yeah, you did it on purpose. <laughs> no, you were saying nice things. You were talking about the community and how many great people there are. No, that, like, was I, yeah, I was asking. No, was, I was asking if it was Hector on stream because I know he hooked us up with uh, some stuff on on the stream I did with Steve where we built the Trident. Yeah. And um, you know, I'm saying there's a lot of companies that are involved that are yeah, obviously in it because they're just trying to make money. And then there's the ones that are like they're on your streams with you. They're sponsoring trips to places. They're like H Hector's they, a good dude. I just man. I've, so cool yeah. to see. Hector's definitely a good dude. I, so I'm looking for, I found the M34 bag and I um, I don't see an M314. Okay, you're looking, you're oh, looking found for it. the 14? M314, got it, yep, I got it. Yeah, to <laughs> take that one have in the center out because that doesn't go there. Okay. So that's where that M314 is gonna go. And there should be a little spacer that was in that bag that's like the old style spacers. The, yeah. Uh, focus. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Yep. So that's gonna. You, that's the same way as it was before. You're gonna have that spacer in the middle, not the expansion joint. So that's like your okay. fixed point. And then those expansion joints work on the edges. <clears throat> Thank you. So it's uh, it's Shammy. It's Shammy. Thank you. Uh, do you do you prefer Shammy or you said Shamwow? Do you, which one do you prefer? Hey, Liz. Okay, so this flathead's going in the center. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. That doesn't seem right. So flathead, it's just the spacer. <clears throat> so spacer stays there loose. Like it sits loose in the center. That's right. For now, it's going to sit loose. Okay. Oh, I, Tanner. Andrew, Andrew Rogers thank you very for much for the post for post stream frosty beverage. I appreciate it. I gotta. I have to finish the script and I have to move a ton of rocks. So. I will definitely have a frosty beverage when that's all said and done. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, Sham yeah, Fabrico, do you, not for, yeah, Shammy. You, okay, you prefer Shammy, not ShamWow, cool. <laughs> not sh ShamWow. <laughs> yeah, he said ShamWow. I've never heard anyone call him that, but if that's what he prefers, then that's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> you don't, you don't but... think that's like that's the reference to the old product, like you know, like I forgot. It wasn't that, wasn't the ShamWow like a car cleaning thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a ShamWow, my... but like better than a ShamWow. It, was it the works ShamWow. really. Well. My my dad that's has hilarious. one that I've used for most of my life. Well, until you said it right now, when you said ShamWow, I didn't connect the dots, but. My dad has yeah. a ShamWow that I've used to clean our cars and dry, like, dry them with. And it's a great product, dude. <laughs> no shame in being ShamWow is what you're saying. Yeah, not at all. Okay, cool. So we're just doing these little guys, little screws. 
Liz is in the house. Liz has probably been in the house. I'm just saying hi to her now. Everyone in the house. <laughs> Ooh, the nice. stickers are coming out. You got the hot dog. You Ooh, got the zombie. Oh, gee. <laughs> That's great food. Awesome. Thank you for the hot dog, zombie. Thank you for the pie, man, and the crock. We've got a full feast here. We got freaking yeah, man. pooch with his rotisserie and freaking. Got my rotisserie chicken. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm going to grub after this. That sounds so good. I can't wait to grub it. I'm going to grub, grub hard. Grub on some grub screws. Not on some <laughs> grub screws. Uh, Army, those screws are Torx. I know these are Torx screws, but they're working. <laughs> they're working fine with the hex driver. <laughs> they, they are Torx. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I did see that, but they're they're like it's working great. So, but I, I did notice that as well. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know, though. If it was slipping, I would have caught onto it. But it's it's yeah, it's they're tightening great. I got my. Uh... This isn't my Mako kit. My Mako kit's over at the shop. This one's my, uh, I don't know what this was. It was like a IFU, some oh, no. cheap uh, Amazon kit. What is it, your hex Sick. or your torch? Yeah, it's just one of these like little USB powered, uh, you know, driver kits I got on Amazon for like 10 bucks or something, but it's been great. Yeah, sometimes you, some of the, Inexpensive tools aren't half bad. Of course, the final screw doesn't want to go in. Also, Andrew's fighting bronchitis. That sucks, dude. I hope you feel oh, better. Oh, no. That sounds awful. Dude, he should have some frosty beverages, too, dude. That doesn't... Uh... I think everybody could benefit from a frosty frosty. An icy sounds really good to me, like a cherry. I was, I was thinking I want to go to like Foster. You have Foster Freeze out there? Like, can you get Frosties? Know. Can you get, I, I don't, or I what don't is know. it, Sonic or something like that? You know, like a little milkshake? We've definitely and... got a Sonic, yeah. We've definitely got a Sonic out here. Yeah, I, I, it sounds good to me, like an actual like icy, like the Polar Bear gas station icy. Like I can go for a, I can go for that. Dude, the last, why, is, why is it like, why is it doing this to me? The last one doesn't want to go in, dude. What's what's uh, which one? You you just it's not lined up, right? It seems it seems like it's not. I don't know. I'm gonna try this one more time. Are you, ca just... are you Caddy Wampus? You got a little twist to it or something? I got it. I got. It. I have no idea. Maybe it was just the screw. Uh, the the try to use the angle of the angle of the dangle. Oh, yeah yeah. Alrighty. That man, covers going on. Okay, no, I do need I do covers need the correct uh, when it comes to torquing this guy down. Where did I put? <laughs> God, why, Pooch? The little, uh, the little bits from last week that came with this kit that have the correct. Oh, did you lose your tools? You lose your tools already? I want to say no. <laughs> I mean, they're somewhere. Obviously, it's not like you threw them away. They're just like yet to be determined location. Oh no, did I, did I lose you or are you just in the middle of a hunt? I don't hear you anymore. Bumped another audio input. Is it me or is it you? Hmm. Oh. Something's happening. Hello, Pooch. <laughs> oh, I got you. Okay. <laughs> it was me, man. Okay. My battery, my okay. battery died on the receiver. I just had to plug it into power. <laughs> my bad. What are you using for your audio again? Are you using the DJI? DJI, yeah. So I just had to plug. The receiver has been on battery power, so I just plugged it into uh, directly AC. Yeah, I was gonna say you can't you can't power that thing. You can you can power it yeah, while you're going. Yeah, that's what it's, it's what right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I usually don't need to, but uh, because I'm going so slow, you know, I had to. Oh, good. Anything that any anything you can do to avoid using batteries is obviously key. I do love those DJI mics now, and then of course they just dropped the V2. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Cool, heat bed's good. I do need to get a proper driver for this later on. 
After all screws are tighten them in the following sequence. Awesome. I didn't do that. Oh my god. I'm I'm moving forward, Pooch. <laughs> it's forward. I think I think it's fine. I think that's yeah. like a, a technicality. But yeah, it's a, guiding the heated the bed cables. Okay, so the last thing I need is a cover for the heated bed, which how is that not right here? I think that would be the last thing. Wait, I'm confused as well. About what? That's weird. So I, I is there an, they give you a spare one of these guys, the little spacer? Yeah, there, well, there's okay. definitely one in the spare. Wait, wait, wait. Is there the one under the center there? Like you have the one that's in the middle, right? Yeah, I just I thought I thought it maybe fell out, but I checked underneath and it's definitely still there. So I have one absolutely okay, there, where there, it's supposed to be. There is a okay. spare from the spare that bag, me. but I don't know cool. why I have two. Yeah. Okay, that concerned me because I, <laughs> I um, I was like, as long yeah, as the one is there. Part. Yeah. So the last thing well, is the there's, guiding an, piece. there's another one that you use up in the in the next shooter, but I'm assuming that that happened a long time ago. I think the next shooter bag had a spare. I think it came with an extra one in that bag, dude. Well, there might there might be a couple extras, but you use that same spacer in the next shooter on the idler yeah. assembly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did. So I don't. Okay. The the thing that seems to be missing is that final printed piece, which is the wire. The wire. Oh no no. This is what is this? Why carry cheated bed? Here it is. Yeah. Okay, M36. Power, and then we need two of these little guys, which are, are these M36 or the M34s? Uh, where's I'm gonna this? grab a power, power cable. Yep. Okay, these are M36s. Cool. <clears throat> oh, it good. smells like PLA in here. I forgot to turn my fans on. Here we go. Okay, sweet, dude. All right, so we're going inside. We're feeding this cable through. Through here. Hey, Nurse Kate. Let's see here. This says feed this through the attached to bed. Full. Bucket USB sticks. And some filament. Did I give myself enough slack? It sure looks like I did. Mm. All right. There you go. Probably gonna pay a price for this later. Oh, yeah, I hear your lips smacking. What are you eating, dude? <laughs> My girlfriend left her banana bread lying around, and I'm like, I'm oh, eating that. That's right. You said that she so is a baker. Mm -hmm. And a good one at that. <clears throat> it's dangerous for my belly. <laughs> mm. Man, that's just what I needed. That sounds mm -hmm. so good, dude. I'm jealous. We're pretty much out of snacks, dude. Like, I've kind of foraged through everything over the last two weeks since Aaron and Jack's been gone. My parents were like, go grocery shopping. I was like, yeah, I probably will. I still have it. Mm -hmm. I probably right. will. All right, this is in. So now you just got to hook up the heater bed wire, the um, the thermistor for it, and then the ESP32 module. And I think we're good. Do I even need to do the ESP right now? Or can I do that after? You can do it after if you wanted to. I don't, I don't know what it'll do if, like, you power it up without it on there, but I, I think okay, it'll I'll do work. It then. I've never tried that. <clears throat> I've never tried it. You don't. You definitely don't have to go through the Wi-Fi provisioning and stuff if you don't want to. Yeah. It literally takes like two seconds. You plug it in, you put the cover on, and you're done. Okay. And it looks like Just we need more of those special. Do it now so you screws. don't lose it. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. Uh, did you have time to read my message on Discord? I don't. I don't think I've. No, I don't think I've seen it. I think it I have a like handful. Of, I think I have a handful of man, Discord man of messages rock. I need to respond What is to. up, dog? Isn't it? It's man of the croc, man. Man of the croc. What is up, dog? Oh man. There we go. Last two screws. And these are what? Are these Phillips head. These are Phillips head screws. 
We want black on the far left and red on the right. So let's get these in you guys. Okay, this is awkward. I'm gonna, <laughs> I always do that where I like sort of like favor the camera angle over me actually being able to see what I'm doing and that's dangerous. <laughs> and so there we go. Let's, let's do it like this. I'm gonna zoom out a scotch here. Burp, 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 burp. Rid of that water bottle doesn't need to be there. I'm gonna clean up my workspace. Uh, you probably only can see my arm. Yeah. You turn yours on already? I powered up. Oh no. It's okay. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for all you right, though. I'm gonna, all right, all right, it's all, all right. good. You're doing great. You're like Thanks. you're so close. You're so I close. Feel it. I can I can like taste it, dude. You can taste it. Is it's that banana like, bread? <laughs> it could be the banana bread. <laughs> is that banana? Is that, what it's is like, that I'm selling, like, dude? Uh, yeah. Did you, did you bring it up for everybody in the class? No, and I'm not sorry. I'm not sharing <laughs> that. That's too good. Too good. Banana bread is yummy, dude. All righty. Heater wires are in. The mister is in. I'm not gonna put the cover on now because I want to do a little bit more. I want to spend some time on cable management, cleaning up a few things. But um, okay, so installing the ESP32 module. So that is going to be. We've got the little cover for it. We've got the module right here. Um, not much is chilling. Need to go shopping, my dude. You can't live on Cheerios and applesauce. I know the the milk expired, so I really can't. I, I don't do. I won't do. I won't do dry cereal. What about popcorn, man? I'm a, such popcorn. a fan of popcorn. I like. I, I'm a big fan of popcorn. I got nothing against popcorn. Cheap, cheap, cheap and easy. Not the microwave popcorn, mind you. Let me tell you, like. Oh, like just the kernels, like, like on the stove top with a little bit of oil yeah, and salt. A little. Or? Oh man, yeah. I mean, I'll do stove top or get an air popper. They're super cheap. All kinds of options. Popcorn is great. That's one of my go-to snackies. Not bad for you. Yeah, we my. Uh, my parents a lot growing up did the popcorn just like that, where they just kind of made it over the stove top, lightly salted. And I mean, I think it tastes, I, I'm a big, uh, being a sweet tooth, I love kettle corn, but if I'm not having kettle corn, I, I do really like just that sort of fresh, simple um, stove top pop, stove, stove top pop. Mm -hmm. do you love stove, stove top, top, little olive oil, little salt. Sometimes I put like some nutritional yeast on there, salt and pepper, you know, Lemon pepper, that's always good. No, I've never, I don't know if I've done lemon pepper. Oh. Sprinkle some of that on your uh, popcorn, sprinkle some of it on your rotisserie. Mm-hmm. All righty. Mm -hmm. Everything looks good, dude. I got ESP32 in. Are you, do you feel like I, <laughs> I've got to cover this up before I turn it on or just go for it? Nah, just don't nah, touch I anything. No, I, yeah, I'm not going to. I just, uh, since I'm going to go back in there and clean up some things and review out things, I feel like it's just a, you know. Okay, so let's put the bed on. We're going to start off with the included smoothie sheet, I believe is what this guy is. Oh, the moment of truth. The mm -hmm. moment of truth. And that goes like that. Nice. I love, um, having used a lot of spring steel uh, flex plates with different retaining setups, I love this simple two screws sticking up in the back Prusa setup. It is so easy to align. It is really tough to mm -hmm. screw up and it's really effective. I've used, like it's it's one of those things where I didn't realize I appreciate it. So I've used some really bad uh, like methods of trying to trying to align your spring steel and uh, to really appreciate how, how good it is. I wanted to- I agree. Wait. I think they overcomplicate a lot of that. Uh, Kate says, I wanted to 12, 12 hour streams where I build all Voron printers. That sounds intense. Where, where, where do you on here on YouTube or on, on Twitch? What platform? Man, building a, uh, I, I couldn't. I don't think I could. That's do really that. intense. Yeah, I, I just it's not. I, I I don't think I could do that. I mean, I could, but like I don't think I could do it. And oh, wait, is there a switch? I got, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> let's let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. Ready, Pooch? Ready, everybody? I'm ready, come on. No blue smoke. All no right. Blue smoke. Three, two, one. Uh, let's see. Have a kid's Ooh, thing at school. Yeah. 
Have a great stream. Hey, thank you, Fabrico. Thanks for hanging out, Shammy. Have a great night. Bye. Uh, see you, Shammy. All right, it's booting, it's booting. It's not gonna have the touchscreen firmware on it, right? It's too, it, that's too new. No, uh, you need to get, yeah, that's the that's release candidate of six. You can definitely okay. download that if you want. Oh, so it's it, not it's not it, public. It, it's a, it's a still in early release. Yes. Yeah, yes, okay. but that should be out wait. within, I don't know, the week, next week or so. I mean, they're pretty fast on those release candidates. <laughs> as long as there's nothing. Uh, you doing it? You going no. to do some Deutsch? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go to it. Deutsch, like, man. Come no on, way, on man. I won't, I won't be able to read the, the Dutch language, dude. There's no way. Okay. Hi, this is your original preacher, Mark Poor Printer. I would like to guide you to set up process. Awesome sauce. Okay, we're running Joe, tests. We're running Joe. tests. Winky <laughs> Joe. Is that smoke? No smoke. No smoke. Oh, I'm going to run my test too. Here we go. Okay. Continue. Although I'm noticing my my bed thermistor is blinking. I don't, I don't know if I've noticed that before. Fan. I'm going to go back here. Let's go back here. Let's see what happens. Okay, fans are coming on. Yeah, I see both fans running. Well, you guys can't see that. You, I'm you're blurry. Cool. You're blurry. Yeah, there we go. Focus. Sorry about that. Right. Oh, things are moving. Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, oh. we got Z. Okay, one to the top. Oh, going back down. Let me zoom out a little. This is why. Wait, mine's not going down yet. What's going? Oh, I didn't. Oh, we gotta do uh, touch the. I'm gonna test the load cell. Checking X axis. Huh, I wonder why my, my props, I'm gonna, I must be on a different firmware or something. The order okay, of things are different. Down. Did you already, did you already test your load cell? Did I miss that? No, 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 mine hasn't gone down there. Oh, interesting. Yeah, mine, mine did fans, then Z, now X, uh, then it did X, now Y. So yeah, it's doing the, I think it's, it's getting the sensitivity for the sensorless homing. Yep. Did they have a self test yep. like that for the Prusa Mendel? <laughs> I, no. I, no, no, Mendel, no, Mendel. Mendel's that was a bit advanced for the Mendel. Oh, dude, I get to eat. Well, I get to. I, I surely get to eat some more gummy bears. <laughs> Did you skip your your Haribo snacks? Yeah, I guess I. I've been so focused. Okay, now let's do a no, messy test. Bonkin, it's bonkin Y for me. It should have you test the load cell before it actually goes down and does the now it's doing load cell test. No. I don't know why I had mine do that right off the bat. So it says we will need your help. You will be asked to tap the nozzle. Don't worry, it's gonna be cold. Okay. Okay, so tap the nozzle on beep. Okay, wait. Ah! Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Just hit it. Hit it. I did, I did, yeah. I did. It says it passed. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I wanted to show the camera, but oh I I quite literally just just tapped it. Yeah, you just, you, it doesn't take a lot. Like, it's no. very sensitive. Got to check there. All right, now we're going through some heater. Heater checks. Yeah, Tom and Z, okay, so this so is now, the first time. Now, it's, now it. it's solid. Mm -hmm. my, my solid light right there from my... 6.30 a.m. here like and the kids are waking up. Got a cruise. Oh my gosh, Phil. Wow, dude. Man. <laughs> dude. Get, I appreciate get, you hanging out. I had no idea it was that freaking early or late where or is it whatever. Six, where is it 6.30? Where in the world? It's got to be in Europe. Thank Europe's you for tomorrow. hanging out, Phil. Yeah, definitely. Probably in... Um, <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to make a joke out of it. Um, thanks for hanging out, Phil. <laughs> I hope you can get a nap in at some point, man. Probably in the Netherlands somewhere, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, we're doing heater tests. <clears throat> it's weird seeing a black and orange Prusa after using mine with pink and purple. Yeah, I love, I really like the black and orange. I, it's funny because I mentioned that and Steve's thing about you only doing like the black frame, but I've always I like really liked the black. I love the black and orange yeah. aesthetic, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with it either. I just like for for this one, I like, I'm like, I'm gonna do blackout on this one. And um, we printed a bunch of the Galaxy Black ASA, mm. and that's right. Yep. These are pet G parts, but uh, yep. I love, I love me some of that Galaxy. Gorgeous. It's good look. My Milo is gonna be in Galaxy Black 
as the. What are you doing the Milo? Because I think uh, Mandic was saying he's going to do a Milo build. Yep. Was it with you? Are you guys doing a Milo build together? Or uh, I have or, no idea. So I think we a couple um, of people are doing it. Yeah, I think me and me and um, Alan are on the same, or Mandic earlier on the same wave of getting them for t or building and testing. So uh, we were in Steve's stream. I think when he was playing around with it, and he threw out the idea of like, hey, we should build one together. And I've been meaning to reach out to him. I've just been so busy and we're in the middle of this stream and I have one more build before I can start yeah. that one. So I don't know. I would love to. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, maybe I will I, run it. I hear that's an, I hear it's an intense one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, hot and sock. Oh, pl please that's bring, why. Please bring candy, um, Dutch dude, to 3D Printopia. Any yeah. kind of like gummy stuff? I, I love, love gummies. Let's see. Oh, there's a big old mm. spider down there. Gearbox calibration is only necessary for user assembled or service gearboxes. In all other cases, you can skip this step. Okay, well, I assembled it and I you definitely want to do that. Okay, before you proceed, make sure filament is unloaded from the next shooter. Okay, we have no filament. Continue. Rotate each screw counterclockwise by one and a half turns. The screw head should be flush with the cover. Unlock and open the idler. Okay. Yeah, these definitely need to be so it's not flush. Okay. Interesting. No, because you probably it probably told you not to tighten it all the way when you first did it. Well, so no, I, I, I did. I did tighten it all the way. It's having me loosen them. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, you want to loosen it. That's right. Okay. This seems kind of so dangerous. You're saying it wasn't flush. Yeah, no, it was, you're it was just, too you're far just in. loosening it a little bit to like take any potential friction off of there. No, no I, I mean having sure the to... having the fan spinning while having someone go near it with an Allen key seems like a recipe for potentially damaging a fan. Like I, I could just I've I've broken two fans in my 3D printing time, both times by an Allen key going near it while it was on. Oh, interesting. I wonder yeah, if like, it's just it's, on because the it just ran the heater test and it hasn't finished cooling yeah, off the Yeah, I bet you that's what it is because it is, it is dropping yeah. in temp, so it's probably because it's still raised. But, I mean, if it hasn't been a support issue, that, then it hasn't been a support issue. But I'm just saying, like, from my perspective, no as someone that's damaged it, I could see that being... I, I'm well, sure somebody's feedback. done it, yeah. Somebody just jam a... Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't put anything in the spinny bits. But that's... I mean, that's good feedback if you're going to have anybody go near it. Okay, so we sure, need to make sure disconnect it stops this, spinning. it looks like, like that. So open. Yeah. Yep. Okay, and it says continue. Gearbox alignment in process. Please wait 20 seconds. Cool. I had to go back. I forgot I put a silicone sock on mine, and so it failed the heater test because it's sensitive enough that it knows that um, temps are not where it needs to be. Prusha doesn't sell when, silicone socks, right? Is it a third sock. party thing? They know they sell. They sell. Oh. And they're, they're third party as well. But I, I have it. a third party one on there because like I, I swapped my my nozzles a bit. And so red is my, I go with the uh, E3D Revo colors. So red is 0.4 and then blue is 0.6 and green is 0.8. So I can easily see what nozzles installed. And I, <clears throat> I end up dropping this whole, I think I told you like I'll drop the whole heater block and stuff out because we have a breakout board now. So mm -hmm. rather than deal with like just removing the nozzle and changing that in, I'll just take the whole core out. So it's having me snug them up again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, continue. Whoa, shoot. Did I not? Oh, close the other door. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm closing. So moving that forward, slot, locking that guy in place. And now continue. We need to start without the filament in the extruder. Please make sure there is no filament in the filament sensor. Continue. Is filament in the filament sensor? Negative. Okay. Insert filament into the extruder. Oh, actually, I didn't pop on the top, um, the little spool holder guy. Uh, we'll we should do, do that, right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to do it. There's like an additional guide piece that you can put together, but you don't need that for this point. Just, okay. just pop on the injection molded one. It leans backward? Yeah, it has, yeah, it has to go uh, back backward. Backward, backward. Yeah, yeah. So... You don't want it to collide with that extruder when it comes up to the top. That. Actually, that's, that's reminding me I can't use this custom one here. The extruder will collide with it at the top. That's one of the downsides okay. of this. I think I got a there. spool of. I'm going to open up a spool. So I got a couple of spools of Prusha sent over. Are we going to do 
Uh, galaxy black. Let's try lipstick red. I've never seen that one. Lipstick. Ooh, you're going red, huh? Yeah, man. Going with a little lipstick I like red. It. Bold. Okay. It's very bold of you. <laughs> All righty. <clears throat> Oh, neat. So it's got a little clip. All right, here we go. To... All right. Going up top. Let's see. Insert filament into the extruder until the sensor detects it. Cool. We're going in. It has detected it. So it's trying to go back and forth a little bit between these two. Ah! Just make sure it's the correct material type. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming it's expecting PLA, right? It's got to be. Yeah. Yeah, so continue. I mean, it should, it should, it'll, it'll prompt you, right? Once it, after it first starts to load, it'll be like, what type of filament is this? Filament sensor calibrated. Happy printing. Sweet. Continue. Okay, use the guide to set up your Wi Fi. I will do that later. Okay, sick. So let's do filament, load filament. Wait, should I calibrate nozzle before, or like do a mesh before I load filament, or does it not matter? No, just no, it'll, printing? it'll, it'll mesh, uh, it'll mesh before it prints. Okay, sweet. So PLA, awesome. So it's heating up the nozzle now. I'm still heater just testing. Press in the filament. Oh, that's mm -hmm. right. It auto, it auto loads, right? Like if you, if it senses that filament's being pressed in. Uh-huh. That's super cool. I forgot about that. Ooh, we are one like away from 100 likes. If you have not smacked the like button, this is your time to reach in. Come deep, on, guys. Deep into your Go click. deep. Go deep. <laughs> okay, so this is saying loading filament. Make sure the filament is inserted through the sensor. Okay. Press continue and push filament to the sensor. Cool. If you want to, is there a setting to turn off the beeps or no? Yes. Okay. And and my not just that, but you can control the volume of the beep, I believe, as well. Cool. My dog hates beeps. Uh, he's not up here right now, but like he, it'll make him shake. It's like it's sad. He just oh, he was abducted man. by robots or something. I don't know. Mm. Um, let's see. It pulls up the menu. Pure genius. Oops. Thank you, zombie. Thank you for doing your part. And everybody else, we've got. Oh, sweet. We got filament. Woohoo! Okay. Um, is You're the pushing color plastic. Correct? Yeah, we are. Okay, so like I don't have to do anything other than print, you're saying? Nope, send it. Sick, Pick okay, some. let me grab the little USB guy. Where's the little USB at? USB, USB, where are you? I am just, I am a mess, dude. Where the... There it is, there we are. Alrighty, let's see if we can find something that's quick. I feel like the, like you said, the whistle's pretty quick. Let's see. All right, inserting in. Ooh, it's branded, branded flash drive. Why is this going? This been a little bit difficult to get in there. What's going on? That is a that is a tough insert. Is it supposed to be so stiff to get the flash drive in? Uh, it's it's a little on the. I think it depends on how well you seat it too. Sometimes the oh. the printed part of the frame kind of rubs against your USB drive. But yeah, it's kind of tight. Okay. It can be. Okay. That's normal. I just want to make sure that's fine. Okay. Oh, there's a keychain that's ten minutes. Let's let's do the keychain. Yeah, that's I the think... that's the standard one that comes like tested from the factory I was telling you about. The keychain. Yeah, I feel like we should run it. I feel like we should run it. Install install the pre-release firmware, enable a touchscreen. I I think I will. I'm gonna wait a little bit, but um, it looks like Prusa uh, a sock on your hot end too. <laughs> uh, it's not nice. it's not uh it's standard. not default. Like they, you can have a sock, but it doesn't come um by default Ooh, the lights the lights don't, are pretty i don't know why the lights are really pretty i like the lights uh flash drive is super stiff okay cool it's not just a me thing then i'm fine with that i mean it means that i won't probably bump it or accidentally have it fall out really easily i just want to make sure it wasn't an issue uh brand long one yes definitely a long one I, it doesn't feel like it's been quite as long as the stream has actually been i've, I've had a really good time pooch is pooch is pretty good company i guess so i'm, I'm having a good i'm having a great time man <laughs> it's been fun man we're Alrighty, not let's... we're not fast, but we are thorough with our fun. 
Yeah, man. It's where, where what's what do you call it? Like chill business or what's it called? The, <laughs> what's the what's the term for you? What did they say? Chill, chill, stream and chill. I don't know. Stream, no, the... no, 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 no. You, you were talking about a business type earlier. It was about like not going. Oh, fast. calm, calm, calm. Yeah, calm. calm business, dude. That's a calm stream. Huh. You're gonna love the first layer on this thing. I'm excited, uh, Dutch, because I, I have a ton of pet G that, like, basically as soon as this prints done, I'm probably gonna throw like the powder coated sheet on it and just start having it crank out PETG parts. That's weird. Okay, so we are heating. What's going on? I was saying my hot end fan test failed. Continue. Hold on, I'm gonna oh, just right. rerun does, that portion of it. It does variable mesh too, which is cool. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's only gonna mesh the parts that it needs. Sorry, I'm like blocking the amateur. <laughs> it's also fast mesh, which is nice. It's, it is very quick. It's, it's snappy for sure. All right, that's that. So what do we do now? We are, okay, so it does, it does the mesh at 170 Celsius looks like. So it's, it softens if there's any material on it. And now it's climbing up to 230, which is its printing temp. All right, we're at temp. Oh no, no, Fed's at temp. Hot end is still climbing. E L A. So, would you decide you're doing the you're doing the keychain? Yeah, just do something quick. I mean, it's been a long stream, and I I realistically like I I'm need to run eat. The... <laughs> I hit it out at I like know. ten thirty in the morning. That's been six and a no five six seven seven you're seven. Going, you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize that it had, uh, it had done the uh, purge line already. First layer looks hmm. looks good to me. I've been fan spinning. Interesting. Wonder if it's just not going as fast as I think. So. I don't know. I'm just gonna run a print and we'll see. Like it's not. It's not like it's not going. So. Uh, if the wide movement is super loud. There. Belt tension is off. Okay. I don't. I. I didn't. So I did not tension the Y. Um, using the app, it was just based off feel. It seems like everything is fine, but I will probably go back with the app and just verify it. But. <clears throat> Slow, the slow motion for the first layer is spooky quiet. What's crazy is like that slow first layer was, feels like the normal speed of like what the Mark III was doing. <laughs> the it's, whole way. it's legitimately like twice as fast as the Mark yeah. III. Like you take the same print, which is wild. Like, cause you know, it's not like We've seen a lot of change to the frame assembly or whatever, but man, the difference yeah. that input shaping and pressure advance and some of the things we've done like makes is just so amazing. Yeah, for sale, it looks That's pretty. That's it. It's good. All right, print. Let me see what I got on this card or on this drive. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Keychain, spatula. Now you're running the keychain. I'm going to run... First layer is good. yeah yeah the first layer looked great Dom I'm excited <laughs> being it I mean it's weird like even on I like I mean not I guess not on all printers because the bamboos are like that too but just it's still a weird thing to me like not doing anything with the Z axis and just letting it rip like it, that's weird <laughs> even on a mesh like setup I'm always used to like I got to get my Z offset set up so to just like just to load a file and fire off is is pretty freaking cool. I'll run the spatula. I don't think I've ever done the spatula before. There it is. That's a spatula. Sure. Spatula city. Spatula city. We sell spatulas. And that's all. <laughs> and it was that reference. What a boring city. That's, oh, I, I have no that's idea a reference. It's always a movie reference with me. Little trick. Hold the knob on the screen. What is that going to do? Is it going to mess thing up? Well, you can adjust the Z height by doing that. Oh, oh, interesting. I'm not going to, I'm not, oh, okay. That allows you to live adjust the Z offset. Okay, gotcha. So I guess if you're working with a certain material that maybe does need it, it can be done. But I feel like, yeah. how is it, is it typically needed if you're using just standard, standard materials or no? 
I mean, I, every once in a while I've seen it where it's like the it, it's a little bit higher than I would want or something sure. like that on the first layer. But on the Mark IV, much more rarely than the Mark III. Like okay. the, the load cell is pretty dang good and it's wild. Like you should try this at some point, but you've seen people like have like taken cardboard. Yeah, Uncle Jesse did something down. crazy like that. Yeah, print on wood. Like it just doesn't matter. You can literally, anything that you can get plastic to stick to, you can print on. So, you know, you don't, it doesn't need to be magnetic. It doesn't need to be metal. Yeah, load cells are freaking sweet. Yeah, Dutch says you only need to do it with ABS or ASA, which I can see that because you're enclosed and you're heating the bed up so a lot. So the thermal expansion is going to be substantially more, like it's going to be a lot more than just doing PLA or PTG or TPU or really anything else that doesn't require the full enclosed slash, you know, 100, 110 C on the bed. Uh, I had the nozzle preheat for ABS. Uh, it had a little string under the nozzle, which was uh, flexible. It triggered, it triggered on that. Oh, wow. So the, the nozzle cleaning is the interesting thing because it's using the, the um, pull out, because it's using the the nozzle now to like actually probe since the, the load cell, like if mm -hmm. you get any boogers or whatever on there, you know, it, it can affect the, the mesh beforehand. So having your little tweezers so that you keep that, that tip clean is, uh, is gonna get you better results long-term. It does think... do a little cleaning thing. Yeah, like I would think that the like heating kind of like, temp though would also have a, like that should help. Like the fact that it's warming up to 170 because that's like Voron Tap does the same thing where it, it just heats up the, you know, the hot end. I think it's 170 as well. That way the plastic, it can sort of push through the plastic. But I, I still understand that like, even if it's pushing through it, it could still have a slight, it could cause a slight it deviation. Can, it's, and it's it's sensitive enough that it can tell sometimes if you've got a booger or something that, that even even if it's not on the nozzle itself, like sometimes just like, especially if you have an exposed block, if you've got a bunch of Will it tell stuff. you if, but, it, if it feels like there's some, or no, it'll it'll just- it'll, it'll, It will, it'll say nozzle cleaning fail. So there's a cleaning process that it does before the print as well. And you probably didn't notice, but it, like it'll dip down and touch the plate like three times Mm -hmm. and like leave these little like Hershey kiss things like and it's mm -hmm. doing exactly that so that it like can tell if it's got the uh, a different reading every time it That's touches cool. if there's like something potentially gooped on it and if it's getting different values then it'll say nozzle failed check and clean and try again yeah it's awesome <clears throat> all right so we are we are going i am pushing plastic as well it is laid down my little purgy line and it is whipping. It is humming along. It is whipping. Right. And I'm I'm on a I'm on a um textured sheet here. Okay. This so, is one of the do you have to enter that setting in somewhere? Does it does it do different offsets based off of if it thinks or no? No. Doesn't need to because it's probing every time. And so yeah. it really doesn't matter what the thing is. So on the 4.0 and the 3.9, no. On the 3.5, yes, you do still you're not have using, to do that. Yeah, because, you're not using a load cell. Yes, because that's still, that's still using the Pinda. Yeah, this is uh, this is freaking cool. It's it's also, I mean, the, the blower fan's on, right? Yeah, it's it's really quiet. Like <laughs> it's, it's definitely one of the quieter printers I feel like I've, I've used. Well, in... And just wait, like stealth mode's not even like out on it yeah exactly yeah. like you remember how the mark three had a stealth mode yeah so yep. so on the xl uh there's like something called phase stepping that's still in in beta uh -huh. um that's really cool and that's a little bit different because that's a core xy and there's some different kinematics at work uh -huh. um but there's uh there's still some magic to be had with uh with stealth mode release and some of the other stuff that the the guys is working on so yeah, Dutch says it, one it of the is things quiet, I though. liked on this machine is the firmware. It feels finished and works really well, which is cool to hear Dutch say because Dutch. So Dutch is uh, the like the creator of, or like at least one. Uh, yeah, you're right. I think he's the original creator of, but also like still very heavily working with the other members on the team of the um, Zero G, which they have the Mercury One. Uh, that's their project, which is a Ender Five to Core XY conversion. And so he's used to building pretty specked out, you know, like tricked out Core XY 3D printers. So it's cool to hear him say he, he bought himself a Mark IV because he was, he wanted something reliable. And he actually had pretty bad issues. He had a Bamboo Lab X1 carbon and he had some pretty bad issues where he went back and forth for quite a long time with 
support and they weren't able to come to a resolution on it. So he got rid of it and he built, ended up building another printer. But but yeah, he got a Mark IV. I had an issue with my early, my, my, my pre-launch X1 Carbon as well, where there's some funky stuff, artifacting going on on the prints. And they tried troubleshooting it for a while and ended up physically swapping my unit. So I don't know. It's, I haven't heard of it a whole lot. Like Dutch is probably one of the only other cases that I know of. Doesn't mean there's not others out there that exist, but I don't know if it was something with the early versions or what. So, um, interesting. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, zombies I mean, taking off. Good, good job on the build. Let's see. Hey, thanks for hanging zombie. out, zombie. Have a wonderful night. One more stream before, uh, for me, one more stream before Rocky Mountain. So hopefully I'll catch you next Wednesday as well. But ha have a great night and I'll try to stop into your stream with my leftover dominoes tonight. <laughs> Sorry, what were you, Poochie said, interesting. Uh, it's, I was just gonna say, it's interesting that like, I, you know, people's experience with any given printer, no matter who the manufacturer is, like nobody is getting it perfect every time. And so oh, no. it's like, yeah, you know, we hear horror stories from every different brand. Like I've heard a lot of people that have been like, like the Creality K1, they're like, dude, I'm super happy with that. It's a great value and all this stuff. And I've heard other people say like, it was a complete nightmare for them. Yeah. And I think the, the hard thing as a consumer is um, is to to listen to that stuff and then not like absorb that as like oh well I heard from so and so like that these are problems like mm -hmm. because we don't get data in the aggregate that way right like we don't yep. understand like well how common is this problem so if yeah. like a couple if two creators said they had a problem five creators if like ten people in a forum like how do we really understand the scope of it yep because no, it's, I it's the it's the average over time that matters. It's not like one individual's experience, right? Anybody can get a lemon. Yeah, no, absolutely. I um, it's an interesting, it's an interesting thing. Also, part of it I think comes down to perspective. Like, if you are coming from an Ender three to a K one, uh, you're probably stoked because it is a huge leap. But yes. if you're used to printing with machines that are you know more reliable, more up to speed, and stuff like that. And then you see some of the issues with like the weird bed meshing and consistent first layers. And like, those are things that you haven't had to deal with for a while. Then you're like, no, this is BS right. like on a machine. So yeah, some of it's perspective, like, uh, you know, who have you printed before? What are you coming from? Stuff like that. So, okay. So right. a couple things, right. print is, print is finished. We've got these cool yeah, you, freaking. Dude, you, you cooked through that. That's, that was fast. What was the total yeah. time on it? It was on the screen. Uh, there. 10 minutes and three seconds. Ten? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the green, it went from blue light to green light. So blue was during printing, green light uh, is finished. And then we've got our keychain over here. Let me, let me take this off the build. It's definitely a really pretty first layer. Let me uh, uh I love here. watching that thing whip. Whip it, whip it. Watch me whip. Look at that. Now yeah, watch me, nay, nay. Yeah, it's kicking butt. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's I don't a really... even see the lines on that, dude. You got in. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're there. there. If you look at, if you get at the right angle, but I mean, it's it's clean. It looks it looks turned out How's really that nice. How's looking? Yeah, let me see the front. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, looks good. I mean, for ten, so like that would legitimately be twice as long on an i3. So one of the things I'm gonna do, go back to this, like one of the one of the things I plan to do in an upcoming stream, or yeah, I'll probably stream, um, is I'll get my Mark IV, my Mark III nine, and my Mark III five, and I'll put them all up here, and we'll pick the same exact print, and we'll run it because I get asked time and time like, is the quality difference gonna be big? And yeah. we'll just we'll look at it. We'll look at it. And see, see like what we the can see. speed, speed, quality, different angles, and I think you mentioned this uh, when we were talking previously. But yeah, I think that that's something. I was talking to Steve about that as well, with because uh, he's working on I think on the one of the upgrade kits, I think to the three point five. Um, but yeah, I, I I think that that's a really interesting thing. That but one thing I will say too, though, is like there's been a lot of times I've made videos where like I'm showing a thing and people were like at the end of it, like, well, what's the quality difference? And I'm like. It doesn't necessarily like some of the upgrades aren't necessarily about a quality difference. It's a consistency mm. thing. It's a speed thing. Right. It's a, it works right. better with flexible filaments. It works better with abrasive filaments. So it's tough. Like it's not always an apples to apples comparison. There's other things that maybe you're like harder to show, which is like longevity. Like how do you show that? Right. Like it's a lot harder to show longevity yeah. versus this is twice as fast. 
look at the artifacts versus right. done. Like some things are like, no, no, no. Like it's just, it's a better machined part that's going to last you a lot. So, but yeah, I, I do think that showing a, showing a comparison side by side of the quality slash speed difference across the different upgrades and versionings is something that would be interesting that people would want to see. Oh. Well, and I, I want to see it myself too. I'm really curious, like, can I see the VFI? Like, so they, you know, talk about going to the 0.9 stepper. Like, can I really notice the difference in fine artifacts on the print? And and your, yeah. your point is really well taken that a lot of it is like time will tell, you know, yeah. is it going to hold up as better? Like, what good is it going twice as fast if I have to like tear it apart and re-lube it like twice yeah. as often? You know, like what, what are the practical uh, advantages of it, you know? So we'll see, but I'm I'm excited, and it definitely feels like, I mean, you've used the Mark III, yeah. Um, it it definitely feels like we're moving faster, like things oh, yeah. are feeling a little beefier, a little more polish. I'm gonna be really it, curious. I want I want to get your feedback when you put that touchscreen on there because I feel like this is best of both worlds where yeah, you've got the click wheel and the touchscreen. It's an interesting thing, dude. Some people, because uh, I've talked to people like I like. Like a, like a nice clipper screen is sick. I've talked to some people that have zero interest in a touch screen. They're like, no, 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 I want the rotary wheel. Like, I really like the click. I, I don't do all touch screen. So I think having the option for either or, depending on your preference, is by far the best way to go. That way you kind of appease both audiences. Right. But right. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely yeah. going to be doing some pretty heavy printing on it. I'm going to probably run a couple more PLA prints and then just start churning out a bunch of PTG. So we'll see how it performs with that. And then I'm also going to be testing it out with that flexible i'll let you know how that goes too i'm very curious about that but i'm, I'm gonna wait a little bit now that i just built it i want to clean up button yeah. up a few things do some basic printing yeah. make sure things working like it should be before i start throwing some weird exotic filaments at it yeah for yeah. sure no i mean i i want to hear all about it so send me some send me some prints and thank you for including me in this i was like, had a blast and yeah I, absolutely you know, uh i'm we'll excited dutch, dutch is asking me to look at one second here let me see what he's sending me in discord and then what do we got? What do we got? Uh, default profile, no tuning. Oh, sweet. So yeah, he sent me, um, one second here. Let me go here. Let me go here. Let me go here. Open in browser. Yeah, so he, he sent me this desktop. This is on the, his Mark IV. Oh, nice. Uh, and it's what a What filament default. is that? That looks good. Yeah, he says it's ASA, but I don't know what form. I wonder if it's just Prusament ASA. Yeah, it looks it looks okay. really clean, super clean. So he says it's a print. What's he got going on? Let me see that. Let me let me see that extruder. He's got he's got some modified uh, cooling or something on it. Does what am I seeing here? That looks like the scroll, same thing to me. Scroll scroll up, and maybe it's just the close up. Yeah, 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 yeah it yeah. looks it looks suck. Er, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, no it looks suck to I, me. I think it's I think you're right. I think we're just in close in that blue. Yeah. Through me. Yeah, looks so like it's, you just uh, in blue. 3DO is the company. Uh, it's their black ASA. Yeah, it's a nice, it's really it's nice looking. It's really clean. That's Pretty. really clean. I like it. Nothing modified. I reprinted all my parts in blue carbon fiber ASA. So yeah, they're just carbon fiber ASA parts. Yeah, it looks uh -huh. good. It looks really good. But yeah, I, I want to, um, I want to thank you for hanging out for, <laughs> I was, I know quite a bit of a streamathon the last, uh, you know, between, between last Wednesday and Thursday? No, it was Wednesday we streamed. Thursday we dude, didn't. Dude, we we got there. Yeah, we had some fun along the way. Oh, dude, a lot of a lot of laughs, man. A lot of laughs. I again appreciate you getting this, uh, you know, getting this set up. It was definitely fun to build. I haven't built a Prusa in years. It was cool to see what the Mark IV, uh, you know, was all about. And I'm I'm looking forward. The next shooter is. I'm really excited just to see how this thing performs. But based off of the first print, um, not having to do anything. Good? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. excited that there's some like, you know, this was this was cute, right? Like the keychain was cute, things are working, but like, let's, oh, yeah. let's print out You're some- You're just scratched. Let's, yeah, let's, let's print out some cool things so what, now, so yeah. Tell, tell me real quick before we go that you said yeah. you want to do a bunch of pet G. Is there a specific project you're doing that for? Yeah. What's, it's, the, it's, what's the pet It's G? the filament racks, dude. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I plan on printing if, if possible, like if this thing's just, I plan on churning and burning, like, I, I plan on printing like all four or five kilograms with the PTG just straight up through this Mark IV, just going and going and going and seeing how it handles. I mean, I feel like with it being designed as being a reliable workhorse type printer, and I know like I, I've, I've printed a fair bit of PTG on the Mark III S, like I know that this thing, especially with Prusa printing its parts in PTG, it has like good profiles for it. Gotcha. I just want to let it rip, dude. Like keep the filament dry and keep keep uh, keep shooting and it out. Will. So 
Yeah. It won't. It definitely won't disappoint on that front. I mean, it is a PE teacher. That, that that is one of the things I think that they do really well with that. Is like, I'm confident I can throw PLA at it. I can throw PET G at it. I can throw ASA at it. I, like, it's really good across materials. And now Flex yeah. is even better. So I, I really can't wait to see what you end up doing with it. But yeah, like, yeah, like I said, thanks for having me along. It. And well, we'll have to do something yeah. else in the future, man. It was a lot of fun. I, I'm yeah. we'll definitely have to figure out something else in the future that we can do. Uh, thank you everybody for hanging out. RSS fun uh, collaboration. Dom's to take care. Uh, thank you, Daniel and Pooch. Fun stream. Thank you, PF, for hanging out. Liz, see you soon. Yeah, both of us will see you guys soon. Uh, G Funny, thank you for dropping by. It was always great seeing your seeing your face in chat, and I hope you're doing well. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we can chat more soon, man. But um, yeah, thank you, Pooch, and I will I will talk to you later, and I will see everybody later. I will be streaming next Wednesday, so we will have one final stream probably at the exact same time as we normally do. And then uh, anybody that's going to Rocky Mountain, I will see you guys next Friday, uh, Friday or Saturday. Yeah. Then so crazy, man! Looking I can't forward believe to that. It's here. See you All there, right, Pooch, brother. Have a great night, man. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. All right, All right. see you, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Bye.